Yeah, the After the End mod recently uh, came out on Steam Workshop, and that's why I'm checking it out. I played it very briefly, uh, just to test that it was, like, you know, functioning okay, because obviously I didn't want to, like, start a stream where, like, you know, the mod doesn't work. So I wouldn't say I've ever really played it, I've just opened it and, like, dropped into a game and passed a couple years to see if the game works. Uh, I played in Vancouver, of course, which I was very, uh, hogged up to see that they had, uh, they had a, uh, representation of the sick people in that area. And, of course, the barony of Surrey. Love to see that. My hometown. But, yeah. My video is just premiering right now, by the way. Those of you that are that are watching, I got a video premiering on YouTube, and it's almost done. Uh, I wanted to start the stream just a little bit before, though, so we don't have this like delay between the video and the stream. Were the Vancouver using bicycle men at arms? Nah, bro. They're using LNG powered by uh, motorcycles, obviously. I love when the Mongol Empire split. Sorry, I'm watching. Okay, hold on. I just realized that I'm commenting on the YouTube premiere that I'm watching as if y'all are watching it too. Um, hold on. Also, what's up, chat? Hold on. Hide the hide the monitor. Hide the display. Hold on. Give me uh. Let me just let me just show my. Hey, uh... You're not here. Are you Chrome? Shoot this. Here. Crusaders were defeated. Finish this up while, while you know while we're still in the early part of the stream. The last accumulated legend began. It was ironic that although Cyrus was the first Shahanshah, who would be the last of the great figures of old that the Antiochus family would claim a connection to, looking to ensure that no crusade ever. This is probably very quiet. Let me just dismantle the papacy, but she needed the loyalty. Oh, how loud is that? that? Yeah, that's better. They were getting along quite well, and in the spirit of the Cyrus legend, she chose to try and peacefully accept and vassalize the Sardinians. Cyrus it's almost done. A couple more minutes. Empire, letting his subjects live as they liked, and so to represent that, Queen Barbara of Sardinia Corsica was encouraged. To it's a pretty good video, if you ask me. I'm proud of this one. It was truly her own choice. What's up? During a What's feast up, in Rome, Barbara was honored Cipios as a guest of the Persian Queen. Gyros. And in seeing the great grandeur of Rome, Hungarian. I'm place, joking. I love Hungarians. Barbara was convinced and did join the empire. Don't hurt me, Attila. Securing control over all of Italia. The papacy was dissolved, and the Pope invited to come live in Greece among the real Christians of this world. Afterwards, with the former pope bowing before the empress of Persia, Greece, and Italy, a new empire was declared. In the spirit of the Roman Empire, Atanasia... I lost this guy's videos? Oh yeah, dude, he's great. For the empire. This Tarkus guy? This was the Achaemenid he's all right. Empire, and all its glory restored. She was the first Shahanshah of the Neo-Achaemenid Empire, and her legend, spread far and wide, confirmed her lineage from Cyrus. As a descendant of the legendary Cyrus, all her vassals, in pure awe, committed to complete and utter loyalty, and Atanasia's power as an administrator massively increased. She had perfect loyalty and perfect control over this revived Achaemenid Empire, which, although missing some parts of the old empire, had replaced the Persians became the Romans? Nah, they became Achaemenids. Her final conquest would be in Egypt, since it was a critical province of both the Roman and Achaemenid empires of old. Egypt was ruled by some Nubians who had filled in the Muslim power vacuum there. She invaded, winning without any hassle, and although she could have continued on to take what remained of Syria and Arabia that was outside of her control, she instead she could have the legend declaring herself the new Caesar and added Egypt to the de jure borders of the Achaemenid Empire before ruling for the rest of her life in true peace. Alright, this is the last chapter. In a combination of Latin and Persian, this era would be known as the Pax Akshamanish, Latin for peace and Old Persian for Achaemenid. The empire was full of utterly loyal vassals and there was no more enemies to fight. The Mongols were gone and their successor states composed of loose affiliations and distrust. The Neo-Achaemenid Empire was here to stay for far longer than any other Iranian empire of old. This is the end of the video here, and this I've now it. showcased every single legend in my mod. 
I'll be releasing a patch for it in the next week or so, which will add more random events, more artifacts, and even a new legend alongside some localization fixes and maybe some balance changes. I hope you enjoyed this yeah, video. Yeah, mod's coming pretty soon. Did, we might work on it later today. Liking, and of course, checking out the Accumulated Legends mod in the description below. I worked very hard on this mod and still am working on it, so I would mean the world for me for you to go and check it out. Thank you for your time. There you go, that's it. Okay, 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 okay. Turn that down. It's too damn loud. Someone do the better audio management on this damn video. Alright, uh, let's close this before it auto plays into some video I don't want y'all knowing that I'm watching. Okay, let's get the music back here. What's up, Derek? How you doing? How's everyone doing today, by the way? We're gonna we're gonna play the uh, after the end mod. Uh, just because, you know, I figure some people want to see this. I, uh, as, as most of you know, um, I tend to be pretty skeptical of total conversion mods. Uh, to me, the, the one that has impressed me has been Elder Kings 2. Okay? Elder Kings 2 definitely, uh, definitely made me quite happy. I feel like there was enough stuff in there to, to, uh, to impress me. Game of Thrones failed for me. It was like, what the fuck is this? There's like barely anything here. We're gonna find out how after the end is. I've heard a lot of really good things about this mod. Be the worst for you to criticize everything you did and ask for Haston runs. Honestly, honestly based. Honestly. Good shit. Um, I don't know if this mod will live up to what I want it to be. I don't know what I want it to be. To be clear, I'm going with very few expectations. I don't really even know. Um, I know that there's like a huge like world of lore and stuff uh, when it comes to after the end. So what I'm going to do, okay. Obviously, I, I, most of you will know that I am I am a Canadian, okay. So we could play somewhere in Canada. There's all these recommended stars. I took a look at some of the recommended stars to see like okay, what sort of people are there. We could play in Greenland. That'd be kind of based, but you know, there's all kinds of options. I do appreciate the usage of the uh, native syllabic uh, type here. Pretty cool. We could play in Florida. We could play in the Caribbean. We could play in you know Gran Colombia play in Brazil. Let me just let me just drop in as anyone. The fuck is this? It's CK3 in North America. The current version of a Game of Thrones CK3 is glorified proof of concept. Basically, yeah, but ultimately if you release something to the public, it will be judged even if you have all these caveats about oh it's not actually um it's not actually a full release. People are still going to judge it as if it is. That's just how it is. Like, anything you put to the public, they're going to treat as if it's, like, a proper product. This is 1454. That is true. It didn't exist until it was discovered. Um, but this is, like, set in, like, a post-apocalyptic world or whatever. And there's a shit ton of lore that I don't really know about. Um, the, the big, um, the first sort of thing that I felt looking at this, this map was, like, if you look at the, uh, also Mormons, fuck. If you look at the, uh, like, religion and culture map mode and stuff, um, my, my immediate sort of feeling was like, oh my god, this is very, uh, this is very, like, not hard to look at, as if it's, like, ugly, but, you know how, like, in CK3, there's kind of, like, domains of the world, right? There's, like, the Christian world, the Muslim world, the Indian world, like, there's kind of, like, these divides. It feels like here, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, like, where, where is, like, a, a cultural sphere that I want to play in, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, Let's say that I wanted to play, like, you know, I'd have to sort of learn the lore, I think, in order to understand. And the map is absolutely huge. Yeah, this is absolutely insane. I mean, damn. Um, like, when I look at this, I'm like, okay, so where, <laughs> like, where, where is, is this, is this, like, is the south, like, one, like, I see we have an emperor here in the Holy Colombian Commonwealth or whatever. It's like, is this... Is this like, uh, you know, kind of one cultural sphere here? Like, do, do Dixies and Atlanteans? Like, you know, I, uh, it's hard to, it's, it's hard to know where I want to play, but I was also impressed on my, immediately by look, just looking at all the variety of, uh, character outfits and stuff. I was like, well, obviously up here it's mostly just like tribal, but like these Native American headdresses and stuff. I was like, yo, damn, that's pretty good. Uh, but there's so many, there's so many religions. I was like, Damn, there's a lot of religions here. Um, I played briefly. I went over here. Obviously, I had to go to the Lower Mainland, and I had to play as my boy High Chief Garnvir of the Lower Mainland of the House Grey Wall. I had to. What's that noise? Oh, is that, is that from the game? What is that? Something playing that I'm not aware of? That's from the game. Oh, shit. 
I didn't even hear that when I was playing before. But yeah, um, I had to because I live like literally in this barony right here. So I was like, I have to go play here. I was surprised to see that they had the sickism represented. You know, that was pretty based. It's because uh, they, they did their research if they know this because this this whole area, the whole east of the whole like Vancouver, Surrey area is filled with uh, with Indian with six. Captain Jacques in the Caribbean. Israel of Domingo Dan. Jacques. See here. Oh. Jock, where are you at, little bro? Look at these guys, they got power pets. Clifton. Bermuda, Robert of Bermuda. I don't know where I want to play, but I think I want to play somewhere in Canada. But, um, I have Tortuga. Okay. This. Which one's Tortuga? I don't even know. There, this one, okay. We could, but um I think um Is the large population of six outside of India? That's correct, yeah. I mean it, it's uh I I think it honestly almost competes with the population of six in India. But I do want to play somewhere somewhere in uh Canada because that's where I'm from obviously. Um, this is this is where I'm at, so I'm over here. Uh, but we don't have to necessarily play there. We could play something like over in Quebec or in Ontario, but I don't want to play a place that I'm really gonna play Quebec play Ontario. Damn, Ontario, please. What this one? Morley of Ontario. There do be a sick here, so we could play as a sick over here. There's a caliphate in Hungary, the Ahmadiyya Caliphate, I assume, right? Is that? I assume that the, the Ahmadis, uh, this one, yeah, yeah, they do have the Ahmadiyya Church. Okay, I haven't checked out the, uh, I haven't checked out all the uh, religion stuff, but yeah, they they did a pretty interesting job. I I briefly looked at like what's around, in in like uh, you know, in the uh, in the like part of Canada, and they did a pretty like pogged up job of like trying to represent all of the very random minority things that exist in uh, Canada. So what the fuck? Primal hunger? Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Nice. Is Ahmadi real? Yes, it is. It's a it's a kind of Islam. Uh, well, it, Muslims might tell you. Well, I say that I am a Muslim, but some Muslims might tell you that this is not really Islam. I I don't really I don't really care for gatekeeping. You know, whatever. But yeah, there's like a lot of there's a lot of um, controversy. They have Métis. That's pretty cool. Métis, nice. Chip. That's the name of the language right now, so they, they, they've kept their, their little current name. Ontario. I don't know. What is the United Church? It's just like Protestants of... of um, it's just like Protestant of, uh, of, of Canada, I assume. I don't know. I kind of want to play something I'm like a little bit familiar with. Um, we don't have to necessarily play in the lower mainland, but we could play like something like I've been to like Osoyoos, which is somewhere around here. It's really hard for me to know where things are when, when, uh, <laughs> when there's like, when the map is rotated, suddenly it changes everything. Um, where have I been? I who is this? Freedomite. What are these? I'm gonna look around for something that, that I think is interesting. I don't, what is this? What are these cultures? Mormons? Ain't no way. You can play as the feminist nationalists in BC. No. These ones? The Haida? Haida are pretty interesting. Is it this one? Knock, dude. Naming it Canuck is just so based. There's Nova Ruthenia in Uruguay with Byzantine right religion. I'm probably not going to go to South America because I just don't know anything about South America, unfortunately. I gotta, well, I know some things, but not enough to want to play down there. The gun cult in Texas that worships guns. Yeah, I probably should play something with some flavor, shouldn't I? I probably shouldn't play in Canada where there probably isn't like any flavor. Voodoo, that's cool. 
pessimistic view of North American future? I think most people do. These Muslims? Oh shit, we got Muslims down here. Well. Oh, it's the Americanist faith. Holy Giga Chad. There's just so many religions. It's, it's damn. Is this like is this like Pennsylvania Dutch up here? Is that yeah, Amish? Yeah, Pencil Pennsylvanish. Yeah, this is clearly Pennsylvania Dutch people. Hudsonian, like New Yorkers. Yankee language, yeah, that's supposed to be New Yorkers. Gothamite. Fucking Batman? Americans have US elections? Ain't no way. Just like real life, just like real life! No way! No Turkey representation? You hate to see. Where, where are there a lot? There aren't really any. There isn't really like a big community of Turks anywhere in America, is there? Viking, Minnesotan. Nice. All star roster. Ain't no way. Of course, the Minnesotans get uh, Cheesehead. Oh, okay. You say, of course, the Minnesotans get uh, get tribal tribal unity. You know, they do live in tribes out there. I don't know anything about Minnesota, so you know, I'm just speaking about the memes, I guess. Youper, I know, I know what a youper is. That's the guy that's from the the hand or whatever. Isn't that like the people that are from? Yeah, like the the little the hand that's that's receive. Is it? I gotta flip the map now so I can see it properly. Like the hand that's receiving the high five from Michigan. Isn't that how it works? Or is it that it's giving the high five to Michigan? I always forget. Oh, Mithian. The mitten and the handle? Okay. I've heard of the word youper before, but I recognized it. Blitz tactics, root linemen, like footballers? Is that where we're looking? They got football reference? So I'm noticing that a lot of these are just kind of like renamed versions of what's already in the game. Well, the cheesemongers is new. This seems to be something which I, I, I it looks like it looks similar to vegetarians, but not quite the same. No Scandinavian Vikings. It's true. Damn. Based. I think um we'll keep it relatively simple. I think we'll play somewhere in the east coast of America because it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on down here. So. I'm gonna pick a spot, and I'm gonna make a custom character, and we're gonna go from there, I guess. So where's someone that has, like, a good start? The triangle. I did this- I don't like the sound. Not gonna lie. That kinda bothers me. But I guess it's kinda my problem. Back country language. Old Southern Heritage. What's the Emperor's Heritage? What's he? He's the Atlantan? Deep South- Deep South Heritage. Okay, so we don't wanna be Old South. We'd like to be deep south. Dixies. Southern Knights. Well all be Paladins. Okay, they're just they're just just gendarmes or whatever. Laura Bama, okay. Tennessee. Revelationist. I'm going to do a lot of reading in this, uh, I think, because I do want to... I would like to kind of understand what exactly is going on. Can I see, like, I can't see the jury map mode from here, but... See, this, you got two counties. One county. I guess we could play in Savannah. I guess, the, what, what's Gullah? I've heard of this. This is like, um... I think I've heard of what Gullah is. I remember a class in my sociolinguistics class, we talked about Gullah. Because it's like a sort of, like to this day, it's like, um, what do you call it? It's like a sort of dialect of English spoken by like black people in the deep south. And they, I remember what the unique part of it was. It's like, 
It's it's like take the southern accent and make it so incomprehensible it's now a new language. Southern accent's not too dissimilar to British accent, just slower cadence. Southern accents, the best theory that I've heard for where they come from is like Ulster Scots accents that were because a lot of the immigrants that happened to be in the area were from like Ulster and they were Scottish ethnically, like from Ulster. And their accent fossilized into what is now the uh, southern accent. The best example of a fossilized like English accent is actually Boston. Uh, that's why Shakespeare sounds better in uh, in English in uh, American, as they say. And that's because the uh, the Boston accent is something of like a of a leftover, a fossilized version of the English accent from Shakespeare's time or so. You know, a little bit after, but much much closer than the current British accent is to how Shakespeare would have sounded. Boston do be like that, but obviously Boston has now taken on some of its own traits. But yeah, we'll play we'll play in Savannah, but we ain't custom character though. We'll play we'll play a Gullah. Well, I guess we're gonna be discriminated today. Eh? Like old Germanic, Norse, Icelandic. Yeah, same idea, same idea. Although Icelandic is much more of a fossilization than than um than Bostonian, because Bostonian's gotten to have changed a bit. Look at all this. Okay. Dixie, okay. Do we want to be a Dixie or a Gulla? I guess we can we can be Gulla. That sounds good. We're going to be custom character though. Um, evangelicalism, I assume it's like male dominated. Yeah, it looks like it's all male dominated stuff. So we'll key, we'll play a black character. Pose. Out of BC, Riley. It would be really fun to come up with all the names for these cultures, I bet. Jasper, Pompeii. Okay, let's play this guy. I'm just gonna make a good character. I'm not really gonna worry about the roleplay very much. I'm just gonna play like a skilled character. Give me like a, you know, good traits and stuff. Zealous is a. <laughs> Zealous is good. Okay, we'll be Zealous. That's not good. Um, let's grab the scholar's good too. Okay, well, we'll think about that. Just a marshal, diplomacy, intrigue, prowess. Okay, cool. That'll that'll be good. We'll just play this. Um, and we'll go Iron Man because why not? What is this song? It's the Big Chungus song. You wouldn't get it. Okay, this will be. Uh, I don't know. Gola South. Okay, cool. So we're in Savannah, my favorite region of, of Georgia. So what's the jury map modes like? Yeah, we're in. I was right. We're in Georgia. I thought. I thought I might get that wrong, but we are in Georgia. And this is the Holy Columbian Commonwealth. Okay. Oh, it's like the HRE, the Prince of Prince the Elective. Okay. Well, we can probably just vote for ourselves then. Then just get the W. Pretty based. I do be kind of a foreigner though, so as as a Gullah, I believe like I'm not really part of all these cultures here. Yeah, we probably should learn Deep Southern. Let's learn that from the Emperor. Sure. Get me a court tutor for that. California is the Byzantium. I see. Interesting. <laughs> I love I love the love doing this. This is always fun. You got you gotta avoid this when you make tooltips. Because although this is fun, this is like really like dumb that this can this can be done. We're just gonna do this for a bit because I I feel a little bit, you know, I feel like being a little bit of a memer right now. Any uh <laughs> Any tooltip enjoyers in chat? We're gonna migrate our way to the east side of the uh, of the screen. <laughs> now we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop. Any stack overflow? Say so, yeah. We did it 255 times. You can crash the game. Uh, this is Brazil. I assume that Brazil is kind of past the vestibular. Okay, we get. There's some interesting stuff going on over here. I guess. Hover over a language. Yeah, I saw that. That was interesting. So there's, so we gain 
the anglo creolic and anglic so anglo creolic anglo creolic so how do i know how do i know what the language groups are the way i can see that Like for example, Ang Angle Creolic, I assume would be something like. Well, we need. Um, are there any other black Caribeño? That'd be like Spanish, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be like Hispanophones. Well, it's a real thing. Yeah, I was just talking about it earlier. Gola is still around. It's basically if you take the southern accent and make it so incomprehensible, it becomes its own language. To put it very simply, the back country. No, where's there another? Boy, toyish. How can I know what what language group we're, we're in? You buy single to Brazil, true. Yeah, I don't even know what 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 other Anglo Creolic. So there must be other Creole languages around. I don't know where to find them though. I don't know. Francais. They got the Francais language here. Let's go. Maybe like, maybe Jamaican. Yeah, Jamaican would be one. Okay, so we get some citizens with Anglo Creolics here. So I guess that's how we would check is like just see if they also have this. So we got five percent acceptance probably because we share the same language group. Yeah, okay. That's a cool idea. I like that a lot, having the same language groups. Um it's a cool idea. Let's take a look at our culture. So we got barbecues. I love this image for the barbecue, by the way. This is basically the one that the one that gives better get a better um Better feast. Is there a language language group map? It doesn't look like it. I don't think there would be. There's court languages, which you know, yeah, it doesn't seem to be one. Okay, well, let's pick our you know this stuff. This is all the same. It looks like to me. Over here, and we'll just build up a, a nice country down here. I'll probably try to revoke land from our buddy Evangeline here. Okay, I, I want to turn off this, uh, it's cool to have the background noise, but I want to turn that off. That's really, or the ambience. That's, that, I don't like that at all. Um, it's cool to have, and I'm not going to say it shouldn't be there. I just, uh, okay, apparently we have a temple here. Uh, there's no castle here, so we can't really even hold this properly, but it is what it is. Um, I don't really like the, the, the swamp noises or whatever. I don't like the ambience of the deep south. Sorry, chat. Okay, well, we're in wetlands, so we probably should make what Or do we have wetlands? Are we good at that? We are. We are wetlanders, so we'll build some wetlands farms then. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll try to revoke land from this person. Let's also get married. We'll put on the west coast, that's fair. Give me, uh, okay. Let's, well, let's actually try to, let's try to marry with some other family. First of all, any cool decisions? No, okay. I didn't think there would be. It's bugged, it's very loud. Yeah, it was very loud. That was like way too loud. Good. Let's try to, who would we want to marry? Let's try to find someone to marry into. How about like these guys? Omaha. President Augustus. Giga Chad, mega church pastor. Honestly, true. Yeah, he's part of the Evangelical Council. Apparently, he's a schemer. Let's try to get married into this guy's family. So he's got a five year old daughter. We can try to marry that. That'd be cool. Could we uh, sway a little bit? Yeah, we'll ban. We'll learn language all the time. Okay. Well, besides that, we could try to marry over here. We've got a thirteen-year-old dog with you. Okay, we can do this instead. That works. Sure. Okay. Cool. We go to university? No, there's no university. Oh, there is. No, I'm sorry, I missed it. Where are the universities at? I assume they're just all holy sites. No, there are there are universities too. Okay. Berkeley, Vancouver. Hey, UBC. They got UBC up in here, dude. So, okay. Um, <laughs> how long would this trip take? Four years. Damn. It'd take four years to go. And they did mark stuff as as in special interest. So it looks like it's all kingdom capitals and holy sites, I guess. No, there's there are some there are some landmarks, like Yellowstone and stuff. Okay. They're around, but they don't. Are there any? 
interesting ones. It all just seems to be Traveler. Any, like, cool ones? It's the Asian Stewardship, okay. Rushmore? That's in, what, Dakota, right? Or something? And then in uh, Mount Rushmore, here it is. And around here. Yeah, so this gives you diplomacy lifestyle. Okay. Well, let's not worry about it. They got a dockyard over here. What's this? Nice. So oh, that's that's pretty cool. It is on Workshop now, Quiet Guy. It just came out. That's why. That's why it's on. Uh, that's why I'm playing it. I couldn't be bothered to. Uh, you know, I couldn't be bothered to. Uh, um, to you know, uh, <laughs> download this. If it wasn't on Workshop. Niagara Falls. It's like what around here. Doesn't seem to be any special buildings in Niagara, but maybe it's like more here. Padasani. Oh, nice. Padenasani, sorry. Man. We're being ra raiders? Who, is, who are these? St. Augustine, the Spring Searchers. That's a cool, that's a cool effect. What does our faith let us do? I should have looked at that. Sola Fide, classic. Okay, so basically, Zealous is good, everything else sucks. <laughs> okay. Mendicant Preachers, Sola Scriptura. What the fuck, which one is it? Is it only through faith or only through scripture? Explain. Okay. Are they raiding me? Don't you dare. Get away from me, you monsters. Raiders of Orlando, just like real life. It's just like real life. I'd like to revoke land from you, and we have an ally, so let's do that. Oh, you just accept, maybe? Ah, uh, never lucky. Money, thank you. We do mod mods for Giga Chat stories. Only mods I do for Giga Chat stories are my own mods. Giga Chat. Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's all kinds of potential for playing with mods. Only problem is, most of the time, modded content just like doesn't perform very well. Uh, this is like across all YouTubers, not just me. Like it just tends to be that like, modded content is not very effective. Uh, for getting views and stuff, but obviously with my own mod, I made an exception, but normally it's not particularly useful to do so. Right again, instead of sieging. Actually, you might as well just siege, fuck it. There we go. Got him. Let's revoke your land. I don't care about the lack. I don't care about the loss of uh, except like of of legitimacy. I just want all this land for myself. Are these all baronies? Yeah. Okay. So no, 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 no extra temples. That's good. It's because uh, you know it's funny. It's funny to think, but people don't. Oh god! Of course we got the bad outcome. People don't really care much for like you know. Like high quality, like th this is my like you know doomer view of like paradox content creation. People don't really care much for like the the cool content. They care more for just like the stuff that makes them comfortable. Where it's like, okay, I just want to see like you know, I want to see Ludi form Prussia. I want to see the Roman Empire be formed. I you know, you can try to be creative and stuff. And I do try to be creative because I, I I like care about you know I have like I try to have like integrity and all that weird shit or whatever. But um, you know, most people don't really care much for like creative content, they kind of just want, like, you know, stuff that they're familiar with. Got the oranges. Cool. I did see these adoption buttons, I thought that was pretty cool.
Are there any uh, legends by the way? Okay. Are you planning to jump on the U5 Dev Diary Analysis content train? Not really, because I don't really know. Like, I'm not enough of a U4 player to really be able to look at it very well. Okay, marriage is canon and after the end, Pog. Go. Yes, America finally shaped up. They reformed Roman Empire, damn. Definitely like smaller mods uh, will do better for um, Jews of Warm Doctrine and so on. Was there a thing about gay marriage? Asexual relations, criminal, nice. Good to know. All this. Oh jeez, so much to read. If you look at this, that did. Would that mean that basically people can get married? I assume. <laughs> Virtuous. Okay, so this is a lot to read, but. These are the mainstream Protestants, and these are the hostile mainstream Protestant. Okay, okay. Low church. These are so many. So this is this is something where if you if you were to ask me like my opinion about like this, right? It almost just feel like there's just too many of these. Like if you look at how many Christian faiths there are, like how, how many Protestants are there alone? Like this is so many, and some of them only have like one or two counties. Oh, nice Waldensians are around based. There's so many of these. Like, okay. How different are they, though? This is what matters, is how different they are. Miraculously cured, okay. There do seem to be some interesting thing. Gifts of the Spirit. Okay. That's cool. Something something new. I guess today, probably, yeah. But I'm talking about compared to, like, the base game. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm not saying like it's it, it should be less because that's not accurate. I'm saying it should be less because of the gameplay reasons. Yeah. This is the one in Canada, eh? The United Church. Confessionalist Synod. Okay, interesting. So Anglicans blend in with Catholics. Israelite based? Old Covenant. So what are these? Like, okay. I think what this is a reference to, we will we read about them first, but is this like the, you know, like those, those like Christians who think that the old covenant was with like Jesus and not with like, I guess Moses, I don't know, but uh, this is where I'm getting into stuff I don't really know like a ton about, but is this like a reference to like the, the Christians who think that they're basically like new Jews instead of being like Christians? Although I guess all Christians think they're new Jews. I don't know. This. This is where I, I would need someone to actually know some the messianic Jews. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but like the kinds of Christians that are like I have one friend. The reason I'm talking about I have one friend who whose grandma is like when Jesus came, you know, they they made a, the, the the covenant with the Jews was 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 broken, and now there's a new covenant with the Christians, and they're the new Jews. You know, I don't know. That's sort of the the way that she talks. So I have Quaker friends. Which one is the Worship and Guns one? I assume that's Born Again Templars of Christ. Jesus. That's pretty cool. I like that. That sounds pretty fun. Let's 
sword minded. Infallible doctrine. Oh my god, look at that. That's that's hilarious. I love this. <laughs> Everything is evil. <laughs> that's really that's really funny. This this kind of stuff is really cool. So one th one thing um this is one of those things where like what I would almost do. I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily enjoy this mod for like all of its stuff, but I do enjoy this. This is similar to what happened in Elder Kings, where like they implement systems I think are really cool. So Elder Kings, for example, had the dynamic hostility based on your actual beliefs. This kind of stuff is really cool, and I really enjoy this. So for example, if I were to make a new faith, could I make an infallible doctrine faith? Hold on, can that be? Where, where was that? Where could I? Is that something that's just like? Can I set that? You know. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there it is. There it is. There. So I could set that. That's pretty funny. Apostate. Nice. Gun religion was in Texas. Take a look. The exceptionalist. Pretty, oh my god, it's like it's like American interventionism or whatever. Is that the originalism? Oh shit. Constitutional originalists. Rifter megachurch religion? I'd love that. Imagina imaginarianism. That's Kennedy. Hey, that's my boy Kennedy. He's facing east because east is the dawn. I saw that in a Better Call Saul episode. Is it Lone Ranger? No, that's 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 a that's a native faith. Is it libertarianism? Which one's the guns? Oh no! A localization error! You fools! Uh, they'll, they'll figure that out. Sorry, I'm not even playing the game. I'm really just looking at all this stuff. Sorry about that. Why is it only plus 7%? What a strange number to pick. And a bug report? Maybe some, not right now, but maybe sometime, yeah. The Catholics are probably mostly in like Mexico and stuff, eh? That's uh, all these, all the native, native Mexican faiths. Is there one for Santa Muerte? Yeah, here it is, yeah. Church of La Santisma Muerte. Sombrist. It's its own faith, okay. Oh my god, that sounds crazy. If we're doing the workshop, we'll do. I'm just gonna say I found a localization error, so that now I'm actually um <laughs> I'm actually angry now. Uh oh the Baha'i are here. Go. I know about these guys. Well, that's cool. That's a really cool doctrine. What's the global population? I have no idea. I don't know how I would know. I don't know how I would know what the population. What's the development like? Actually, I'm curious about that. Where's the most developed part of the world? Looks like is that is that Mexico City? Yeah, Mexico City is pretty high. Is Vancouver high? Come on, Vancouver, don't let me down. Fourteen. Brazil, I assume, is high, yeah, okay, so, Sao Paulo. This is that, the Lima. Santiago, right, Lima is like around here, isn't it? Oh, open the character finder, okay, hold on, now we can. There's 47,200 characters. That's a lot of characters. Who's this guy? Bro's got no name. He's just a poet and infirm. So many un... Like, who are these guys? They just have... They're just super old. Afro-diasporic. Tendomble de Rito Imperial. A lot of people. That's a lot of people that exist in the game. What's this war that I'm in? Trying to help my ally in something? Not that I care. I'm 
Messianic leveling? Wait. Hispanolia. Um, well, you got the Voodoo Haitians. Isque. Iskeyano. I don't know what that is. But... I don't know. I, I don't know much about the mod. I'm kind of just. I'm just kind of playing. What religion is this guy? Insular Christianity. Okay. Oh, it's the Pope. Oh, the papacy. He's just. He's just chilling. And where is this? St. Louis, Missouri. The guns of America are a Galvanist heresy. What? What is Galvanism? Where, where can I find Galvanism? Here, let me do... The United Arsenals, maybe? Industrial cults. I assume this is the the gun one. Bro, you fucked up. You fucked up the the leak the the, the localization. Sorry, I'm just I'm just being funny. You're just for the. Okay. Cool. The presidency. The president's over here in DC. Checks out. The Capitol Mall. The Pope for America. It's just like in real life. Of course, he's an imaginarianist. Imaginarianist. Was that was I right by the way? Are those are those industrial people? What are all these? What are all these? Legion of Remembrance, Veteranic, Keepers of the Tetramorphic Peace. These are like Remembrance Day enjoyers. Marathon of Hope. Hey, that's T Terry Fox. Yeah, is this wait? Is this supposed to actually be a Terry Fox faith? Wait a minute. Because Marathon of Hope is what is the Terry Fox run. Ain't no way. There's an extra square bracket here, by the way. Excuse me, localization error? Excuse me? Medicine faith. God, they just don't, they don't end. Not, not, not to say it's a bad thing. Just... There's also all these... Oh, they are Christians up here. Kind of. Christian... This is your... I don't say, I guess your Terry Fox. I said it was a soldier. Terry Fox wasn't a soldier. Um, so I don't think it refers to that, because that's that's a soldier. But it could be some evil. It could be some reference, maybe. But I believe Marathon of Hope is a reference to, and the fact that all the all the holy sites are in Canada tells me that it's. Yeah, see, like he starts he started in Vancouver. Terry Fox actually is from Coquitlam. I'm pretty sure he's from around here, from Coquitlam or so. I think not Maple Ridge, but I think Coquitlam proper. And he ran from Vancouver. He's, he's like a, I don't know, if, I, I don't know if he's well known outside of Canada, but he had cancer in his leg, so he had to get his leg amputated. And he knew he was going to die because this was like, you know, when cancer was, I mean, it still is quite lethal, but before there was a lot of good treatments and stuff. To raise awareness of cancer, he ran a marathon very publicly, like very, this is like a huge part of Canada's history. Ran a marathon uh, from Vancouver, starting in Vancouver. He, walked, he ran like on foot across all of Canada, and I believe he ultimately didn't complete it. He passed away in Thunder Bay, if I remember correctly. So he didn't quite reach uh, Ottawa, 
I think he wanted to go as far as like Halifax, which is like over here basically. Where's Halifax? Yeah, I think he wanted to go all the way over here. Maybe even to Newfoundland? I don't know if he wanted to go to like somewhere over here. But he, um, it's not my mod, no, it's not my mod. But he, uh, he ran, a, he ran all the way, all the way to, I think it was Thunder Bay where he died, but I actually want to check that now. Hold on. Uh, Terry Fox Marathon of Hope. How far, how far did he get? Did he actually make it all the way to... How far did he go? Oh my god, this is some fucking middle school. I wanna, like... Show me the- <laughs> show me how far he ran. We just- we just see Barry Fox. Google his name and check- check out his... Wikipedia article or whatever. He was forced to end his run at Thunder Bay. Okay, I'm right. Okay, good. When it can't spread to his lungs. So basically, like, here, I'll show you, I'll show you a picture of the guy. So give you an, this is some deep Canadian lore for those that are curious about it. This is this is Terry Fox. You see him on the side here. He's a guy that lost his leg to cancer and then just ran all the way from Vancouver. He from yeah, he was in Coquitlam. Dude, how do I know, dude? How do I do it? I guess I from Port Coquitlam, but whatever. He he went to high school there and he went to same. I went to same. I went to the university too. We went to the same university. Me and Terry Fox. Um. But yeah, he he went to uh, he went he ran all the way across Canada until he got to died in New Westminster. So I guess he ended his run at Thunder Bay, but then died in New Westminster. So yeah, but he's very like this guy is like uh, if you ever go to like public school in Canada, he's one of the first people that you learn about. Talk about the lore, motherfucker! This isn't like ATE lore. This is real lore, dude. I believe this is I believe this is based on this this is probably based on Terry Fox, I understand. But that's some deep Canadian lore. Do I live in BC? Yeah, I'm from I, I live in I live in, uh, right here. I live in the tribe of Surrey. And yes, we do have a very large uh sick community over here, so it checks out. Okay, um let's let's play the game a little let's play the game a little bit. How about that chat? Let's play a little bit of the game. Plays Hawaii? No, we're playing. We're playing in Savannah. Cover cover history lore. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking around. It's all good. You're good, little bro. Oh, Bobby died. Rip, rip, Duke Bobby. Okay. You know the mod name? This is called After the End. It's called After. It's on the Steam Workshop. It's like the most popular mod on the Workshop right now. It's called After the End. Post Apocalyptic America mod. Helping my ally, aren't I a good ally? Look at me go. Don't you give up on that siege? There you go. End of the after same mob will flip the map. True. Well, I'm curious about plagues. Hold on. Did they did they name the uh, the plagues at all? The Devil's Fire. Okay. They probably haven't given unique names to plagues, have they? Yeah. Yeah. Nearly all of Asia to the base CK2 map. Damn. That's pretty cool. I'll put down, uh, I guess we can do some, I want to do some military camps for the archer damage. Do we have any special units? Doesn't look like it. Well, cow keepers, what are these? They're just better in, better in the terrain around here. They beat heavy cavalry, so, that, so that's, and heavy infantry, okay, that's interesting. They beat heavy units. Definitely we'll keep those in mind. In fact, I might even get one of those. So. I think I'd like some cow keepers. Put them in Vidalia. I'm gonna try to talk like a like a southern, although I'm playing a a Gullah, so I guess I should actually be. I can't really do a Gullah accent unless I'm like a racist, so I'm not gonna do that. But that would be in theory what I should be doing. 
It'll be like, like me one day. It'll be alright. So I could hybridize. So I, I'm part of the Geechee heritage, which I don't know... Who all is... Uh, there probably aren't very many Geechees, are there? Like, that would probably be... Are there any, like... Yiddish, oh gosh. Are there any, like, black minority cultures, like, along the East Coast here? Upstater, nice. Seminoles, no. I don't know who we would share a heritage with, but... Okay to be a gamer, Tarkus? No, I'm not gonna do that. I do, I, I do know about the Gullah, the Gullah language, but it's uh, not exactly something which uh, <laughs> I could do an accent of without sounding real bad. So, not to mention, I don't really know how to do it. To be, to be fair, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really know how to do it. Oh, this is Rastafarianism. This must be, yeah, this must be Rastafarianism. It's got the Ethio, it's got the Haley Halasi thing or whatever. Haley Halasi, sorry, I got the word wrong. Oh, free, free stewardship. Let's go. Oh, look, everyone rose up against this guy. Jesus. Okay, well, maybe I should have risen up, but it is what it is. The Emperor is black. Very based. Still, I wouldn't take the risk. Doing a black accent. It's, it's, just, in, it's just in bad taste in today's world. Everyone's Edmonton? Yo, average Edmonton enjoyers? It's, uh... Wait, is this a Russian? Periansky? Is this like the Ukrainian, the Ukrainian minority of um, of Canada or of Edmonton or whatever this is supposed to be? I think so. Oh, cowboys! Look at that. Damn. Mongolian. I think they're. Um, I think they're supposed to be like the, the the Ukrainian or Russian uh, minorities. Yeah. Previous timing? Oh yeah, definitely for the for the for the Slavs. That's perfect. Very landy. These are like Albertan Canadians, though, eh? Interesting how they divide up the languages so heavily, though. Oh, is there is there a Mennonite? Oh, Mennonites. Yeah, hold on. Wait, that's a thing. Mennonite community up here. No, but Mennonites. Yeah, my uh, my partner's mom is a Mennonite. Yeah, they're they're a whole last thing. I saw there were Quakers as well when we were looking at some of the uh, some of the other. What do you call it um, religions that was like a Quaker faith or whatever. Quaker friends. We have a kid coming, let's go. Looks like the Tyranny War is going to be won by the Vassals. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry, I'm yawning. <sighs> Good one. What kind of feudal contracts are available? Nothing special. Okay, we're just gonna grab council rights then. We already are on the council, but still, good to grab it anyway. Okay. So evangelical names, I assume, are like religious names. Yeah, these are gonna be like the Protestant, nice, good name. But a good Gullah name. Emerson, let's go. American Crusader on you, oh jeez. Oh, the presidency has expanded, whoa. He previously just controlled, uh, oh, he's, wait. Oh, because he gets elected, right? So, whoever was in D.C., yeah, in Washington, must have lost the election, and then it went to I'm Rich, the Quarreler. Or of the Holy Place. Ah, it rules Washington, the Holy Place, the Constitutionalist faith. Now, now there's a Constitutionalist ruling. Originalism. Bro thinks everyone's evil. 
it's an interesting dynamic where you could, in theory, have Faith's religion to be evil. That's very interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Is the Midwest site filled with cowboy mongols? It's filled with Vikings in, the, in Minnesota, anyway. Going overthrowing the guy again? Sure. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stay on the council. But yeah, I don't. I, it looks like you got a lot of natives in the in the center, and then you have like Minnesotan Vikings and stuff in the over here. Uh, pirate traits, yeah. The Haida had uh, Warmonger, I think, actually. Like their their Raven Tails faith had Warmonger, yeah. And then the Haida culture, what they got, yeah. Pirates, whalers, Bentwood warriors. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Did we get raided? No way. No, we did. Damn. I need a Seneschal. That'd be very useful right now. Gary. Let's go, my boy. My boy, Gary. Ranges clan with different tax decks. That's cool. That's a cool way to implement a new government is to have it be through different taxes. Let's upgrade the castle in Savannah. We're gonna turn Savannah into a metropolis. Sounds pretty good to me. So I'm becoming southern. Sorry, we have to stop this. Not allowed. So in terms of like greater sort of actual gameplay ambitions, I don't really know what I want to accomplish uh, this run, if anything. I'm not really sure what exactly I'd like to do as this character, but maybe we'll figure that out later or whatever, I don't know, but kind of just sitting here building up money right now. Could claim the Empire. Okay, that's, I mean, sure. Let's just get elected to the Empire, fuck it, right? Maybe that'll help us get elected. Empire religion, yeah, there's all, there's all kinds of religions. It's kind of crazy. Some people might vote for me, which is cool. I do be having a claim. Other Neo Templars, yeah, it was like down here. Born again Templars of Christ. Restore America? Is that a thing? Is there a button for that? Because America would be like several empires. Like it'd be Lone Star, parts of Arido America, California, parts of Cascadia, Rockies, parts of Thunderland, parts of Northwoods. There's an Iberian-esque struggle in Mexico as well. Mexican standoff. Oh, I got elected. Okay, well, that was that was easy. Okay, well, this, it's just like the real HRE. You just get elected, you don't even try. Okay, well, we're the, we're the Emperor of the Commonwealth now. <laughs> okay, well, that was... What are these wars? Probably don't want them to take that, do we? And war against my, the Tyranny Emperor Julius, which is my tyranny, I guess. Okay, well, uh, I guess... I don't know if I'm ready to be the Emperor yet, but... With Underland and Thunder Bay? I don't think so. I don't think he would be in Thunder Bay. With in Winnipeg, of course, should have known. No, because Thunder Bay is like all the way out here. Yeah, here it is. Here's Thunder Bay. Oh, they called it Marathon, probably after, again, the Terry Fox run. That's pretty cool that they, they named it after that. Because this is where Thunder Bay is, approximately. Is it a decision? Store America. Oh, it's only the east of America, though. This is like the Roman Empire restoration, I guess. You get to create Commander-in-Chief. This is Augustus. Yeah, okay, yeah. Based. America is regorged. Why is it... Why is it... 
Why is it written that way? Western United States. Yeah, I see. So we could try to restore America. Um, we're being invaded right now by Speaker Nicholas of Delmarva. I don't even know what that is. He's a user. A user. Speaks Chesapeake. Alright, well, let's try to stop that, I guess. Our army isn't amazing, by any means. But we can try. First, I want to stop this tyranny war, I think. We can always conquer other stuff, but... Even in America, you can reform Rome. Very based. Very Sigma Chad. Why is this an equal fight? There's no way. What the fuck? What do they have that's so strong? How can I be losing? I ain't losing. Get out of here. Yeah. But... I'd like to win this war so we could just throw these people in prison, but... 13 colonies, borders, let's go. Um, We're just gonna have to lose this war, yeah. He's taking like one county, it doesn't even matter that much. All these factions, bro. I probably just gonna get out the throne. I don't want to be emperor yet, dude. That's a little bit like monka ass to be emperor right now. No British North America, yeah, Sag. Can't become British. We could try to unify with Dixie before we uh, before we lose the throne. That'd be funny. Going for the capital, of course they are. They do have siege equipment, so we need to get down there fast. Yeah, they're gonna rise up. I think we're probably just going to allow the like to just gonna lose the throne intentionally because I don't really care to actually like be controlling this this empire. This is Duke Orlando. They're putting him on the throne, right? Yeah. Part of the empire, yeah. Okay, here. Yeah, just just get him out of here. I, I don't. I mean, we're just gonna lose if I don't agree. So yeah, see you later. I, I just I just want to live in Savannah, you know. So that's where I'm at. Thanks. I'll be stupid. Yeah. See, this is this lay better. But that was funny. But I don't actually want to control this empire. I probably shouldn't vote for myself, but it's a good meme. So we're gonna keep voting for ourselves anyway. It's a good meme, so why not? Got some money out of it, you know? Off the count. Wait, did I lose my... my... This is the thing about when you lose your vassal contract and it's very annoying. Can I, can I get it back? Yeah, good. Losing the Vassal Contract is really annoying. Oh, I can't be fired. Okay. Well, I'll take the Chancellor then, I guess, for the Prestige. President of America is here. Let's go. Let's get him go. Taking the March of Piedmont. Piedmont Crescent. The Southern one. I mean, I kind of want to because like, it'd be a good play, but we're playing as a very unique culture, and I, I don't really want to give it up necessarily, but... Um, it would it would probably be the correct play to to hybridize. But what are those? What are those? Uh, those like different art. Yeah, slightly different art. That's cool. Let's host a dang old barbecue. Whenever I uh, so I have a I have a, like a character voice that I do for like Southerners or whatever, and it's a guy from the Bayou, you know, and he sounds kind of like this. He says, "Why don't we host ourselves a barbecue, a, a barbecue?" 
You know, I don't know what, how to describe what that would be, but it's like an old man from the from the from the south who lives in the in the bayou. I sure do love me some gumbo. You know, I don't I, like at least Louis. I guess Louisiana is that what that would probably be like. I don't know where I got the voice from, but I just it's just a voice in my head. I always hear the sound of gumbo in my mind. Okay, great. Got some, uh, that's probably from having barbecues that we, that we got the renown, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. No new, uh, legacies, that's fine. I'll take rightful rulers, that's just a good one to have. Continuous in a new game? Ain't no way. Ain't no way, though, bro. So this place, I can, I can just never hold this county because it's literally like only got a temple. Unless I were to convert to a temporal faith, I guess, but... Is there any around? Or sorry, lay clergy, I should say, not temporal. Some of these are lay clergy, okay. Evangelicals aren't. That's why funny the state I live in, Texas. We have a town that is, that is German and Texan. I ain't no way, brother. Oh, I'm allied to the I'm allied to the emperor. It looks like I'm now the um, the heir. Very annoying to me. Yeah, it can be definitely be a bit a bit annoying. This 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 county basically died, but I'm holding it because I don't know why not. I guess we should probably just give it out. I'm sure, yeah, it's pointless to hold. So, someone. Horse herd. Is that because they have um, knights or how can they do horse herds? Strange. What was the uh, stratocratic law that's mentioned there? What is that? Would be a special thing. You should be a steward, and you can be the martial character. That sounds good. Ex Deutsch actually are in, in the game. Damn. Texan and Texaner. Is this a diverged culture? What is this? Ex Deutsch. Okay, no, they, that's that's them. Okay, that's the Ex Deutsch. There they are. This is them. They also do barbecues. Cow spoke. We speak cow poke around these pots. Let's keep building up our domain, I guess. I'd like to get new domain. We want to, in theory, conquer more parts of Georgia, so... This guy, for example, in Altamaha would probably be good. I do have a claim to Lorenz, although I think, um... Yeah, I think my wife should get claims. She, in theory, should get claims to the whole ass empire, which is funny, but yeah, I ended up in inadvertently allying myself with the empire. It's cool. I could try to claim Augusta. Right, I'm gonna stop doing the. I'm gonna stop doing the Bayou voice before it becomes my permanent voice. You never know. I don't want to get permanently, permanently by you voiced. Don't raid me. That's what I thought. Yo, what's up, Arth? How you doing? Bayou, little bro. Oh, yeah. I do enjoy the Bayou. It's a funny. It's a funny place. Do I not, do I not, um, do not have the council seat? I, I don't, I should probably get one. Yeah, give me that stewardship, let's go.
We're gonna make Savannah a new metropolis of the south, boys. Which I believe we can do. Yeah, there is like, me like metropolises and stuff. Which is cool. Forgiving sounds good. I mean, it's a virtuous trait. I'm always down for forgiving. Have you had a po' boy? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know anything about the South. I just like to do the Bayou voice. What's this date? It's it's like a post-apocalyptic America, so a little bit later. What's happening here? What is this? Why is the bear eating the bear that's eating the fish that's also eating the the I don't know the the, the random bits and pieces? Also, Svalbard is here. Yo, um. I didn't even notice this was here. Why is this here? Look at the igloos. Oh my god, that's so cute. All of Augusto, man. Selected him, okay. So now my wife doesn't have any claims. Do claims? Wait, do they not have claims that pass? No, she does have claims, okay. She has claims, and those claims will go to the kids, and then that way I can claim Low Country. That'll be cool. I'd like to conquer Augusta. Or like a Bon Miba with fish, often black and spices. Mmm, I do enjoy me some black. I, I, I told, I said I would stop. I'm gonna stop. No more, no more Bayou voice. It's just so, it's so fun to do though, chat. Ottawa's too far. Uh, where, okay, this is the one of the problem is, I don't know like where any of these places are. Okay, peach tree seems close enough that I'm willing to, I'm willing to work with that. So let's get married into the peach tree family. I'm down. The Robinson. The ba Bayou. So the the Bayou is a. Is uh is like the swamps of Louisiana. Are they gonna have a reference to it? Like, hold on. I don't know if they are, but this 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 like this swamp down here is called the, the Bayou. Yeah, this over here. Much best your wife's claim. Nah, I, I don't think so. I, I would be like, we could in theory like be a lot more aggressive, but I don't know. I just don't really like. I want to just focus on building up my domain first before I do anything too crazy, so that we can stand a chance. Is Augusta actually good? Augusta's level 2 castle, so that's pretty nice. That's definitely worth something. Yeah, you gotta remember that Louisiana is basically like French, so they spell things like they're French, so it's Bayou, that with the O-U. Lorenzo, you're my Marshall guy. Be generous. Generous is bussing. They have a lot of Acadians on there from New France way back. Yeah, well, Francophone, I mean, yeah, it's... I know when I said French, I didn't mean, like, actually, like, ethnically French. I meant, I meant more like, uh, I meant more like Francophone, but yeah. They do be speaking French down in Louisiana. Although they got their own kind of like French there, that's weird. It makes Quebec French look normal. How's your air doing trait wise? He's good, he's got forgiving. Enjoy a little bit of forgiveness. Gotta chase this army down. Fight whoever wins. Yeah, nice. Easy clap. Three years siege, yeah, I'm good. Let's find those. Find a easier to siege castle. That was a fort level six, fort level two. That looks a little better. Do you want to the Quebecois? I don't really know. Uh, they just they just speak a really weird. Like they say like Boku bucks in in here around here. That's one thing I remember. I, I know very well the the saying Boku bucks. Also, damn, that's a really high level castle. What the fuck? High Republic. Well, they can hold cities, I assume. That's a very well-developed city, damn. Okay, Savannah is mine. I'm not Savannah, but August. 
So we definitely want to go revoke all this crap like right away. Um, but we'll do that later. They'll probably try to rise up against me, so that'll be a good opportunity to get rid of them. Get more units, that'd be kind of nice. I'd like more archers. Yeah, because they they got pretty good stats on them, so... That sounds good, just to get a big mass of archers. Oh, like Breaking Bad. Yeah, well, in Breaking Bad, I mean, in, um... Is it in Better Call Saul? I think it's in Better Call Saul, where they have, like, they try to make, um... They try to make, uh, what do you call it? They try to save one of, like, Huel's life, or whatever, from going, you try to save him going to prison. In the Hindu theory or only geography, there's lots of different faiths and lots of different, like, stuff. Um, and I haven't really messed with, like, there seems to be some pretty unique faith doctrines and all that. Uh, most of them have to do with tolerance, but some of them aren't. Um... Yeah, I'm curious about this Grand Adventure, Casa's Belly, whatever this is. It's basically... Basically like, you know, Grand Adventures or whatever, but... Mormons, the Huel, yeah, Huel is the character I'm thinking of, but... Fish Dead, so there's Mormons and stuff, there's all kinds of interesting things. And there's different kinds of... There's different kinds of Latter-day Saints, too. Latter-day Patriots. Are these American... Yeah, Americanist syncretism. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff here. I mean, you know, there's so much to look at. Oh, they call Protection Racket. Oh, they named... They renamed stuff. That's cool. Well, that's cool. Let's, do, let's definitely do some extortion. You gotta extort your vassals. Poppy Drinker is evil in Mormonism? Is that actually true? Ain't no way. Oh, damn. Poppy Drinker. Why can we get that trait? I want to get that trait. I just think that all the- why are all the Mormon holy sites not in Utah? Also, why do they get six holy sites, lucky bastards? I guess- I guess it makes sense that some of them wouldn't be in- in Utah, but... The August trait? Celebrity. Presidential. Oh, nice. Cool. We have military camps here. This is where the horses are. Let's put some stables here. Different place they saw exposed from, yeah. Going to Salt Lake City on a Pilgrim sounds hilarious. I bet. I bet it would be funny. People are claiming the Empire. Someone's claiming. We're, we're claiming someone else. Brave. Brave sounds. Actually, Zealous is really good because Zealous is a holy trait. Yo, though, bro, just got three holy traits. Damn. This guy's gonna become the Emperor, like, 100%. Ain't no way. Or we'll look the land later once these guys aren't here. This is obviously a little bit scary to do it around them. Uh, you can be diligent, sure. This is our this is like our backup. He's already depressed though, so we probably don't want to play as him. But still, can I go to level three castle here? No, I need the suburb innovation for that. I control this culture, right? Yeah, good, okay. So we can get suburbs. Six years, damn. Executive privilege. I uh, we probably want, well, I think suburbs is good to get more, to get more, uh, lot of stuff. Like, how far can we go? Can we go up to level four with suburbs? I don't know, I can't, can't see that far ahead, but... Can you get rid of Melancholic? Not in the base game. There's not really any way to get rid of it. Um, but there may be, a, maybe in this mod there's a way, I don't know, but... In the base game, once you're depressed, you're depressed forever. There's no recovery. It is what it is. This Empire is just like the HRE. <laughs> you want a pre-made? No, this is a, this is, this is a character, a custom character that I made, the Daniel of Savannah. He ended up being gay, by the way. Weird. And a vault of SSRIs. Like IRL based. 
Oh, raiders? Well, we can kill those guys. Do that. Wait, oh, wait, that's not even... Wait, no, that's not even my line. Yo, he's doing, he's doing a chatting pyramid, yo. He didn't complete the pyramid, though. You gotta complete the pyramid, my guy. Oh, he did complete the pyramid. Never mind, I just didn't see it. Nice. Very good. Very good pyramid completion. Sorry, I didn't show up on my chat very well. That's why I couldn't tell. This is this is uh, we're in the um, we're in the Holy Colombian Commonwealth. It's basically the HRE of this mod, but then we're pers my personal land is in uh, is in Georgia. I said Georgia. My personal land's in Georgia. Go and kill these raiders, bro. How can I be losing? Explain that one, liberals. What? <laughs> Who, who are these guys? Who are these guys? Why are they so good? What do they got? They got special units? Oh, look at this. How did- how? I, I don't- okay, that's interesting. Must have good knights and I don't. My knights are pretty good though, I don't know. Weird champ. I'm gonna take this guy, we're gonna turn him uh, tactic. we're gonna do a vanguard plus tactician, I think. Kinda of old, unfortunately, which is annoying. What the hell is even that? I love that meme so much. It's so good. We should get some heavy footmen or something. Fine, we'll be alright. Golfer? What the heck is a golfer? I do not know. Nor do I wish to know. I used to watch um, House of Cards, so I know everything there is to know about Southern culture. And, uh, you know, Kevin Spacey, disgraced actor, still uh, did quite the performance in that show, I must say. I don't really want to be the marshal. Do a hunt? I don't want to waste my money on that. I want to I spend my money on units. We don't want to waste our money on stuff like hunts. Like, I want to get a big squad of heavy footmen, I think, is what I want to do. Kind of nice. Well, I got nowhere to station them, so we're going to have to revoke some stuff over here. These rebels still around, though. I'm scared to revoke while there's rebels around. Because they might go and just, like, fuck me over. Oh, we're in the Gilded Age, by the way. For the money? The Gilded Age. Unions, it's not very American. Well, I guess it was very American until, until recently, but... My boy. Dog grown up. an option to say to snap the orientation back or just think okay. where would that be is that a hold on is that a game rules thing Rotation reset. Oh. oh, so you can always oh, so you can go like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can play like this. It just that it makes the writing look kind of weird. <laughs> it is clearly not meant to be like this. 
What you what units do we have? We have um we have these the cow keepers. That's our like unique unit. The cow keepers. I can get more of those. Like the mines, they have a unique government. Well, they have High Republic, it looks like. But let me check. Maybe they have other mines of other. Yeah, High Republic isn't unique to the Mayans. It's a part of other parts of the world here. Nomadic. Look at all these. Like the map being sideways? Yeah, it makes it. It, it is an interesting. It is an interesting way to play. We probably will go back to being uh, sideways. Because. It is kind of how it's mods used to be made. What's the Kami for in this religion? They've got quite a few. They got Jesus Freaks. Christ Nifornians. That's really funny. Um, they've got... What is this? Guruist? This, are these like Hindus? I don't know. Adam Cadman. Okay, that's Jew Jewish. Buddhist. The Ailu are the Mayans. Why are they down here? You mean the you mean the Incas? Are wait are is there lore about this? Oh, these guys are Inti. These, these aren't Mayans, motherfucker. <laughs> these are not Mayans. These are well, unless yeah, Kachua is the like the name of the Inti people today. Yeomanist? Yeah, that's another kind of Americanist. The Incans. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Everyone makes mistakes. Yo, Gnarlists. Yo, we're skateboarding, bro. Or I guess, well, I, I hear Gnarly, I think of skateboards, but I guess they're probably, these are probably, um, like, surfers, but... No, no way, dude. Oh, Malice? Any Malice? So we'll take a look. Hold on. First, then we become the steward. Oh, Shelby took the spot. They all... Dude, I can't be anything. Everyone just took all the council positions. Okay, well, I guess I'll be the spy master then. Um, Atlantean. Zoroastrians! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! They got Zoroastrians, chat. <laughs> gang, gang. Are there actually mouse though? Is there actually a, a Zoroastrian community here in California? I didn't know that, if there is. A Thomasist, so that must be nuke people. Thermonualism. Ain't no way. The Rastrians from India, right? Like the, the Gujaratis are Rastrians, okay. Los Alamos. I need health penalty. Vegas? Like New Vegas? Interesting. Mutant men at arms. That'd be so funny. I would love that so much. Mesopotamia. That'd be funny. LA is their holy site. Let's go. And Vancouver. Do we have? I don't even know, dude. Do, I don't. I don't know if. Um. I don't. I don't know if there are any. There are many Zoroastrians around here. Most of the Zoroastrians today aren't actually in the Middle East, they're in India. That's where most of them are. Because a long time ago they moved there and they kind of stuck around. Gamble? Yo, let's go. Gambling in Vegas. Oh yeah, baby.
No, Gary. I don't know why, but like whenever I see like normal, nor like modern names in CK3, it always makes me laugh. Okay, looks like the, all the all the rebels are gone, so we can go and revoke stuff over here now. By the way, or we did I lose authority? No, that back. Give me, give me Augusta. I swear, if you choose to rebel, I will put you down. Like no other, brother. I will not hesitate to destroy you, brother. Perhaps I can get myself some kind of alliance. Even if it may be a temporary one. Sure, whatever. Three years left, are you kidding me? Everybody really should be easy to siege, right? Yeah, it's a level one fort. The south will rise again. Oh, dude, I love that with the sunglasses on. That's beautiful. That emote's so good. Currently fighting with me. Oh damn! It, didn't get it. That would have been good. Nice. I mean, I'll fucking all ransom this guy and just ransom him again after the war is done. That's good to me, brother. Get this. We're gonna make the South the shining jewel of America. Just you wait. Oh, excuse me. I don't know my yelling. Oh. Alright, let's go fight. We should be able to win this relatively easily. If we can catch him. There we go. I will be revoking all of this territory now. Don't really care about the legitimacy losses, because why would I? I wanted to execute, so I go misclicking. Good. Are you? Um, nah, we can just leave that guy, I guess. Great, so we got a bunch of new land now. Let's get control going, and I also want to get a Seneschal to help out with that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, no, I'm Turkish, but yeah, I, uh, I could pass for Iranian, but no, I'm of Turkish descent. But no, I'm not offended for you asking, it's all good. No, uh... No, no need to fear. I guess I can go help with this. I mean, I might as well help kill the peasants, right? Get some prestige out of it. Station these guys now, but we'll wait until... There you go. Happy to help, sir. Severe stream Hassan Piker, yo. Hassan's more Turkish than I am, though. The guy was actually like raised in Turkey, whereas I'm just kind of of Turkish descent. It's a little different. Okay, so if I want to be the king of Georgia, we need one more county. We can make that happen. I could also try to increase my legitimacy. That'd be another way that I could do it. But we can probably just claim over here.
Yeah, we, we could. Uh, we'll see about it. Because if I can king, king of Georgia, then he'll probably just give me other vassals. I think it's probably best if we just try to um, better increase our legitimacy. Do I have anybody I can funeral? I don't think so, right? I guess we can just go feasting. I mean, feasting is just good in general, so why not? Bring the Emperor over. Okay, sure. Let's, let's befriend the Emperor. You know, getting videos on YouTube here and there yeah I mostly watch his streams but here and there I'll check out one of the videos I just find that I enjoy the the interactions with mr. gaming as opposed to just watching the videos of him so I don't really I don't really watch the videos that much yeah all the different legends are really fun the guy I mentioned a little betrothal it already broke itself I wouldn't worry yeah she died it broke itself but she was sickly that's what I had in mind she was sickly as I should probably die for good Nothing to worry about there. Even if it went through, I mean, who, it doesn't really matter much. Can't bring the Emperor anymore, but that's okay. Okay, who would I, who could I bring in that maybe I'd want to, like, kill or something? So, for example, uh, my son, he's married to the Princess of Peachtree. So we could try to kill this guy. And the, actually, yeah, I mean, why not, right? He's got a fuck ton of debt. But should I kill him? And then that way we can maybe invade him and take the last piece of land that we need for Georgia. You can't get him? Oh well. It's fine, though, whatever. We'll just bring this guy. Works for me. We don't need friends, we don't need to murder. <laughs> It'd be very cool, by the way. So you know how you know how in Elder Kings, yeah, the cultures actually have descriptions. It'd be very cool if we could see um, if we could see descriptions for uh, cultures in this game. Because I don't know a lot about the lore of this mod compared to Elder Kings. I feel very like misguided here. I'm basing everything that I that I like that I'm interpreting on this mod off of like you know real world equivalents more or less. Like I know what Gullah is in real life and this kind of stuff, but um, I don't know necessarily how accurate that is. Right? Like some of this stuff, I'm just dude, I don't know what the fuck any of this is. I'm also not that uh, my my knowledge of like Americana is not that great, so I also don't know a lot of things. Does be getting in the way, which do be getting in the way. Jing, is that from my culture? Colombian flux. Yeah, I met, I had mentioned on the stream as well. I'm in, in Turkish by, by ethnicity, but I'm Canadian by uh, citizenship. Although also Turkish citizenship, I'm a Turkish and Canadian dual citizen. But you know, I'm more of a I'm more of a uh, Canadian than a Turk. If I had to, you know, pick one. Can we get a better marshal? Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. Yeah, thank you. I'm second in line to the uh, <laughs> Colombian Commonwealth. This is funny. Actually, a pretty strong emperor right now. Pretty cool. Mughal, yeah, the Mughal video I mentioned on Turkish because that obviously, um, in that case, it was quite relevant. But yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so if I wanted to attack this guy, he's got no alliances. We could just claim this one county of Lawrence, and that would let us make Georgia. So let's do that. That is definitely getting elected. Ain't no way. Following our ally. If we take Lawrence, then we can make Georgia. And if we become king of Georgia, then the emperor should give me, like, transfer the vassalage for me to all these other guys. So we'll do that. Get up and hit the gritty. I don't even. I don't actually know what hitting the gritty means. I've heard of it. I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. And I, I part of me says I don't want to know. Although, um, why wouldn't I want to know? I think I just am. You know, well, I want to feel like I'm above the, uh, the zoomers. Although I am a zoomer myself, but above the degenerate TikTok zoomers, you could say. But I actually don't know what hitting the gritty is. Dance move. Well, I know that, but I mean, I, I mean, I don't know like what the dance move is. What the fuck? I know, I know. It's all about being superior to your peers, though, you know? It's like, I'm, I'm like a yippie. Or a yuppie, sorry. I'm like a yuppie, you know? Like, I'm trying to be not like the... Trying to be not like the, uh, the others around me. I don't actually have TikTok, so, you know, I, I am above TikTok in some way, I guess. Just playing the Gaznavids. Not, I don't really care for the in-game like legends because they're so like boring. I, I mostly am interested in just developing my own mod further, which we'll do later today. Once I get tired of playing this, we're gonna keep the stream going, and I'm just gonna do some some modding. Do you have siege? Um, like siege progress? What do you mean? Do I have siege? I I don't. I have like I don't have any siege equipment, so that kind of sucks. But I can get some. I just don't have any. I should get some to be honest, but I'm relying on my ally here to do the sieging, and I'm just kind of chilling. These weapons, yeah, I don't have any right now. Damn, another kid, bro. You're 45, bro. Bro is giving birth way too late. Very dangerous to give birth at that age. It's here at Region to play in CK base game CK3. Probably England. I know it's a very basic and like, you know, stupid answer, but probably England. I just like that region. Eighty. Doesn't feel like a yeah, that was like a very Veronica, I don't know if it was that was better. Katie just feels too I don't know. Unbased. Arbor. Now that's a name. That's a that's a name, little bro. Oh, we won for like a, a millisecond. We won. Damn. Don't you abandon that siege, you motherfucker. Don't you do it. Coming up there to help you. Don't leave that siege. I'll, I'll, I'll end you. Thank God. Okay, good. Is he Canadian? I am Canadian. I do be a Kanukistanian. I do, I do, I do be, I do be living in this barony right here, the tribe of Surrey. It do be a tribe up in here, by the way. All right, now we're waiting for money. Uh, let's get it from our son, I guess, and let's go and become the king of Georgia. Bruce Wayne, he isn't playable as yet. Is there a Bruce Wayne in Gotham? Ain't no way. Or easy way to do this song. Oh, there he is. Bruce Wayne. Did the reformation happen doxxed? And yeah, I guess. It's a whole it's a big city, so good luck finding me in this city. It's a very big city. Surrey is almost as big as Vancouver. But good luck. There you go, about to become King of Georgia. Well I'll be damned. Give me, give me these, give me these dukes now. Vassal, thank you. This peach tree. I'm infirm now. That's okay. Give me the next one. Thank you.
orientation is a bit weird. Yeah, you can always um you can always reorientate it. Uh, it's a little bit bruh. The Magic Kingdom, yo, it's actually Disney. Waltney, ain't no way. Bro is actually a Walt Disneyite. Yeah, we're the king of Georgia now, so that's good. It's a bit of an upgrade. Am I, am I, can I potentially get elected now? Postal quarantine? Mm, that's not too bad, sure. Um, we're second in line. We try to get elected, but I think we don't... I don't really want to be emperor quite yet, anyway. We still have to build up more of our counties. I do have a lot of... Um, like, we're gonna have a pretty bad succession looking at what's going on here like that's kind of sad but to be fair we're keeping we're keeping savannah um which is what matters but these kids are like really annoying so i think we'll try to get rid of them i'm just gonna disinherit it doesn't cost it doesn't it looks this is broken this this probably should be costing us stuff but it's not cool with me 225 for now are you kidding me Gotham. Gothamite. My court language should be Gullah, right? That should be my... Or I speak... Oh, wait, because we speak Deep South. We yeah, speak the same language as the... We speak the same language. Oh, no, we don't. We speak Gullah. I should probably adopt this then. Well, the Deep South and Peace seems to be pretty prestigious. Actually, we should probably keep... Probably keep this. I should go play a game in Svalbard sometime. Be kind of funny. Yeah, any cost is really nice to have. I'm gonna mark that as important, just constantly click this. Cool. And then, um... I wanna host a feast to get some renown. Good. We'll take a look at the Svalbard religion in a second. See, what's the Svalbard faith? Earth Vault. Hmm, okay, that's cool. Doesn't seem to be that interesting though. It's kinda just it kinda just exists, and that's the meme, I guess. Svalbard's part of it's uh the kingdom. Of Kalali Nunat, so basically part of Greenland, and then part of the Empire that's like the entire north kind of thing. They do have the vault. Let's see, let me see the vault. What is that? Down here. What part of this gives that? What is the vault? It seems to me this is just like a very basic faith where it's just got base game stuff. As an IRL. Oh, okay, sorry. There, there. Gotcha. The vault of all seeds ever. Damn. Pretty bussin'. Yeah, okay. Case I guess in case the world ends, you put all the seeds in small bard of all places. And a base. I do be pretty cool. I do be agreeing. Marcellus? Marcellus Wallace? Great, okay, now I should be able to disinherit that other kid. Because I think we don't want to be having all these kids. I'm just going to play as this guy, and then... That's most of the important counties, then Augusta goes to Lorenzo. That's fine. Now that we have stuff. Oh, okay, I kept that. That's cool. We 
should have had those up this whole time, but it is what it is. Of this poor, sadly. Wait till I get average, so I'll switch to medicine and see if I can live a little bit longer. But if I die, it's okay. I'm ready to die right now. No, it's a good idea to have the seeds in Svalbard because if like nuclear war were to happen, what place would be likely to like unlikely to get like fucking nuked? Probably like Svalbard, you know? I doubt that would be like a place that gets completely nuked or whatever. Who's the new pres the president? Oh, it's still in Washington, okay. Texan Imaginarianism. Doesn't nature was impossible? Is it was that ever a thing? Is that a thing from CK2 maybe? Why is this guy so strong? Damn. Senator Chad. The shield of Manhattan. Ain't no way, you little bro. Damn. Bro is like he's strong, dude. I guess is New York's like really rich? If we look at New York City. Yeah, Manhattan seems to be- yeah, Manhattan's very rich. Okay, that's why. Okay, okay. Oh. 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 Just yawning, just yawning. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, because um, I was up finishing up that video. I wanted to release it today, so I went and finished it. Is Mod in a good state now? I'm, en I'm enjoying my, my little bit of playing right now. Having a good time. It, se it seems to run nicely, although... Yeah, it, run it runs pretty well from what I can tell. It doesn't seem to have any, like, performance issues, which is good. Again, I'm not having any trouble with, like, the game running super slowly or anything. Still working on suburbs, right? Do Dixies have suburbs? They don't. I wouldn't be willing to hybridize to get suburbs. Super nice. But when Savannah continues to rise, Average, let's go over to Medicine Focus. Tennessee. You find new modded gauge head guides? Probably not, no. I don't intend to do much modded content outside of my own mod. Um, just because modded content doesn't perform very well, to be honest speaking. The Empire's borders do extend into Alabama, so we could try to conquer Alabama or something. But Magnolia's getting in here. Atlantan. Well, we could hire the Atlanteans. Hmm. Yeah, the mod seems to be pouring well. Well with me. Oh, oh, I see. Some people. Well, there's a right. There's a vocal minority that wants modded content, but in terms of what most people actually want to watch, it, it turns to not be modded stuff. New leash just dropped. Sure. I don't, to be fair, a uh, big reason why I won't do Game of Thrones because I don't really like that mod. When it comes to, uh, when it comes to, um, like, the eagle one, <laughs> the fallen eagle, I'd be willing, I haven't even looked at that mod yet, I'd be willing to take a look at it, that'd be kind of cool, but, you know, I, uh, I just don't know, I, I don't know about it, I'll have to think about it. Oh, 
How's our control? Sorry, we're already increasing it right now. But... What's up, Note Poika? How's it going? Little little bro. So good. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. Glad you like it, little bro. Florida, Florida, Alabama, Magic Kingdom. We could try to Holy War, because, oh, what was that event? I don't know what that was, that was very strange. <laughs> we could try to um, invade here, but these guys are pretty strong. I think maybe we can handle it if we get a little bit, if we get a little more of an army. I'd like to build a barracks in Augusta, that'd be really nice for these armies. Do that. Pump these up. Almost maxed it out. We have good income, so that's that's very good. Yeah, if you want to keep that up, if we can. Do that golden hand again for better, better uh, infantry. What the Bronze Age one? Um, I think the Bronze Age mod is not in development anymore, from what I understand. I, I don't, I can't confirm that, but I think they're not in development anymore. This guy just kind of is here and like isn't. Um, is he? Is he? A, he's a he's an evangelical. Never mind. I was gonna say is he just is here, but the sand lapper. That's some kind of. What would this? Where would this be located? I have no idea where sand lapper culture would be from. Old Southern heritage. Okay, so oh, they're okay. They're from here. Okay, cool. Check out. You play EU at all? I play a bit of EU four, but not recently. Um, but I do, I do play it here and there. We start control here. Okay. What are your units in Magic Kingdom? Because we can go and conquer Florida, basically. We've got a lot of... Looks like fo light footmen and light horsemen. So I'm pretty sure we can handle that pretty easily. We have a lot of archers, though, so they do counter that. But then these armored footmen should do a good job killing them. The Hoi 4? No, no Hoi 4. We got more legends. Yes, the next patch is gonna have one more legend. Don't know what it is yet because I haven't decided. But the big thing that's gonna come with the next patch is gonna be more random events. That's the big. That's the big selling point for the next uh, patch. Yeah, the new. I, I've been. I've been seeing that there's a lot of stuff coming out about like new like EU five hype and all that. And I don't know. I just don't really care that much about. E, like the EU franchise, like I care a bit, but not not enough to want to go and like read these big dev diaries and stuff. Get some cow keepers. That sounds pretty good. Ah, oh, thank you for the money. I I think um like when EU five comes out, I'll definitely play it. I played a lot of EU four, so I'd be down to check out EU five. I just don't really care to like read the dev like read those little teaser diaries and stuff. It's like I'm good, you know. What happens happens. When it comes, it comes. He said. Alright, I think we can take the Magic Kingdom. He is ally okay, his own vassal, so that doesn't count. I think we can take the Waltney, the Waltney zone. We could go for a, a Holy War against Kingdom, but I don't know if we can get the, the piety for it. Let's see if I can go on a pilgrimage, try and make it happen. Never know. Thanks, Frank. Nice. I love this. I love this art, by the way. It's beautiful. Go to Washington. Oh, yeah. Up our pop down. Need a little more money to be able to do this. So, wait. Looks like it's mostly forests we gotta worry about, so we'll get a we'll get a uh, forest guide. Go. Maybe we'll get enough piety from this that we can declare a whole different kingdom and just take all of Florida in one go. That'd be kind of bussin'. It's still a beta, uh, not Poika. It's still considered a beta. They put it on the workshop probably just because they felt like it, but yeah. It's still considered a beta in the workshop.
Truth of Mr. Just like Egyptian gods or something? What the fuck? It's a Muslim faith. Okay. Oh, I died. I can rip. What are we? Okay, we got the money back at least. That's good, but. Rip Reno, we died. Okay. Take a look. So basically, we lost Augusta. That's what we lost. I would like to get that back, so let's just kill you, I guess. Now nah, we're comp I'm compassionate. Ugh. He'll just give it to me. Thank you so much, sir. That's very appreciated. Thank you. Reset your intent? Ah, it's fine. Died anyway. That perks. I want to go down the middle path because I consider it much better. Okay, well. Got a... Can I get a sun? Bowl? Got my brother. Sure, I mean, uh, why not? We have to re-inherit him, though, eh? Fine. That way I can have a an heir that's male. Yeah, that's perfect. Works for me. How's my health? Fine, that's good. Feels good for stress. Well, adopting is just nice because then I can just have a male heir that I need to worry about the wife getting pregnant or anything. So that's good. Put the uh, boys back in Augusta. So I, I would quite like to try and invade Disneyland here. I'm going to wait till I get the, um, you know, the divided attention so I can have more domain limit. You could just attend to Thomas Jefferson? I mean, sure, why not? Maybe. Maybe in spirit. Rome. Rome culture. Damn, the Romans are back. The Romans are back. The Romans. Chat. They're here. A new cat named Winnie. Congratulations. Also, I'm glad you like the content. Happy to provide the stream for you. And it's in Birmingham. Go. Oh. Classic Roman culture. Sun Sunshiner. They're getting chivalry. Should do Victoria 3 stream? <laughs> yeah, good one. Good one, pal. Yeah. Keep it up, why don't you? Now we'll do Victoria 3 once the new DLC comes out. That's when we'll do Victoria 3. So we could we could hybridize with the Dixies. Um Who else even shares my my, my heritage? I wish I could see that. I'm pretty sure we are like our own heritage. I get the feeling we might be the only people with this heritage. I'm gout ridden. Are you kidding me, bro? Too many damn barbecues. When are you playing World of Warcraft? No. Only MMO I play, if you consider MMO, is Warframe. Here and there. I don't even play it that much. To be honest with you, I don't play many games besides the CK3 these days. You play in Roblox, ban and mods, you know what to do. Nah, bro. I mean, uh, I might die. If I die, I die. It's okay. Hope it's good. Mods beat man with clubs? Absolutely. You know what to do. Why is my bitrate dying? What's happening here? Bitrate. That should be okay. Remember the Fortnite stream? I mean, I'd be interested in streaming, like, you know, other content that isn't uh, map games, but... I don't know, it's scary, too, because... Okay, this is the thing. I know that, like, um... Ultimately, to grow, like, 
you know, to grow the channel, you do have to sometimes, like, stream things that people don't want to see to, like, show that you can do other things. But, like, it's scary. No, it's scary. I I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit scared to stream something that isn't CK3 or EU4 or Victoria 3. When I streamed Millennia, that was kind of fun. But, I don't know, it's like, I like to stream games that I'm actually good at. Um... Uh, I like, like stuff that I'm, I'm actually like have, have like I'm actually like able to play very well. So when I stream something that I'm not like an, a little expert in, I feel very self conscious. BG3 played with the horny self insert when BG3 is interesting. I, I I do I do enjoy Baldur's Gate, but it feel, feel weird to play it on stream. What are you playing character wise? So this I'm playing a, a, a Gulla character, which is a kind of. Like very particular, or very particular sort of um, like deep south black people. Uh, it's, it exists in real life. You can look up Gullah. It's a real life thing. Um, they exist. They exist today, and they're like a sort of more into is probably a good word for it. Like group of black people in the south, and I'm playing in Georgia here. And I'm not really sure what the plan is. I could try to make uh, America, but I don't want to do that. And we're playing an evangelical, so we're basically like a Christian, more or less. Where's the other? Okay, it's over here in Houston. Being Baha'i could be interesting. Well, does Baha'i have any interesting mechanics? Like, I'll, I'll take a look at the faith, but... Is there anything interesting going on with it? Let's see? Like, this just seems to be a pretty simple... Simple faith with not anything... Like, there's no interesting mechanics from what I can tell looking at this. Of course, Christianity? No, there's, there's other Christians. It's, the, it's, the, it's the, the evangelical south is where, like, is where this is. But then there's, like... There are other kinds of Christians, I don't know, like there's the Conclavian Catholic Church, or... I don't know, where, where else are there? There's, there's Christians probably, like, all around, but... There's Jesus Freaks. Well, that's Christophornian, it's not quite the same thing, but... LA is not a holy city? True. There's, like, different Christian types around, like, there's the United Church, this is basically the, the Canadian Anglicans up here what was that symbol lovecraft religion is there a lovecraft religion well if i if i unclick this we just scroll to the bottom what's the weird shit what if we just look through all these oh there's hindu faiths okay Hare krishna society A lot of faiths. Modernist. Any weird ones that stand out here? Cinco de Cinco. Okay. To be in New England. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Capitalist faith. Ooh. Now hold on just a dang old minute here. Oh there. Whoa there, pal. Is it capitalism time? They're all just okay, one of them one of them is pluralist, but they're all just fundamentalist. Multi-level marketing. Jeez. Alright, see you later, tea time. Thanks for popping in. That's funny that they got a capitalist faith, but there's a, there's a ton of like random faiths. Is this the Fathomless Occultery? Is this the. I assume this is the. the one for. Lulu stuff? Bonds later on? I see, okay. Cool. 
what was it? Amriki? Amrikiyun. I see, that's like Muslims. Cool. Americanist syncretism. It's basically like American, Americanized Muslims or whatever. That's pretty cool. Damn, bro, sing Spanish. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. So the way that I look at this mod, by the way, okay. The way that I'd say I look at this mod is, uh... Like, this seems like a pretty cool, like, sort of base map. And it's, like, got a bunch of faiths, and it's got a lot of cultures and all that. And mo most, it seems like, for the most part, there's not a ton of, like, distinct uniqueness to each of these religions. Like, they kind of just have, like, different little, little, little tiny differences, but nothing, like, big. The way that CCK3 does between its, its religions. You could definitely make patches for this, where with each patch you focus on, let's say, like, one religion. Like, you, for example, you can make a focus on the industrialists or whatever. And just give them a bunch of much more unique stuff to make them more interesting. Right now... It doesn't, it doesn't feel very, it doesn't feel very like, like each faith doesn't feel like it has a strong identity, I guess I would say. I'd say it does, yeah, I'd say that they do. For example, like when you play as a Zoroastrian, you get the Seoshiant decision, you get like, you get stuff to do, right, stuff to accomplish. If you play as a Muslim, you get the opportunity for like a lot of different decisions depending on where in the world you are. I'd say the, the best example of religions that aren't that different is like maybe like Hindus, Buddhists, and Jains don't really have any flavor, but that's because India hasn't really been given much treatment so far in CK3. But like there, the difference between playing a Christian and playing a Muslim is very pronounced in CK3. In this game, I bet if I converted to one of those capitalist faiths, like if I converted to something crazy, you know, like if I was like, oh, let me go become like you know, something out of out of nowhere, you know, let's become like an, an atomicist. I bet this isn't very different from playing as an evan evangelical. Like I don't imagine there's gonna be a lot of Interesting stuff going on. Why is it deep as a lake? Yeah, and that's okay, by the way, because this this mod is, I think, is meant to be more about, like, creating this insane world, right? And that's more what it's about. So it doesn't have to necessarily be super deep. Like, I think that there's a lot of flavor to be had with um, something like this. And flavor is, you know, is something. It's certainly, certainly worthwhile. But it's just one of those things where I'm kind of like, yeah, you know... Um, it's not gonna hold my faith for long. Let me see what kind of what kind of tenants do we have. So, like, let's let's take a look around and anything sort of interesting going on here. I assume that I have access to most of these. Oh, Britannic faiths. Cool, but like, what's what's? These are just syncretic. These are just syncretic stuff. They're all they're mostly just syncretisms. This is the, um, oh, okay, I see how this is, yeah. Like, see, this Gifts of the Spirit, this is interesting. I haven't played with this yet, but this appears to be something relatively unique and could be, like, fun to mess around with, you know? Flicker of Youth. Interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. It's got something a little bit unique. Like, I'm, I'm seeing a couple of unique things here and there, but... I think too crazy. I, play, I did play Prince of Darkness. It's, it's a very it's a very good mod. Prince of Darkness does a very good job of creating a lot of, like, interesting game mechanics and new flavor and stuff. I like this a lot, that you get uh, new stuff. New interactions. Cool. This is cool. <laughs> the bar is secret, just nice. Interesting salvage. That could be fun to check out. A salvage expedition or whatever that is. That'd be cool to try out.
See, like this is see, I like this, right? So stuff like this, be able to draw geoglyphs. I don't know what this exactly is, um, but anything that provides like new modifiers and new buttons to click and th that kind of thing is always going to be something I'm interested in. Ooh, Air of the Seas. Interesting. I like this a lot. The guilt we bear. That's that's a that's a good. That sounds interesting. Okay, that's cool. Walking metamorphosis. All right, yeah. So there's a couple of. Uh, I, I think there's a couple of interesting things going on here, which is cool. That's that's something good to see. Have I got, um, have I got, uh, suburbs yet? Almost. Ten years. Okay. Getting there. Oh, I should have built a horse herd there. That's my bad. Forgot that we could build horse herds. Oh, hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm tired. I, I um, I, I should have definitely slept more. Yeah, I saw that Thunderwolf. I was looking in the in the list there. I saw one of them that gives this swap and then gets a buff. That's pretty cool. Like to me, those are examples of things that I want to see more of. Where it's like, yes, I'd like to see more unique unique interactions and that kind of thing. So we still have our claim to the uh, to the throne here. We can elect ourselves. Why not? Why do I get three votes? Is there a reason for that? Is that because I'm a king? Yeah, we're all dignity, that's why. Okay. Cool. This is my player error. Let's definitely make him, you know, fast. That sounds good. Brutally mauled. Good. Did I get this injury to ever heal? That'd be so cool. But it is what it is, I guess. Magic Kingdom's in Civil War, so this is probably a good opportunity to invade. It looks like they're being invaded by my liege right now. I'd like to do a whole kingdom, so let's go on a pilgrimage again, hopefully not die on the way there. Hopefully. Let's just go to Charlotte. Actually, we might as well just go to Washington to get the most huge possible. Let's sell a tree. We're, going. We're injured, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, that's not worth it at all. What the fuck? God damn it. Cut off my leg, made me more injured, and then just gave me a, a greatly reduced disease symptoms. It is what it is. Well. Ask me to buy it attention. That's good. That helps our domain limit. Probably gonna die on the way over here. Random. He'll probably... I mean, I don't know. I'll probably give it to random people. I don't really have... I can give it to my brothers, I guess. That'd be reasonable. Oh, 
Oh, did I actually heal my wound? Wait a minute. No, oh, no way, dude. Saved. Let's go. Wound is healed, finally. Lose flagellant? Sure, that sounds good actually. No more flagellating. Alright, cool. We have enough piety to do a whole other kingdom so we can go and claim all of uh, Disneyland. So I say we go for it. I think we can win. Oh, he's got, oh, she's got alliances though. Apprentice Keith, the Trembling of Allegheny. Okay, that's a problem. 4k, and those are some pretty good units. A lot of bowmen. Um, he is 58, but he's fine. He's probably not going to die. Well, I think we'd like to at least get some mangonels. Hold on, we should before we do this, we should probably get some kind of siege equipment. That'd be very useful. Okay, well, in that case, let's wait a little minute. That was a lot of stress. Probably should have taken that. But At least I'm healthy now, so I got more... I thought I was close to dying, but it was only because I was injured. So actually, we should have some... We should have some time left on this character. He's only kind of getting stronger, unfortunately. I should have been dead by now. No, he's 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 38. He's not too old. Not too, he's not too too old. Be okay. Well, apparently my boy is going up north. Damn. Okay. Hey, Chad. Finger Lakes. Okay, so he's attacking. Okay, so their armies are all- so this is interesting. Their armies are all up there. So in a way, actually maybe this is like the most based move is to attack while they're busy fighting my liege. Oh, but I can't because they are- okay, never mind. That doesn't work. Because they are fighting my liege. Oops. For gore. So how was this alliance made? So we can just kill this guy, that would get rid of it. So yeah, let's just do that. Cause some stress, but worthwhile. Fighter's good, let's go. Yeah, get rid of this guy and that breaks their alliance, so let's do that. Can you zoom out the map? Yeah, we can do that real quick. Here's the here's the map. The very big map. It's like actually kind of insanely large. So yeah. Brazil's kind of falling apart, Sage. Mod is great, yeah, I've been enjoying it. The Roman culture in the south? Yeah, this this was a divergence. So there's a county called Rome here. And this 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 Rome county became this. Not part of it. It's like a divergence. It's a diverged culture that the AI did. The Fathomless Reformation. Yo, the Fathomless, they reformed. Nice. Good for them. Now they can't raid. No, there were no crazy from restorationists, sadly. I also thought that as well at first, but not quite. Yeah, adding in the South America is pretty crazy.
Alright, once this guy dies, that should get rid of their alliance, and I think I can win. Good. Are they still have an alliance, though? There, okay, it's gone. Okay, good. But now, I think we should be good to go. Let's get a little more siege equipment before we do this. Siege is being slow is annoying. And let's take all of Florida. Here we go, boys. Jacksonville. That is okay. <coughs> Architect. Good. I'm right now, first in line for the Commonwealth. How old is the uh, is the Emperor? Forty-two. Okay, so we might become the the Emperor. Let's see. Friends, sure. Let's be friends with Emperor Peter. Sounds good. Looks like we have a very good chance of winning this battle, so that's good. We have Organizer as well, which we should catch pretty easily. We got him, nice. Oh damn, bro, he's getting shrekt. Nice. Okay. Should be an easy Florida conquest here. To be fair, Florida is actually part of the Caribbean, so this is actually like a. We're conquering outside of our empire, but that's alright. It'll still be good to get more power this way. Send not these equipment to go and fight. I'm running out of money, but it's okay. It'll be worth it for all this land. Definitely, definitely worth it. Are you ransomable? Yes, you are. You're not so good of a character. What is this? Slahiyun? Why is it like, is it like LGBTQ? Islam? Interesting. Cool. I'm depressed, rip. Hate to see it. That sucks. That actually really sucks. It's Tolerant Toronto Islam. Cool. This one, yeah, okay. Character in Arizona started as reference to Caesar. Yeah, let's go, dude. Love to see that. I love Follow New Vegas references. Got really cool. Great. So we cut. We took that. Georgia expands. Isn't that beautiful? Let's give these away. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give most of this like my brothers. Uh, I'd say it's probably a good idea. So but it's not even in my court, bro. Get over here. This guy's, where did this guy go? He go to like Brazil? Holy shit! He went. Oh my god! He went all the way down here. Bro has been traveling, dude. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> see you around, I guess. We'll get. We'll give this guy the land then. Uh, I don't know where the where the boundaries are for the duchies. Okay, well, that's, I guess we can give him both these duchies then. Because that duchy's just called the mouse. Really funny. Is there a special building in Orlando? Probably should have kept this, shouldn't I? But, oh well. It is, oh, this is actually like a super good county. I should not have given this away. Oh well, it's fine. I'll give this away too. To try for the fuck. Alright, cool. The Commonwealth expands, boys. Welsh Argentina. 
Interesting, why are they Welsh? Is that like, are there a lot of Welsh people in, in, Arge in, in Argentina in real life? Wasn't aware. The ninth entry? Okay, I see. That's cool. Didn't know that. Let's finish up our, our conquest of... So well, actually, well, we don't have a lot of money right now, though, so we probably should wait. Magic. Addison Wallany. Japanese Brazilian culture. I do know about the Japanese Brazilian culture. That's pretty busting. The presidency is still here in Washington. Why is he tribal? Is that am I reading that right? Interesting. The Republic the, the Washington is tribal. It's the tribe of Washington. How how strange. Oh, there's a legend here. I didn't even notice. There's a legend here, too. We're almost at a uh, religious icon, which is cool. Do I have any legend seeds? I don't think so, yeah. I thought maybe I would get one, but that's okay. Let's try to find some, I guess. Just buy the house in Tuscany, bro. Easy clap. Just get money. Buy it. You never, you know? It's, it's, just, it's called an investment, bro. What's the Rastrian Faith holy sites? It's like, um... Basically all in California, one in Vancouver, but LA, Santa Ana, San Francisco, Sacramento, and uh, Vancouver. You ever Giga Chad story? It's hard to say. Um, probably the Muggle one though. That one was multiple parts and I was pretty creative. That was definitely a fun one. The recent one I thought was uh, was enjoyable as well, although it's performing very poorly, but that's okay. It does it does showcase my mod more, so that do be how that is sometimes. Tribal Americanist got elected. I guess so. I guess so. It's it's still funny though. I still find it funny. Tribal tribal president. It checks out though. It's one a lot. Yeah, I thought it was fun. It was fun to make it. Definitely. Oh, it's a black president. Obama's here. I'm curious, by the way, about something. Are the six still ruling in Vancouver? They are. Just bead. Yeah. So. Sunshiner culture and Imaginarianism. Oh, they want me to become a Floridian. Yeah, I'm gonna want to wipe this off. Being an ally in this war is actually really nice because it means that I get a bunch more prestige for all these battles, so I'm quite happy to be an ally in this. I try to reduce my stress. Would be a good idea. They get a lot of prestige for this battle, assuming that the leash does not come in and to steal it. Nice. Thank you, Swan. I'm doing good. Hope you are too. Nice. 
That was good, man. End the war, please. Excuse me, sir, you can end the war now. You don't have to wait six months to do it, thank you. Ain't bad, glad to hear it. This guy's so vulnerable, but... We got a new Gullah County, did it, it didn't work? Did it actually fail, did like 80% chance? Wow, okay, okay. okay how it is. Do we have suburbs yet? <laughs> Wait, dude. What's this mod about? So it's post-apocalyptic America, set in, you know, 2666 or whatever I think is what it was, but uh, we're, we've been playing 53, 53 years. Yeah, 2666, so set in there. Fourth of July, American Independence Day, of course. And it's, like, got a bunch of really crazy religions, really, you know, sort of... The cultures are, like, reminiscent of modern-day uh, North America, but then, you know, they're sort of evolved in a post-apocalyptic world. There's a whole bunch of lore, and I don't know most of it, so, you know, forgive me for that, but it's a very, you know, sort of, you know, it's like a fantasy-type mod, I guess you could say. You know, it's a what-if thing. We need suburbs to build duchy buildings, damn. How's guns going? We have not, uh, we have not acquired weaponry. <laughs> um... We could try to convert to that that religion. Oh, dude, there's a wait. There's a there's a Che religion. Yo. Cool. If we become a character that has, um, if we become a character that has like a lot of piety, we do have a lot of piety right now to be fair. But if we ever go down like a scholarship tree, we could definitely just browse through the religions and just pick something like you know, it just like pick something random, become an apostate or whatever. I think that'd be kind of fun. California seems to be doing well. And see, so this trait, Keeper of the Holy Place, can I get this for my, like, what's, what's my religion's most holy, holy site or whatever? Probably... Let's check maybe the other, let's see, is, is, it, is it this one? No, is it this one? No, is it Knoxville? It probably wouldn't be Knoxville, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. It's probably Washington. So we could try to go, and, oh, we got a new, oh, Saintly Deeds of Emperor Algernon. My grandfather. Okay. I don't see why not. I mean, we can evangelize the faith and then convert all these Imaginarians. So, sure. do after my father just like in real life california is a funny place true i probably not i mean i want to at least get to i guess evangelize the realm level so although if i were to go to the max level i could do another kingdom holy war but who would i do it against i mean i guess the old dominion would probably be a pretty good target but that seems to be yeah it would be a good target we could do that if we were to do that or we if we wait till we inherit the uh, empire then we could do it against, like, Gotham or something, which would be kind of cool. Donald Trump or Joe Biden cult in this mod? They're, well, they, they're probably trying to avoid too many, like, you know, actual political statements, so I imagine that there isn't anything like that. But that'd be funny, but, you know. I do enjoy a bit of political fire stoking, but I imagine the mod makers don't want to avoid that if they can. A decision. Ooh, that's interesting. That sounds like fun. Bit of flavor, which is blind, by the way. Oh, that, okay, that's a okay, that's a uh, custom. I was like, what the hell is that culture? Adian, just Adian. I wish I knew where these okay, Californian language, North Californian heritage. So, oh, there's no there's, there's no counties. Okay, that's why. They're gone. They probably were around here or something, and then they combined with this. They see the oh. Spanglish. Ooh, just like what I speak. Okay. Cool. Then they formed together into 
so California, so they're they're Southern Californians living in North California. They speak Californian, but then they uh, and then they took a mixture of the different culture traditions. It looks like it's cool. Cool, it's cool. Golden Empire of California. That's a cool name for it. I like Golden Empire. Eternal Living Guru. Damn. Born in the gold. Ooh, I like that. L.A. and S.F. hybrid culture. Well, this is uh, San Francisco, isn't it? Right around here? Isn't this where... Uh, Sacramento, but San Francisco's like here, right? Yeah. The Golden Gate is here. There, they, they got the Golden Gate Bridge. Hey, look at that. I've seen the Golden Gate Bridge. I used to live in uh, in San Francisco a long time ago when I was like a little baby. I, I remember the Golden Gate Bridge, though. I saw it a few times. <clears throat> it's like Constantinople. It's got the huge fort level. Although Sacramento... I mean, Sacramento, I guess, is more... Yeah, this looks like more like it's Sacramento, or no, more like it's Constantinople. Sacramento is like the true thing. We can change his traits. Go for it. Ah. Any Eng Spaniel Creolers in Chatterino? Ah. We only speak non Creole languages, except for Haitian Creole, which we speak. Suburbs, 18 months. Come on, little bro. Give it to me. Got a lot of money, and I would invest more in the counties, but I kind of want to just build up the, the region around here. Let's get more cow keepers. Haitian Creole Creole. I mean, true. Haitian Creole is quite the independent language by now. But, you know, it's 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 like... The reason why they call Haitian Creole probably is because the actual word for Haitian Creole in Haitian Creole is like Creole or whatever, you know? It's like, it's literally just the word Creole. So, they probably keep the that around to represent that. Tallahassee, if you claim this. Yeah, that's a level 2 castle. Get me... What money you have? Money buys happiness? True. Just like real life, I mean, what? Is America formal with this mod? Yes, it is. You have to be one of the, em I have to be an emperor, so once we become the emperor of the uh, Holy Colombian Commonwealth, we can go for forming America. We have to control Washington and then 60% of the American East, so that's like New England, Atlantica, and this part, not including Florida. I think it's 60% of like these three. Okay. But we can definitely work towards that. I should definitely work on my stress a little bit. Let's let's do a feast if I can. I might be able to afford it. If we just lower the number of courses, maybe. Yeah, that sounds good. Florida is the real place anyway. True, very true. Florida isn't that. It's just like Finland. It's actually not real. What it is? I okay, kicked off the council. Put me back on the council a little bit. Okay, well, I guess I'll take the Chancellor position. Prestige is nice. Byzanto Persian Empire. I mean, uh, I, had, I had fun making it in my most recent YouTube video. That was definitely enjoyable. I'm oh, sorry for the stretches, dude. I gotta fix up my sleep schedule. I would stream more if I didn't sleep like such a degenerate. Um, what, what happens is, like, um, if, if I when I wake up on a bad foot, the whole day isn't like ruined per se, but the whole day kind of becomes like messed up, right? But lately, I've been making the mistake of staying up late to work on mods or work on videos. And that has resulted in me going to bed much later than I should. So normally I go to bed around like, you know, midnight, 1am. That's like when I like to go to bed. But recently I've been going to bed more like around, you know, 3am, 4am. I wake up at like noon. And noon isn't so bad. The problem is like... Then I wake up past 10, and I like to sh I start my stream at 10 if I can, because 10 feels like a, a good time, you know? Um, so when I when I fuck that up, when I wake up late, I just feel like the whole day is like wasted, and I just like waste the day, which is my bad. So I gotta start, I gotta fix my sleep schedule so I can actually like stream more. Are we on schedule? Kind of, yeah. It do be it do be that way sometimes. There we go, we lost some stress. Let's go. Eager Rappler is nice. Let's get you married, because you're going to be my heir. Um, 
I would like some good genetic traits at this point, so let's try to get that to happen. By the way, D Dynasty underscore Basinghover. Based? I love that. Joking. I'm not trying to call out too many little errors, but it's just fun too. I just is fun too. I don't actually mean to be being a dick or anything. So many virtues, man. Eli, what's up, dude? Can I just like murder you? Yeah, if I become time master, maybe. How's my legend going? In 11 counties? No. I married an intelligent woman, doesn't matter, no one heard traits, got an imbecile son. Uh, so th there's always a random chance that you just get like bad traits. It can always happen. Um, so I wouldn't say it's just a glitch, but you could have you could have been cheated on. Yeah, that that is possible. It's just that some sometimes it happens, and that's just how it is. I know. Let's get you. I forgot to get this girl married, so she ended up just committing adultery. But I don't know. Let's. Get married to this giant. Sure. Hey, one day doing a roleplay on Imperator. I mean, I, I did I did do some Imperator content for a bit, but Imperator just doesn't really didn't really hold my attention as strongly as it needed to for me to do more dedicated content with it. It's a good game. It's a good game, but it, it just uh, I don't know. I, I think that I did I did like it for the time that I played it, but I think mission trees just don't really appeal to me as much as like the more the, the dynamism of like a CK3 game or something. You know, doesn't appeal to me as much. Normalism would be real nice. He's got this, so we can build a uh, horse herd here. Nice. Yeah, I don't. I think mission trees. Um, the mission trees are good for more casual players, and this isn't like a I hate casual players type rant. What I mean by that is like unironically. When you have a, um, when you have just like a, uh, you know, a mission tree, it's fun to drop in, play the mission tree once, and then, or uh, if it's a very dynamic mission tree, you can play it maybe up to three or four times, right? But basically, it limits your number of playthroughs on that nation to however many possibilities the mission tree contains. And then after that, it's like, okay, well, now I've experienced it all, so I'm good, I'm done, so you don't play anymore. And that's why, um, I do actually have a good time with EU4 sometimes, because I'll come in, I'll play the new mission trees, and I'll go back and stop, right? Um, but with CK3, I don't want that for the game. I think that it would be better to keep the game how it is now, where it's very, like, anything can happen, very dynamic, very, you know, like, that kind of stuff to me is really interesting, so I don't want it to be mission treed. Also, yes, the plan is to become the Emperor and then reform America for the, for the memes. The Maritimes, yo. Good chat. You're in McCasey. Atlantic Canadian. Let's go. What does six refer to? Is that like the six cities? Is that like the like Hamilton, um, Toronto? I'm not sure what what the what sixer refers to. Is Deitch? Deitch? What is this? Oh, it's like oh, it's Pennsylvania Dutch, but they're in Canada as well. Oh, Denisani, they're over here. Thanks. Buckeye. Iron Tongue, Lake Lander, Michigander. He's had that's funny. I don't know why it's a funny name. I think we might be the only people in the game that have the Geechee heritage. 
Butternutter? Where is that? I gotta see that. Hold on. Oh god. Ain't no way. What the fuck is this religion? Human sacrifice. Enemies of God. What is this? Vernacular faith? Jeez. The renaming of Ohioan? Oh no. Butternutter. There it is. What the hell is this? What the hell is even that? Oh, I'm yelling. Oh, I'm yelling again. Oh. Okay. 55 counties is not, or 55 provinces is not bad at all. Doss, because we have God betrayed them? Damn. That's pretty cool. Moravian. Protestant. Oh, Moravian. Okay. Vanguards of Progress. Who is this guy? Universal Constructivism. Man, whoever, like, whoever they got to, uh... Well, whoever, I assume it's multiple people, but, you know, the people that worked on, like... Creating all these religions must have been like they'd doing they were doing some some hard drugs to make this happen. Very hard drugs. Vancouver's still sick, let's go. Oh, the Chronicle's kind of broken. That's interesting. That... That's, yeah, it's a little bit broke. Because the name, the name is too long. That's why. What's up, JB? How you doing? We're playing in America. I know JB's British, but... We've got some American stuff going on here. Guys, ever with our milit militant feminists? Hey, yo. Ain't no way. Female dominated. I assume this is the one where they're militant feminists or whatever. This was the audience from um, a lot, a lot of Europeans. Uh, I think it still ends up being mostly Americans because Americans just form like the largest contingent of, of content viewers in general. But I have a lot of European viewers, like a lot of Germans, a lot of uh, uh, British, Irene. From time to time, we get a few British people coming in to chat. I sound, I sound Australian. I always do that. I go to Australian for some reason, because I'm just trash. It is what it is. Reoling. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just reoling real hard. Can this guy die, or do I have to murder him? Because I'm getting kind of old, and I do want to become the Emperor. How am I getting on? Getting on alright. I'm sorry you have a bit of a cold. That sucks. Hopefully you can recover from that rel relative, relatively easily. Hopefully. I should have conquered Manhattan or something, because this is clearly like a super good county. Does Statue of Liberty work for me, If I, even if I'm not Americanist? that still work? Even if I'm not a Constitutionalist? Or if it would. Okay. <laughs> Like, oh, big yawns, dude. Big yawns. Chat, I gotta fix my sleep schedule. Okay, chat, I gotta do it. 
Y'all gotta make me fix my sleep schedule, okay? I like a suburbs actually, I should probably be creating this. Yeah, that'd be super good. The level of castle. <laughs> For our stream, you say? Maybe that's the way. Fuck. Must be. Okay, increase the quality. Interesting symbol there. So do I want to just click this? Do we do we need to do I mean we could just mm. We could just end it now, then evangelize the realm. Professionalists, what the hell is that? Oh, they're just astray, it's fine. New grandson just dropped. Probably get you a new wife. I'm good out there. She's a bit old. Speaks Canadian. I don't know if we want a, a Frenchie, a Frenchie in the family, but we'll allow it. We got very good stats. It's actually a pretty good choice, to be honest. Educate my, uh... Can I adopt my grandson? Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Bro. Oh. Be like, hello, son. Yes, your son. That's my son. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I guess cause, maybe because his mom died is why, but... It's pretty hilarious that you can adopt your grandson. Church of the Global Throne. I think I'm just gonna complete this now. I don't really care to uh, go all the way with it. It's already in your family. Yeah, that's why it's a little bit weird. Evangelize. It converts a bunch of the imaginarialists or whatever. You get custody, I guess? I mean, yeah, I guess that's what's happening, but... Also, we didn't get the luxury building, but that's fine. Let's, uh... Castle level 3. Oh yeah, we got, some, we got a pretty good army here. Um... I guess it's like more cow keepers, if anything. They're, they're pretty good, they're pretty strong. Um, we could also get some regular light horsemen, because light that way we can get more... Oh, the Calculus 50 Pursuit, though. That's hard to pass up. That's real hard to pass up. 50 Pursuit. It's real good. Damn, Legitimacy went down. We should definitely get the guy back on Finding Seeds. <laughs> logos ain't no way oh it's oh it's not logos it's logos <laughs> yeah average philosopher brain although i'm not a philosopher but you know we got typist in the capital sag give me someone with good uh I'm oh, actually with good Marshall. Give me Linda. Oh, she's lowborn. I fucked up. Never mind. It didn't cost me any legitimacy. That's good. Or my Marshall. Let's just, let's just get like a ton of Marshall score. Hopefully, I don't catch Typhus. 
be nice. Nice. Boy Herbert didn't die. That's good. Great play through I've done in CK3. Um, oh, that's that is really tough because there's so many to look at, but. I don't know, probably something relatively simple, like, um, you know, I've done stuff like playing as William the Conqueror at 1453 and stuff. Um, probably like the all achievement runs, one of the all achievement runs, I don't know. There's just like, there's so many. I've done so many to get through playthroughs. I have no idea which one would be the best. I got hiccups, I'm so sorry. Oh god, it's like really bad hiccups. Oh, that's annoying. It's like the really bad ones, you know what I'm talking about? Where like they just like make your whole body feel like it's dying. What a story, Linda. Sorry, I thought of um the room. Oh, we come spy master, and let's see if we can get this guy killed. Like that. What he got you supporting. Let's get maybe some a little better. Oh, that's much better. That's a lot better. Yeah, let's go. Best is kind of high. Oh, he scared me. Boo. Maybe in the Bass Pagan Faith. I've done that. I think I've, I haven't united all of Iberia, but I've done the Bass Pagan Faith and then conquered a bunch of stuff. I did one playthrough where I where I did like all of um all of Iberia under the religion that's in like the the islands. You know, the Canary Island religion. Did that once. That was fun. That was my that was your run, Terra Katsuna. I remember that. I was gonna make a video out of that and I decided not to because I got bored. Haste. We just tried the Vassal make your liege, do HRE. Yeah, well, now it's easy, but back then, yeah, I can see why I would have wanted that back then, but now it's it's so easy now. It's like, whatever. There was a time when that would have been a pretty pogged up run. Nice. No more stress. That's fine. That kid was gonna just make succession more difficult anyway. Ooh. This. Redemptionist. This must be some kind of like events. Hmm. Interesting. So we got we got some uh, some some sort of religious upheaval coming, like a Protestant Reformation type thing, despite being Protestants. That's the event. There it is. Yeah, we got it. The Council of Atlanta. A little localization error there. Somebody gathered the nobility. I assume it's supposed to be a the name of this like the you know the name of the emperor is supposed to be in there. Protestant Reformation. Cool. Okay. Let's see. Protesting the Protestants. Let's see what happens. I'm curious what's going to happen here. If the, how this goes could be pretty interesting. I mean, I'm about to become... Oh, no, wait. We're not winning the election anymore. Fuck. Okay, rip. Why aren't we winning? Oh, I'm second place. Why? I just sent some money to someone. 
I could learn their language. It's probably a good idea to help, but... They Protestant Creole. Dude, the Creole meta. The Creole memes never end. Um, we could try to send money to someone to try and get them to elect me, but... Like, because it looks like someone... looks like at least one of these guys is real close. Like this dude. If I could just... How much money? 150? Maybe we can get that money before this murder plot goes through. When's my extort subject spot and coming back? I can destroy some artifacts, to be fair. That's probably a better way to do this. I didn't get the gold, Sag. Let's destroy, like, this tapestry is pretty much pointless, so let's just get rid of it. And then let's get rid of this. I mean, these banners are not really worth having, so let's get rid of it. So let's check. If I were to give money to that elector, they change their, their election. No? Okay. Kill him anyway. Fuck it. Now elect me. I guess kill the Emperor again. He should be very easy to kill because he's a new Emperor. If the NFL in this mod, ain't no way, dude. No, we didn't get it again? Are you kidding me, dude? Hate to see it. Yeah, it's an easy clap to kill him. Liberty faction? I mean, fair enough. Hey, that's it's uh, Lincoln. The Northern League. expanded north yeah the I don't, they just they just did that that's not that, that's not me that, that that's the ai that just went up here and did something i don't know if it was through inheritance or through conquest but they did that ivy land is that like reference to the ivy league like is this chowder folk or these are these are these are bostonians i assume right yeah bostonians they eat a lot of clam chowder that's what they do hey We like to eat clam chowder because we're Ivy League students. Cool. I am now. I am now the emperor. Excellent. Like my best friend and son. Now, in terms of making America, okay. Reunite the Carolinas. That's cool. Um. Oh, we have to reunite the United States for that first. Okay. Well. To restore America, we have to get Washington, we have to control a bit more land, so why don't we work on that? Yeah. Let's try to invade the Dominion. They're super weak, so... Let's try to get access, can we get access? Yeah, let's go to Maryland to get access to Washington. C-137? I'm not sure what Bill C-137 is. Which one is that? Can you remind me of what it is and I'll, I'll try to comment on it, but... I don't remember what that which one that is. I don't, I don't necessarily know the bills by like their numbers. I usually know them by their contents because that's usually more what is on my mind about them. <laughs> Off it on me. Still poor health. Um, I think I will swap over. I really want to get at any cost, but we'll go to Metis Focus. Ah, there we go. Got fine now. I was, are we getting are we getting like reelected or whatever? Is that Yeah we are, that's good, okay. So my boy Herbert's gonna take over. Internet regulation? Oh yeah, I think that's the one about like stopping misinformation or whatever. I'm pretty mixed on it. Because you know, um Like obviously it's like scary to have the government be regulating what is misinformation and what isn't, because that is like um it's one of those like things about principle. Where it's like you wouldn't, in principle, want the government to be able to decide what is misinformation and what is correct information. But I will say, okay, 
that uh, there is like a shit ton of misinformation out there. Like, right now, like the epidemic of misinformation that exists is pretty crazy. Something has to be done about it. I, I don't know if the government should be the one doing it. I'm not sure. Because I do also have faith in my institutions, right? So I'm not like totally anti-government or anything. Like I'm okay with government having pretty far-reaching powers. But it feels very like in principle scary to have the government be deciding that sort of stuff. I think it would depend on exactly who oversees it, because obviously I imagine it's not just like, oh, the Prime Minister can just decide anything he wants. I imagine it's something to do with like, there'll be to do with the cabinet and stuff like that. Like, I don't know exactly, but I imagine there's more to it than just like, oh, the government decides this. It's like, well, yeah, probably more to it, but I don't know. Have you seen the Viking religion? I did take a look at it, you know, it's pretty cool. We're gonna give away Maryland like this, and now let's go and take... Wait, La Presidencia? Is he Spanish? That's why, it must be right. Yeah, he's Spanish. That's cool. That I like. I really appreciate the dynamic names. That's really cool. Let's, let's grab Washington. This will be fun. So is the president, like, is he just fucked? Like, is he, is he have, is there any sort of, you know, like, the Pope has the card up his sleeve of being super rich, so it can be hard to, um, oh, we got another legend. It can be hard to uh, conquer the Pope because he's got this like crazy amount of money. Uh, is the presidency just like super vulnerable? Like, is he just screwed? It feels like it's a little bit too easy to conquer. Like, like you know, you'd think that the other Americanists would kind of have a problem with this, but they seem to be allowing me to take this, which, which is nice because it's a holy site. Definitely going to hold Washington for myself because it's a really good county. I don't want to start this because I don't really have the money for it right now, but we'll have to check that out sometime. How close am I to actually making America, by the way? Also, we can consecrate the bloodline here. I have no reason not to. Got to become a legendary figure. Uh, we're a bit far away from that, so... Probably not going to happen with this character, but... In the future. Ooh, that's... Yeah, I'll buy that. That's a lot of money. Oh, Herbert died. Savage. All right, grandson. Well, I mean, the grandson's younger, so I'm actually kind of cool with that. Gotta make him zealous. That'd be nice. Ah, shit. Rip. I'm probably gonna die. Okay, well, let, let's take. Let's make sure we get Washington before we die. Also, elect my grandson. Looks like we will win. That's good. They're all just kind of voting on different people, so we end up winning by having the only strong vote. That's cool. Don't want to die now. I want to take walk. Yeah, let's take this. We got Washington. Hell yeah. Let's go. Washington is taken. Okay, we can't use the Capitol Mall unless we become a like Americanist. So that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. So now we got all the holy sites. Let's go for Knoxville. We see Knoxville. And we got all the holy sites. Oh, renovate. Oh, hold on. Decision. Excellent. Ah, I like this. This is good. This is the kind of shit I want to see. Okay. This is the kind of shit I like to see. We could turn it into our holy site, basically. I imagine. Yeah, fuck it. Throw a thousand gold at it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So that's gonna, like, I assume when this modifier wears off, we're gonna get a new special building here. Cool. I mean, yeah. Uh, let me just make sure we don't have any session problems. Let's take a look here. I'm just gonna keep disinheriting. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, this is kind of lame-o to play this way, but I wanna, I don't wanna have any problems. And then in terms of stress relief, I am forgiving. So real quick, do I have any hooks that I can forgive? They're all family hooks. They don't count. Um, could I? You do this. I mean, I'm gonna probably die of. I'm probably gonna end up dying, but let's see. I don't give me a heart attack. Come on. Okay, good. Because now we can we can just forgive these hooks to relieve stress. That's one useful thing about forgiving. It's very easy to get rid of your stress by just forgiving hooks. So. Nice, okay, good.
Okay. Um, probably should keep conquering more of America here. How much uh, of Atlantica do I have? Okay, we need a lot more to make the uh, the title. To make the title. Let's let the boys reinforce. Get some more money. We're kind of low on money right now, so let's go for a bit. Definitely extort the subjects, though. Absolutely. Nice. Good. Grand Cathedral, where would it get built? In Lynchburg? That's here, right? Um, I mean, I don't own it, so I don't really care, but... Oh, okay, then I gotta spend... Okay, no, no, never mind, we're not gonna do it then. I'm not gonna spend money on, on a county I don't control, but we're definitely gonna wait till Washington gets some cool here. Great library. That gives you experience. Wait, how many- can you build many, multiple of these? Attack Gotham? You won't? I mean, I could go and take New York. They're pretty strong, but I am stronger. Those are some good units, though, eh? I mean, we could actually go for taking New York. Interesting, that- that's like... its own... New York is like a tiny little duchy, eh? What kingdom is this all part of? It's all part of Gotham. I'd like to do a Holy River Kingdom then against that if we could just take that massive chunk of land. Because I could definitely give up like one of these one of these shitty counties over here to replace it with New York. With Manhattan, I should say. Super good. I should probably learn like I am learning the southern language. I was gonna say I probably should learn that, but I've been learning it. Good. Brave. That's, that's quite that's quite good. Yeah. Oh, Zealous is better though. For our faith, Zealous is just so good, I have to always take it. That's just super duper good. So by the way, I'm still waiting for um, more events about that new Christian faith, that like Protestant against Protestants faith that, that appeared. Is this, it's not Revelationism. It was like, what was it called? It was this Confessionalist Synod. No, no, it wasn't this. It, it was the, it was this one, the Redemptionist Church. This was the one that it was talking about. But I don't know where it's, like, where it is. We lost the green guys to the south. Oh, these guys, the Costa del Oro. Well, this, that's not even part of my empire though, so I don't really care about them. I took Florida because I didn't want these Americanists like on my border. Like these guys are chill. Well, they're actually evil. Never mind. But I assumed they were chill because they were Christian. But. Wait, I wanted to learn. Wait, also by the way, nice. I wanted to learn southern. I wanted to learn southern, not boy uh, toyish. But still, more languages are good. So we still use deep southern as our court language, but would Gullah part wouldn't probably shouldn't do Gullah. It's fine. Oh, hold on, I got suburbs now, so we can actually do... we can do this now. Okay, what do I, do I want to just... We're probably just going to play meta. Are there any special buildings? No, there's, not, there's nothing unique. We're just going to play meta, we're going to go military academies. Military academies are just, like, super good, so... We're going to do same in Augusta. Although it looks like, yeah, Skegian doesn't have that yet. We probably should spread our culture around a little bit. Or we can even reform it, but I don't know what we'd add to it, per se. Let's try to find something interesting. Yeah, then one of those could be funny. I don't know, I mean, it would be kind of ridiculous. So we don't really have much of a Spanish influence, but... I'm probably going to try to pick something that just is a good pick. I mean, experienced whalers, I mean... Just because it gives us something new to try, I mean, sure, I'm cool with that. It'll give us something new to, I mean... Why not, right? Something, a new button to click. Something unique, yeah, that looks good. Not electing me, damn. Elect me, you bastards. Probably once my son grows up, they'll go want to elect him. Now this poor, fortunate. Even if we lose the election, uh, what I'm gonna do is, in order to make it so that I'm just like super powerful and which I always get elected, I'm just gonna make a bunch of kingdoms. It's probably the best way to do it. So let's make the Magic Kingdom, Florida. That's what it gets called. Okay, you lost the Kingdom of Florida to you. Um, but we're gonna do that. 
so that we can have an even bigger uh, realm once we lose the election, if we lose the election. We may not. Reapers will. Oh, okay, that's that's not that's not like that. It's just generic bubonic plague. Okay, well, wait a minute. Okay, eh, these are worth keeping. Sure. Yeah, some of those are not bad. We'll keep those around. Paladins could be fun to get. <laughs> It'd be interesting. See about that. Did I just give her land? Wait a minute, what did I give her? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What did I give her? Ah, uh, it just doesn't matter. Lawrence. Don't care about that, she can keep it then. Probably going to lose Domain Limits in any way. Do we want to do this Legend? I mean, uh, not really. Oh, there's a guy impersonating me. I love this event. This is a base game event, by the way. This just happens very rarely, but this one's really funny, and I love this one. Let's just duel him. He's got two, I've got zero, so I guess he might win, which would be hilarious. He won. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> the real Emerson. It's a hilarious event. I, I love it. It's really funny. We are winning the election now, by the way, which is cool. So I lost disputed. I gained disputed heritage, though, so that might fuck with my ability to win. Nice modifier. Yeah, we're gonna die. Um, this is unfortunate, but is there a way I could fix it, maybe? Nobody here would be swayed by money, I don't think, yeah. It's just about... He's evil. He's a foreigner's puppet. What do you mean he's a foreigner's puppet? What are you talking about? I haven't learned... Tidewater Southern. Now, get him to learn, um... Deep Southern... Yeah, I'm gonna probably just lose the election then. Uh, I do want to make another kingdom though. I'd like to make the kingdom like Alabama or something. Or Hudsonia would be nice so I could still have a border up here. Oh, it looks like we already have a king of Hudsonia. Okay. Could I have that? What if I gave you money? Probably not. Okay, well, it's fine. If we die, we die. It's all good. All this piety going to waste, though. What a shame. Don't really want this Baha'i guy here. That up. I know it sucks to get the Baha'ians, but I'm trying to play, like, proper. So when this finishes... Oh, okay, I died. That's fine. We lost the election, but as you can see, we still control, like, a huge amount of territory in the Empire, so it's cool with me. I do need a new educator. Let's get someone with good stewardship, or good learning, actually, and then maybe some nice traits. You look pretty good. And hopefully as we grow up, we'll get more uh, stewardship, but so I'm going to stay over the limit for now. But it's, it's kind of nice in a way to lose the Empire, because it takes the responsibility of it off my shoulders. I still got I still got Washington. I still got to keep my vassals over here. I still got to keep the Magic Kingdom, or you know, Florida as it's called now. That's pretty cool. Ooh. 
Game crashing? No, okay. I gotta say, okay, I'm gonna... He, oh, <laughs> fuck, there it is. I knew it. I felt it. I felt it in my bones. The game crashed. Um, the game has actually been very stable, and I, and I, I gotta say, like, that is, that is something which is very good, right? The, the game has been quite stable. Impressively so. You know, we're always glad to see. Relaunching the game here. We're not we're not done yet. Don't worry. We're relaunching the game. It's been it's been pretty stable. It's our first crash. Um, you would I would have expected a lot more crashes given how ex massive this mod is. So, I'm uh, color me impressed for sure. Definitely color me impressed. Give it a minute to relaunch here. The arrows are ready, sheesh. Oh yeah, well, I mean, contrary to popular opinion, or popular belief, maybe, I do actually normally stream, like, a shit ton of hours. I just recently, just life has been real unstable, but life's getting more stable every day, so that's good. So it's, it's uh, you know, it's nice. More, more time for stream and stuff like that. Glad to have that. Yeah, then, uh, someone asked me about if there's a manual down for the Human Legends mod. I'm responding to a Discord message while I'm streaming because I'm such a professional streamer. I'm gonna take this opportunity to, take to go to the washroom. The game, um, the game has a very long loading time because of the massive map, I assume. So just give me a minute. I'm gonna go to the washroom while this loads. This is gonna take a little minute. Gotta flick on the light because the the sun has gotten a little. Oh, these were still loading. Jeez, it's got a little less brighter. Put the light on. Have any hot takes? Wanting to say? Not really. Not recently. Uh, oh, nice. That was good. You know what I did watch yesterday, chat? Okay, this this might interest some of you. Um, I watched the Jordan Peterson and Destiny uh, debate they had. Like, I watched the Destiny clipped version, not the uh, full two-hour one on Jordan Peterson's channel. But like, dude, that shit was crazy. Like, just, I I like. <laughs> Seeing Jordan Peterson talk about, like, vaccines not being, like, real is crazy. <laughs> what is the world coming to, man? I guess my hot take is, like, yo, can we stop with the anti-vax stuff? I don't know, that's probably not even a hot take, but... Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, let's just let the natural course of the game run again. Did I already convert this guy? Oh, these guys are both. Not a fan of either. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. It was just it, it was just like a crazy, it was a real crazy conversation. I got I gotta say, it, it was a pretty crazy conversation. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Once again, we uh, we're playing as our son here again, and we'll just get educated like normal. Hopefully, we don't crash this time. We're already learning Deep South, so cool with me. 
you win progress. Honestly, true. They, they really are. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's just that, like, okay, like, Jordan Peterson obviously has had this massive fall from fall from grace in Canada, where, like, you know, he was a relatively, not well-respected, but, like, you know, people saw him as, like, he's kind of crazy politically, but he is, like, somewhat intelligent in some things. He kind of, like, fell from that, that station of, like, you know, a little controversial, but still, like, academic, to just being, like, you know... Just been like absolutely fucking insane, and I don't think he'll ever recover from it. Unfortunately, like, you know, unfortunately for him, and it sucks because you know, like I did kind of enjoy some of his lectures. I, I found them to be a little bit sometimes like a little bit uh, single-minded when it came to like interpretations of uh, of literature and stuff like that and of the Bible. But like you know, it's it's interesting to talk you know, to see someone's perspective. But then he just went like he was like talking with Destiny, and he's just like the mRNA vaccine is not a vaccine. It's it's a DNA altering, and I'm like, dude. The thing is that if you if you follow any like uh, anti-vax discourse, you know, not because I'm in support of it to be clear, but because you know I'm like keeping an eye on what's going on in the world, right? Then it's all the same arguments forever and ever and ever, and it's so like annoying to listen to because it's just like, okay, dude. So you know you're gonna say the exact same things that everyone that every other anti-vaxer says, and there's like no interesting conversation going on. It just really sucks. Does having the maps always not bother me? No, not really. No, I wouldn't say it bothers me much. Like, sure, it's a little bit off-putting, but it's chill. Or it's like, or it's like the idea that uh, the classic talking point that the vaccine wasn't tested or whatever. And it's like, my guy, you do realize that it was tested first of all, but yes, the tests were expedited in the sense that like there's a global emergency going on, so the tests will be, you know, done a little bit faster. But also, you have to remember that. The amount of resources going into a vaccine, like 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 the COVID vaccine, because of how how crazy the uh, how crazy everything was during the pandemic, is like it means you're gonna get a vaccine that happens a little bit faster than what you might have expected otherwise, right? It's not like it wasn't tested. It's that yes, you do. You know, things do happen faster when uh, when there's an emergency going on, right? Like things get expedited, and all the resources going in meant that that was okay. And if you look at the results of the vaccine, it's pretty clear that it's a good thing that the vaccine is here. Like any vaccine, there there are side effects and there are there is potential for allergic reactions and there's all kinds of things that can go wrong. That's any any vaccine has that, but it's not like it's anything out of the ordinary that, that would be the case. It's just, it's just crazy because like to me Jordan Peterson was like used to be someone who like maybe you could disagree with, but who you could somewhat respect as like someone with original thoughts and ideas. Like that was one thing I always I like anyone who has like original thoughts and ideas, even if I disagree with them completely, because it gives you something to think about, right? At the end of the day, th the worst they can do is give you something to think about. And Jordan Peterson no longer does that. He now is literally just like a Daily Wire grifter. And it's like, okay. Daily Wire, by the way, like, absolutely insane how, uh, how much of like a massive media company they're becoming. Like, I, I think Ben Shapiro runs the company, right? Like, I'm pretty sure he does. He's, he's doing a good job, like, creating, like, a company, although I don't agree with the politics, obviously, at all. But he's doing a very good job creating a, a massive company. What are rotted Peterson's brain? I think that, you know, I hate to say this, but I think that what rotted his brain was, like, <laughs> like you know, becoming a grifter. You know, I think, he I think he chose to go the path of making a shit ton of money. I can't imagine how unfathomably rich he is now that he's on the Daily Wire. And that's probably what I think that's what brought him where he is now is he's just trying to make a bunch of money, which, you know, get the bag, I guess, as my people would say, my, my people of my age bracket. Here we go. Here's the restoration of the National Basilica in Washington. So what happened here? What do we got? Now it's a okay. Now it's National Basilica. So we just got rid of the the mall that was here. Whatever the wow, that's great. And it gives us stewardship perks too. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's super good. All right, that's really cool. We probably could put our capital in Washington, but I'm gonna convert its culture to Gullah first. I think that'll be fun. I'm pretty sure there are people that are like that that don't actually believe what they're saying, but they're either too prideful to back down or they're in it for the clout. Yeah, I, I agree. I think a lot of I think a lot of people like I think of someone like like just pearly things, which again like 
you know, I, I'm quite aware of the of the like right wing grifter sector only because I'm curious to see what's going on. Right? It's not about following like the. It's not about actually following them because I'm interested in them. It's more about like I want to know what's happening in the world. Right? Like someone like Just Pearly Things. There's no there's no fucking shot that Just Pearly Things believes all of the like actual bullshit that she spouts. But it makes a ton of money. Right? Like I I can't imagine how much money like a person makes from doing all that grifting where you can just get all that ad revenue and just like create um just create like a shit ton of inflammatory content right it makes a ton of money i bet do you plan to do a gauge head video set in this mod if i like the mod enough i'd be willing to uh right now i mean i'm having a good time i'm liking some of the unique stuff uh but you know let me see how well it pulls me in i tend to be a pretty vanilla plus type guy when it comes to mods so i don't know if this mod would be something that I want to keep playing, I might just sort of check it out and then leave it at that. It definitely is. I'll say this though, just just for people that are curious about my like opinions on this mod so far, this is a uh, a very good compared to the other like total conversion mods I've played. This one is definitely standing uh, far and above the others. Like to me, Elder Kings and this one so far, Elder Kings was really good. Elder Kings has a lot of stuff in it that was really fun. This right now is is doing a very good job. I'm quite happy with it. Having a good time. Just got experienced whalers, let's go. Oh yeah, dude. So now I can do whale stuff. Sponsor a whale hunt. Definitely check this out. Okay. So you spend 100 gold to maybe get between 1 and 250. I didn't like a Game of Thrones at all. Pipeline indigenous situation? Oh dude, the pipeline is such a interesting discussion to be had because I don't have like a very partisan, like I don't have like a super like, oh, I believe very strongly in this or very strongly in that. It's ultimately a decision which has a lot of a lot of pros and cons. And it's hard to know like, oh, do I particularly particularly like or dislike uh, the pipeline, like the, the idea of the pipeline. There's a lot of arguments on, on either side uh, that I've heard that have both made me feel like, okay, that's interesting. I don't think I have like my own stance on it though. I, I like to talk about it because it's an interesting conversation to have. But I don't have a particular, like, ah, oh, this is my opinion on the, uh, this is my opinion on it. It's like, no, I don't really have that. I think that the idea that it creates jobs for, like, indigenous communities is true. Uh, that's one argument that you'll see a lot from the conservative side. It's like, oh, well, it's making jobs for, for the indigenous tribes that are in the area. And they promise to only hire indigenous contractors to work on it. And that's a good thing. I'm like, yeah, that, that's actually, that's very nice. Um, but then it also is like something where it'll result in yet more reliance on uh on fossil fuels here in canada at least for like the idea is to refine it into uh lng and then and then export it but i imagine that some of it will get used for like local power you know some of it will get used like locally i imagine so yeah i just married someone for stewardship points basically well eight of seven okay we'll get rid of hartwell this but um it's hard for me to say like, oh, I, I approve, right? I disapprove. It's like it's a really, it's a really uh, complex issue to me, because I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that's like, oh yeah, bro, I, al I always take one particular side or not. I try to, I try to understand like each side of the arguments, and I don't know, I don't know what exactly would be good. Basically, the point is that I find it a very interesting topic, but I don't actually have a, a strong, a very strong opinion, like a very powerful or like uh, you know dug in opinion about the about the topic i just kind of like to hear about it and follow it here and there it's obviously very important to me as a as a bc person because you know bc makes a lot of money on those lng refineries but bc also is trying to avoid being associated with that with that kind of stuff but british columbia is an interesting spot because although we're like kind of a you know a very metropolitan like city city slicker type of uh, province where like Vancouver kind of dominates our politics, right? BC also is very much like a frontier province in the sense that there's a lot of like resource, uh, re like a lot, like the biggest industry in BC is logging, like by far, you know, outside of like in Vancouver, like maybe the um, the tech companies that are there, like like filmmaking is a big industry and blah blah blah, you know whatever, right? But um, like logging is a huge industry in BC, and you wouldn't associate that with like a very um, with a very like city oriented uh province like ours is and yet it is right and, and yet we do have a uh we do have that nonetheless 
So it's interesting to see that that dynamic of like, well, we're we're trying to be more like modern cities only type of thing, but then we also are very dependent on our resource industries. I don't know where BC would be without um, LNG. You know, LNG is pretty important to BC. So not sure what would we come out of there being like you know a lack, like a, a sort of an attempt to stop L the LNG business in, in BC. Oh no. Either way, it's it's just an interesting thing to think about, I guess, for me. Bro, can we stop getting all these terrible events? Thanks. I have, like, no money. That's kind of bad. I would like to have money. Got no prisoners. Damn. Okay, I think what we're actually going to do... Yeah, the, the, the big problem with the whole, like, job uh, argument is that it, it is, like, um... It, it is, like... You know, it's it's very temporary. That's one thing I'll say about it is that once the pipeline is built, it's like, well, then what happens to those tribes, right? You know, do they do they what do they get out of this? Like, it, it's the idea of um, sure you're giving them those jobs, but then like where does that go for them? It's like, do they just get this those jobs and then that's that? Like, they don't they don't get anything else? I don't know. It, it's it's interesting. Um, I don't really know even what what to make of all of it. I don't like. I don't know what 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 would be the best outcome. You know, I, I really couldn't tell you. Also, we're just gonna surrender this liberty war. They, they get hooks, but it's fine. I should have just accepted their demands before. It is what it is. Cause it cause it is good to give to give work to um like to give good work to um to the to the native bands so they can get something out of this agreement. But it's not really helping them. Like it's a problem where it's not really um. It's not really helping the community that much. It's more just like a temporary surplus, a temporary influx of income, I guess you could say. Is the government not paying for the land that they would use? Well, the land, so the land is uh, is owned by the reason why it's 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 complex is because the land is owned by native tribes, and in Canada, the way that like native reserves work is that basically the government doesn't really own that territory at all, but they license its usage very commonly, similar to. Like, think of how the government might, um, I don't know, like, they might rent something from a citizen in the sense of there may be a building which is privately owned but which operates for government purposes, you know, where they pay a, a rental fee to, you know, whoever owns the actual building. That, that can happen here and there. In Canada, the Native American territory um, is, like, uh, is essentially not Canadian territory in terms of how it's supposed to be. Now, in terms of the reality, it doesn't really end up that way, but it's meant to be that those native territories are effectively their own country that is not really, so that is like sovereign and not really subject to Canada, except for like federal laws, because, you know, we have laws, but even then, like they have their own laws and stuff too, right? But in reality, like the pipeline needs to get built, so they're gonna go build the pipeline. And uh, some people are very upset because they want the Native Americans to have control over their land and all that, right? They would like it so that they don't just get like, you know, we have this agreement where they get their own sovereign territory. Why do we just build a pipeline there? That kind of idea. Um, and the idea is that you can convince the bands to let you use the land by saying, okay, well, we'll only hire your people in order to do that. Or we'll only, uh, we'll make sure that, you know, we, we like give you some kind of reward for it, right? That, that, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, if the bands want it, then they can have it. At the end of the day, it's kind of their decision, is how I look at it. It's like if the bands want to, if they want to, um, you know, like allow the pipeline, then it's kind of up to them to decide. But obviously, like as a, you know, as a, from an intellectual perspective, like what side do I support? It's like, bro, I don't fucking know. Tough. I should take this. Uh, I should take this holy site shit. Nice. We can have all the holy sites. It'd be kind of busting, wouldn't it? Knoxville, but nah, or... that's how it works in the in the U.S. too. I'm not sure. I don't know how the, the U.S. has a whole other. I, I honestly don't know. I, I wouldn't. I don't want to speak on it because I don't know how Americans do it with uh, with with their native peoples. In Canada, like the the native peoples have like a lot of autonomy, like a lot, like a, a very significant amount. When I build around it, well, I mean, they own like so. The Alberta oil fields, like, the entirety, like, this is, it's hard to orient, because, yeah, okay, so, Alberta is, like, around, Saskatchewan is over here, but Alberta's, like, around here, Edmonton's, like, somewhere, 
The Calgary should be near here. Oh god. <laughs> My geography. Is this is this not Calgary? That is Banff. Okay, so Calgary is like right around here. I think this is Calgary, but it has a different name for some reason. And Edmonton's like up here. Here you go, Ed Edmonton. This is Edmonton. So the oil sands are all like around here kind of thing, like sort of around this region, this far north. And all of this is native land. Like like none of this is is not tribal land. So like basically all the oil is up there in the tribal land. So there's not really a way to build around it. You'd have to do some horribly inefficient route to build it so that it wouldn't go through any native land. And it's like, that doesn't sound very worthwhile. The bigger thing, honestly, the, the natives, I'll say this, and this is a, an unfortunate reality of Canadian politics. The natives are kind of just like a bar a bargaining chip, you could say, for each side. Yeah, Haida is in the Haida is here. There. The Haida Guire here. But they're uh the natives are kind of just like a bargaining chip. In reality, the argument is more about whether real real road is more about whether um whether or not like Canada should continue to develop its oil industry. Because Canada has like a pretty massive reserve of oil that is mostly untapped because of this debate. And the question is like, okay, do we keep using the oil? Or do we have to stop using oil so we can be better for our, our carbon emissions and all that, right? And the idea, you know, on the conservative side, it's that yes, we should use the oil because this is our resource and we need to improve our economy and it'll help the people if we use the oil. And the liberal side is like, well, it's bad for the environment and we are, we are funding like, you know, the destruction of the planet and that shouldn't be okay. And those are more or less the arguments and the bigger argument as well not, not just it's not just an environmental argument it's also the idea that we don't want to be dependent on an industry that may one day dry up right so the oil is not infinite obviously so uh we don't want to be like we don't want to be um d depending on we don't want to be reliant on this this heavy oil economy that may one day collapse right that's just another argument you could make um ultimately like Regardless of whether or not we use this oil, it's not being used in Canada. So one thing to keep in mind, people make the, the the mistake that like, well, these resources should be used like by Canadians to make our our, our gas cheaper. That's not what would happen. If okay, the game crashed again. Uh, the the oil is not is not used in Canada. It's refined in BC into LNG, and then it's sold overseas, most to whoever will buy it. Uh, it was going to be mostly sold to Germany because we do have a pretty large LNG uh, production already going and we were going to sell to Germany, but then that fell through and now Germany buys from Qatar instead. But that was a really, that was a big debacle a couple of while ago. Um, so like, it's important to note that gas prices probably wouldn't change. And this is something that I think people often mi misconceive. People think that the oil is being used in Canada. It's not. It's being refined and then sold outside of Canada. Actually, we've got two refiners in the Swedish West Coast, and I've been at one of them. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, I imagine that Sweden... I imagine that most countries have some level of refinery. There's some Canadian flags on the tankers. Yeah, because we, we ship our oil out to other places, right? Um, we refine some of it at the LNG, and then others of it we just ship uh, crude. I know that we do ship some crude oil, but we buy oil from, like, Arabia and stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure America... Actually, I'm pretty sure Canada... I'm pretty sure that we buy most of our oil from America, actually. America and uh, Saudi Arabia. I'm, I'm curious now. I'll just Google this while the game's loading. Canadian oil import by country. Okay, it's, it's United States, then Saudi Arabia, then Nigeria, then Angola, and then Norway. Those are the five. Oh, Can listen, the Canadian politics, okay, unironically revolves around, completely revolves around um, um, exploiting Native Americans for political chips. It always has, because... Like, it's it's unfortunate that much of our history revolves around the the redemption of our identity from being those who, like, horrifically destroyed native culture to being those who prop it up again. And it's a very popular issue. Like, lots of Canadians uh, care about the rights of indigenous people because they're, you know, they, they care about, uh, I don't know, they just, they just, they care. Like, I, I, why do I care about native rights? I mean, I don't know, I just do. It's, it's nice to not have a discriminated underclass, I guess you could say. So our politics revolve around that, and because of that, um, because of that, like, the, the, every politician has to work with it. Like, there's no politician that exists who just disregards the Native American uh, issue, you know, in Canada. 
And because politics can be very black pilling, and you know, I can be a bit of a doomer sometimes. Sorry, hiccups again. A bit of a doomer sometimes. Um, basically, every politician will just use that because ultimately, it's not really about, at least from the politician standpoint, it's not really about actually improving the Native American life or like trying to fix some of the very powerfully systemic issues that go on in Native American reservations and stuff. It's more about like finding a way to, 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 to look like you're representing them better so you can win the election, right? So, yeah, it, it, it's unfortunate. Also, this is a cool art, by the way, in the background. Uh, it's it's really unfortunate, and I, and I don't like that, that that that's how it is, but it is how it is, unfortunately. It's it's really, really not nice. But, you know, that's kind of a big part of Canada's identity is, is caring about natives, uh, at least in theory, and then it ends up in practice being just political maneuvers over and over again. more about land like a lot of um a lot of like efforts to improve like native american lives tend to just not really be effective because they don't get a lot of funding and stuff right is what a political agenda is like yeah but in canada there's a very particular like there's every politician care will, will care about the native americans like all of them I'm not talking about like oh it's it's a leftist talking point right like something like for example caring about um in america i'm not an american so correct me if i'm kind of maybe this is like a misinterpretation in america it is the case that like i think republicans don't really give a shit about pandering to like latino or black voters except in maybe very regional votes like for example a republican running in texas probably will have to discuss also the president's over here now probably will have to discuss to some extent uh like the the spanish vote right Whereas I'd say that even if you, even if you were like running, if you were like a presidential candidate, then obviously you always have to care about the Spanish vote. But in America, even if you were running in like fucking Alabama or Georgia, if you're a Democrat, you're probably going to be bringing up the idea of minorities. It's like that's like for, you know, that's for that's like every every politician on the Democrat side tends to talk about the rights of minorities, the rights of gay people, the rights of this and that, like all this stuff, right? But the Republicans probably don't really care in many cases. They just won't talk about it. In Canada, it is a cross-partisan, like a cross-political issue of like needing to be the party that is the one that supports the Native Americans better. Um, and the ways to do that are different on each side, right? So for liberals, it's about giving them more autonomy. For conservatives, it's about integrating them into society. Uh, that's what I would say the broad arguments are, is that conservatives want to integrate natives to become, they want to assimilate them essentially into being Canadianized uh, so that they can have better lives because that way they're not stuck on the reservations and just like, you know, living what are in many cases quite destitute lives. Whereas liberals would say they need to preserve their way of life, they need to have their, uh, they need to have their languages kept and all this kind of stuff. That kind of thing it, it, and it's an interesting topic is like you know how far do you go to preserve culture if it means that you live a worse life right it's a very interesting topic that i have often thought about personally you know that's a whole other discussion about like how much is it worth it to preserve your culture i guess you could say all Russian politicians just play election game if they stop playing the game they would likely lose power yeah yeah it, it's it, i imagine that it what i what i mean by how it's unique to canada is more that like the the fact that it's like a key issue on every every side of Canadian politics, except for probably the Bloc Québécois, they probably don't really care much. Like the Quebecers, like the Quebec Party, they probably don't really care much about native stuff. Mods bring him to the Riz Chamber and skibbity his Ohio with the Phantom Tax. What is the Phantom Tax? I've heard of that as well. I don't know all these terms, and I, I feel bad for that. I'm a bad representation of my people as a as a Gen Zer. I really can't build it. Oh, I need more money. Okay, so I really can't build another barracks. They were real nice. Is Gen Alpha? Jesus. Oh, I feel old now. There's a generation that's younger than me. It is what it is. That one did come on. How old is my wife? 24? That's fine. Get more kids going.
The fan attacks is when the streamer steals people's food. That's all I know, and you now, you now know too. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> I guess I now know. It was pretty poggers to have uh, Washington, by the way. I want to do one of these whale hunts. See what this is like. Good luck. Okay. We just wait until it finishes, I guess. Oh, good. Oh, you also get a dev modifier. Cool. Okay, so basically just a button you click and then you get a random outcome. Alright. Cool. It's very nice art. I wonder, um, okay. Chat, does anyone happen to know off the top of their head? Okay. Is this AI generated art or did someone actually do this? Because this is beautiful if someone actually drew, if someone actually made this. If it's AI art, then I mean, like, that's fine. I, I, I'm not super anti, I'm not really anti AI art at all, to be honest. I just, I like to know if it's someone, if someone made this or if an AI made it so I can, I don't know, have more appreciation for it. I think AI art is good for placeholders and stuff, but it's nice to eventually get human art in here. It, I, I can't tell. I'm not. I'm not really an artist, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be able to identify if something's AI art or not because I don't know much about art. But it looks really pretty. Yeah. So, so Ibrahim, this is an interesting thing that I, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more um, broadly about, like um, about like on a broad issue, I guess you could say about like cultural preservation. With the, uh, I know they hired a lot of artists for the project. Okay, cool, cool. Um, true, Terry Katsune. But okay, um, what am I saying? The the idea of like native like native peoples preserving their culture by living on these reserves, right? And the reserves have like they're like shitholes basically. And the the question is like why are they sh like this is sort of an, an important question is like why are the, are they shitholes? You know, like is it because they don't get enough resources? Is it because of like the long term effects of col colonialism? Is it because, and this is something I don't believe, but you know, this is a thing you could say, is it because like the way of life of Native Americans is like inherently like sort of po povertous, impover impoverished, that's a better word for it. You know, is that like, is that a thing? There's all sorts of questions you can ask. And the question is, at what point do you throw your hands up and do you say it's better to assimilate into the larger culture around me and give up on my culture so that I can live a better life? Or, or do I, like, you know, cling to my traditions, right? This is, I think, a really important question for, like, modern-day Native Americans, right? It's like, okay, your traditions matter, and we all agree about that, and, and it is a shame that, like, Native American traditions have been destroyed how they have been, but it's like, do you continue to fight to keep them, or do you give up on them? And it's like, oh, dude, I don't even know the answer to that question. It's not even my, it's not even my question to answer as a not Native American, right? But... I've often thought about that, where it's like, what is the actual better answer between the conservative and the liberal uh, ethos on Native American solutions? Like, is it about trying to uh, trying to integrate them into society so that they no longer suffer, or is it about their preservation? It's a dangerous sunk cost. Yeah, it, it really is, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's, you know, like it, it's a hugely dangerous sunk cost, and I don't have, I obviously can't answer that because it's not my culture to be, you know, to be abandoning. You know what I mean? Like, it's obviously not at all my my prerogative to even be possibly considering that I would be that I'd be the one to answer it but it's something I think about pretty often I have a voice as a racially ambiguous guys team contributing things that eventually traditions need to give way for new ones to be huh, remixing in something new adopt something always Native American church or culture something from developing economically it's being detached so literally it's that okay so Native American tradition in the modern world, not necessarily historically, but in the modern world, is very much tied to land, in the sense that, like, you know, revering the the wilderness, right, revering the the offerings of nature, and this is obviously uh, very generalized, right? Different different uh, natives, different native tribes, have very different traditions, but in general, there's an emphasis put on like the land, right? But most of the good land was taken by the colonists, as we all know, like basically all the good land was taken by the colonists. So the native reserves are not like good land. They're like the shittiest parts of the country that Canada was like, you know, okay, sure, we can have that one. You know, when I talk about like reserves in like Alberta, you know, like around here, we're talking about like Edmonton is already kind of a shithole. Sorry, I, I was born in Edmonton, so I know this, okay? 
Edmonton is like super snowy, super cold, gets like almost no sun. There's not a lot of farmland. There's some, very little. But then that's not even the land that the natives get. This is still colonial land. They get like, you know, the taiga up here. To give you an idea, they get this, this stuff all up here, right? This is what they get. So it's not exactly good land. But if you're attached to your land, then you live on it anyway, even if it's not good to you. Because you're like, you know, this is what I consider to be like my homeland and I don't want to give up on it, right? So in theory, if the natives were like more willing to, let's say, like abandon their homeland and just go and live in the cities, right? Just go and be like, okay, I'm going to go and live you know, amongst the, the colonizers and just become Canadian in that sense, in the sense of, like, not really clinging to those traditions anymore. You could, in theory, have a better economic life because you could live in a place with more opportunities. And this is what happens commonly, actually, is they, with Native Americans who leave their tribe, right? Is they go and live in the city and then, you know, they, they essentially lose their identity and that can cause a lot of sadness. You know, it's not necessarily like, oh, lose the identity and everything's fine. You, there's a huge um, problem with that that comes, you know, that comes with that. Of you know losing your sense of who you are and all the problems that come with assimilation in general but in theory you'd be gaining you know like <laughs> economic opportunities that otherwise wouldn't be available to you and that's a really tough question for me is like at what point do you continue to cling on to that um, you know that that old sense of your old culture or do you just start to abandon it right I don't know it's hard to say. It's hard. It's hard to say. It's not my decision to make, obviously, but it's hard to say in theory. Like I think about what if, for example, like I have Turkish heritage, right? And I'm Canadian, obviously, by by birth and everything. But at what point, if my Turkish heritage were holding me back in life, what point would I choose to maybe start abandoning my my Turkish heritage if it would create a better life for me? And it's like, oh, dude, I don't even know. That's a really tough question. It was called Yu Chung. Where is? That's because, by the way, the name list for Canuck is um, is all mixed together. So the name list has Punjabi names, white names, and Asian names in it. That's why you get six with Asian names. It's an interesting way to do it. But adapt some parts you'd abandon because they don't work in the society or whatever. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. You, you sort of you you reimagine the culture, right? That's one way to that's one way that you can look at it. You you re reimagine the culture so that it fits better in the world that you live in now. That makes sense to me. But then it's like, you know, ultimately, who's responsible? Imagine, though, it's one thing to assimilate to... It's one thing to assimilate to a culture that is around you. It's another thing to assimilate to a culture which is the one that destroyed your culture. Like, that's pretty... Um, that's hard to, to run by someone, I would say, you know? Like, imagine being like, okay, it's Native Americans. You, you've lost your culture, and that's really tragic. But if you want to live in this new world, you're going to have to assimilate. Okay, what kind of assimilation are you doing? Well, the, well we killed... We, we destroyed your culture. They gotta become our culture. I can see why there's some apprehension. You know what I'm saying? I, I do understand. I definitely do understand. Darkening horizon. What's happening? Is there a is there a Black Death out there? Is that what that was? Oh yeah, there is. Okay, we got Black Death incoming, boys. Yeah, it's interesting. I I like how it's spreading. By the way, it's just it's up the coast. Cool. Well, um. Nice knowing you, boys. Probably should be to fight this war, not just doing looking around. Yeah, it, the point is, the, you know, I'm not trying to make any real statements about my like beliefs or anything. I, I'm just asking questions, and that sounds really sus when I say that because people that just ask questions often are super sus. Um, but it's just like um, I, I just find it. Like, I'm saying this is like a one county duchy. I just find it um, interesting to think about, like, that that idea of, of at what point do you sort of abandon abandon culture in order to live a better life. It's like, that's, a really, that's probably a question that many people have asked in their lives, right? Did I get a sub? Yo! Arik AK, let's go. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Ramadan Karim. Happy Caterdayev, Sarku, 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 Sar, and everyone. How are you doing? How are you doing? Doing pretty good. Okay, well, anxiety sucks, but I'm glad you have it under control. That's the best kind of anxiety, is the kind that you have control over. Adopted a similar manner, it's been obvious, but like, look back a thousand years, even less, we're burning people for having different opinions. Well, think about, like, um, like for me, one, one, I'm not a Christian or anything, but one genuinely pretty inspiring thing to look at is, like, think, like seeing about martyrs. Oh, that's what already spread to us, damn. 
thing about like how martyrs um in christianity would like get burned alive in order like to preserve their faith and i'm like damn like that's got to be like you you got to have some kind of crazy amount of belief to, to to like not give into that right and there's something to be said for the virtue of that but also like could we not could we not re-examine that from a different lens of like is it not wrong to be like suicidal in a way like to throw your life away it's like mm, but for what why are you throwing your life away well for your beliefs well your beliefs are like it's similar to like you know would you fight for your country right it's like would you throw your life away for something that isn't you know, yourself and it's like uh you know you could argue with with your fighting for your country is like well my country treats me well if we get conquered the new country won't treat me well so fighting for the country means a better outcome for my people Whereas, like, let's say you change religions and suddenly you're being treated perfectly. It's like, well, okay, then why wouldn't you just change religions? The country's fighting for? Yeah, of course. Assuming that your country is righteous, you know, like, would you fight for your country in a fight which is righteous, right? That's the, the, the implication is that it's a fight that you, in theory, would be approving of, but then would it still be worth it to fight it? It's like, well, why not just ignore it, right? Like, would you, would you not live a better life by just ignoring every battle your country fights and instead just, you know, just, um... <laughs> you know, focusing on yourself. I don't know. It's it's an interesting it's just an interesting thought. I don't really need Roanoke can either, so later. So how is this are we like is Black Death gonna go throughout the whole world or is it what was that other? Patria Grande, Evil God, Pablo Murillo's Fever. Nice. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's it, it, it actually it almost kind of boils down to like, is it better to only ever fight for like my personal gain, or is it better to like ever sacrifice myself for the greater for something greater than that? Right? It's like you know that's a really that's a tough question. I don't know. That's something that people probably thought about forever. Hard to say. Like, at what point... I like how it barely spread into our country, by the way. That's great that it just came to my counties. That's really, really nice. <laughs> I would have liked it if it didn't come into my counties, but it is what it is. We have a lot of confessionalists. Damn, where are these confessionalists coming from? I am also noticing, by the way, that like the um, that that event that we got a little while ago, the Redemptionist Convention like event that we got is kind of just not like nothing else is happening, which is fine, you know, um, it's okay. It might have just been like a little tiny event thing, but it would have been nice to see this like kind of spreading throughout my country. Oh well. analogy explains this nice okay go ahead and put it in the chat if you want what would i die for <laughs> clout obviously i die for subs obviously no I'm joking. i mean i don't know what i would die for my family i mean no did my shahada two days ago oh damn a recent convert let's go welcome to the fold brother Although I'm not a particularly religious Muslim, though, to be clear. This isn't really like a Muslim stream, I just... I oh, got Bubonic Plague, it's over. I'm gonna die. It was nice knowing you, chat. I'd die if I was killed. That's what I would die for. I'm sorry. <laughs> sure, I'm already infected, so fuck it. No reason not to go and give the royal touch if I'm already infected. Okay, yeah, that's it. Famous Queen Phoebe. Would you die to death if you were killed until you died? Definitely. I mean, yeah, this looks pretty good. Empty cup, I see. Ready to be filled. Nah, I mean, you know, um... I don't know. I'm, I'm like, a. I'm not irreligious. I do consider myself Muslim, and I do believe in God and stuff. And like, you know, I try to be a, a good, a good Muslim. And I try to be a good person, to be fair. Not really like a good Muslim per se, but I try to be a good person. And I try to derive wisdom from the Quran whenever I can, and from the Hadith if, if possible. Although 
I find myself becoming a little more and more of a Quranist here and there. But, you know, I try. And, uh... Eh. Why didn't you invade Gold Coast? What is the Gold Coast? I don't even know what that is. I try, but, uh, you know, it's... I think everyone's got their own personal relationship with, uh... With religion. I don't know what the Gold Coast is. So Brazil just completely fell apart. Costa del Oro. Okay. This one was super close to Oh, this. Oh. Yeah, okay. I did because... Yeah, sorry, that's... I don't know why I forgot this was even here. Uh, because it's part of the Caribbean, so I don't really care to invade them. They're just like, I don't really want this land. We could take it, and it is some okay castles, I guess. Okay, actually, these are not bad. Hold on a minute. Wait just a minute. These are actually pretty good. Maybe I should have taken it. I thought they were tribes, because I saw that there, some of these were tribes over here. Or did I misremember that? Anything else? Oh, I see, yeah. No, true, 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 Tarek. Um, that's true that, like, one of the first sins is a form of xenophobia, in a way. But what's funny is, um, in terms of how Islam actually plays out, I find that there is, like, a lot of, well, you know, this might be due to just, like, b bad examples in my life, right? But I find that there is quite a bit of, uh, like, like, sort of racial segregation in Islam, unfortunately, in the sense that like, Islam is kind of intrinsically like an Arab religion. Yeah, Black Death got him. We got Black Death. Um, it, feel, it feels like sometimes Islam can be very Arab, Arab-centric. Uh, because of, I feel like because of the, um, because of uh, the Hadith sometimes. And I'm not like a, I'm not like, obviously Quranism is like, you know, a dangerous path to walk or whatever. Like you try to like deny the Hadith and stuff. But sometimes it can feel like a lot of the morality, um, oh, oh shit, I got murdered. Okay. Um, well, who the fuck are we playing as now? A lot of the morality of, um, of, like, the religion, because sometimes, also, we're, okay, this is really bad. We have, like, a bunch of kids on our, on our culture, on our, on our uh, dynasty. A lot of the morality can sometimes feel like it's derived from Arab morality instead of from, like, the Quranic morality. Like, I think about, like, the hijab and stuff, where it's, like, these are, like, obviously the Quran mentions about being modest, but, um, but it's, like, <laughs> it feels like that, like sometimes the sort of the chauvinism of Islam, in the sense of the male chauvinism, I should say, of Islam can feel like it's more of an Arab thing than like a Muslim thing, and that can reflect very badly on the on the religion. Uh, we might get game over here because I I actually I need to adopt someone and then need to make them my only heir. Quranism is in theory the 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 denial of the Hadith. So let's think of um, okay, I'm trying to think what the equivalent is in Christianity. Like what is. Does Christianity have, um, did, did she kill him? Oh, let me check. List. Holy shit, she did. That's fucking hilarious. Is, is Christianity, um, does Christianity have any texts which are considered not divine, but which are followed, like, as a guideline? I don't know how to explain it. Like, I th I used to think it was similar to, like, the books, like, the books of, like, like of, like, uh, Paul and stuff, but Paul is considered divine because of... It, because of the, um, because when he was writing the, the the book of Paul, it was the, the idea is that God was giving him the you know he was pro he was being prophetic in that moment, like teachings. Yeah, it, it's extremely book of Enoch is extremely divine. Well, I don't necessarily mean like the book of Enoch is non canonical. I know that, but what I mean is like okay, so the Hadith is a collection of stories essentially. The the the, the, collect, the hadith is like a collection of stories uh, about Muhammad's life, where the um, the people that followed him wrote stories about his about him, and also he gave speeches which were not divine. It's an important distinction that when the Quran was spoken, like when it was it was basically spoken aloud and then written by scribes afterwards, um, it, it was the it was like the voice of God speaking through the physical body of the prophet, right? But when the hadith were written, this was just this was just the prophet's personal um like, like you know the prophet's own 
human uh, interpretation of like the world or of culture or of things, right? Of, of his own advice given to people in a in a non-divine way, in a, in a prophetic way, in the sense that the prophet is to be looked up to and is to be like not revered. It's an important distinction, not revered, but to be, um, but to be like, um, what do you call it? Like admired, you know, to be uh, followed as an example. But like, it's not, it's important that it's not divine. It's that it's not godly speech. The Hadith, none of the Hadith is godly. It's all just sort of, it's, it's prophet. It's, it's the prophets uh, views on the world. And some people in Islam don't like the, the prevalent, the prevalent, the prevalence of, um, of the Hadith because the Hadith ultimately is dated in the sense that the, the prescriptions and the ways of life that the prophet lived through are like more than a millennia old, like a millennia and a half old at this point, right? So it's like, well, should a person necessarily uh, follow the, the, that those prescriptions of a man? Because remember, he's acting as a man in the Hadith of a man who is more than a millennia old, right? That's the idea. Whereas the Quran is considered to be eternally divine. So therefore, there's nothing there's OK to follow those. 250 years of Muhammad. Well, the Hadith were written at various points. Like Hadiths are basically stories, right? So each story was written at various points throughout Muhammad's life, like while he was living, and then also afterwards. So, you know, it's uh. Also, I think we actually are gonna game over here. I, I don't know what we do about this. Uh, the fact that we're gonna have, I guess we can legitimize this bastard. That's the the best we can do. At, but then she even she is married incorrectly. Think you ought to follow the hadith to the letter, or just integrate them into your wider religious understanding? Most Muslims, so the most Muslims, like as in most like Sunni or Shia Muslims, uh, consider the hadith to be like basically things which like actions and and beliefs that you probably should do your best to emulate and should do your best to like follow whenever you can. Uh, but it depends on the individual, right? Like some people, um, so, some people would say that like oh you know don't don't bother at all and others would you know others would uh we're just gonna we're just gonna kill this kid and others would say that you should follow all of them right like it just depends on which hadith and stuff too sorry we have to do it in order to not game over so gotta do it we gotta kill this guy too and we gotta imprison her as well okay um I mean, sure, you can take this guy back. He's gonna, you're just gonna give him back to me after, because he's part of my de jury. But sure. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, not only eternally divine, protected from alterations by God. The hadith does not have that guarantee that people will readily admit. Yeah, and like. The, the hadith is, is something which is is subject to like human error right that's another thing that and that's why this has been a bit of a movement for like abandoning the hadith but the thing is the hadith is so central to like orthodox islam and by orthodox islam i mean like basically like relatively non-denominational sunni islam in the sense of like the, the islamic jurisprudences like like hanafi and hanbali and maliki and like if, if you you know sunni islam okay because sunni islam is pretty um pretty homogenous uh, with 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 some only very minor changes between like you know the random schools and all that was we could the 14 year olds or is that not a thing um well like child marriage again this is one thing where i think it gets conflated by like arab culture i'm not like i'm not like a racist against arabs by the way okay i, I don't hate arabs or anything but um but like i think child marriage happens in like some of the more backwards bedouin societies and those are those are very like you know backwards societies okay like i'm not i'm not like a bedouin hater okay because i know that you can get you can get pretty racist when it comes to talking about like you know arabs and stuff because some people really just like hate arabs so much I'm like, okay bro calm down but like a lot like tri tribal arab society like which does you know still exists and all that um is so why am i when is he finding someone to adopt but uh, it is very, um, what's this? it's very like backwards uh, in a, you know, and, and I think that can end up being uh, conflated with a Muslim society because child marriage probably does happen in like 
some tribal areas of Saudi Arabia and stuff, but I, it doesn't happen outside of that. Like, it doesn't happen in mainstream Islamic society. Um, but you know, I, I I feel weird saying that about like Bedouins though, because they're they're also their whole a whole culture that may have other things going on, and I'm not gonna act like I'm an expert on their cultures, but there's a lot of things that happen in backwards parts of the world that are Muslim, which then get prescribed to all Muslims, but it's akin to like, you know, there are some, there are some like Christian, you could look at like, what you know, Southern Baptist Church or whatever is an example of this, although it's unfortunately not quite a apt comparison. Where like the Westboro Baptist Church and all that are, are like super like giga racist and all that. And that's like really, really awful and bad. But then like, you know, it's uh, not like you could point that uh, it's not like you can point that at uh, every Christian then, right? And say, like, well, every Christian's, like, a super racist. It's like, well, sure, there are some people who do wrong things. Like, in breeding in Somalia? I mean, I guess. I don't know much about that. I, I don't know. It's, you know, some some cultures practice cousin marriages, right? But at some point, in the shit, absolutely true. Absolutely, of course. It's because people are part of religions, right? So you can argue for, like, the divinity of a faith, or you can argue for the divinity of, like, a text. But the followers of those texts and of those faiths will never be perfect, right? They're always going to end up doing things wrong. Okay, we didn't kill her, damn. Okay, we'll have, to, we'll have to try again. But if we can kill this girl, then we should secure our succession. Bye-bye. Great. So that should solve our problem of succession. I kind of would like to just die, to be honest. So um, let's just kill our other child, too. Because ultimately, um, I want to play as the younger daughter. Marriage into the mix. Yeah, so the, the big critique is basically that, like, um, the prophet got married to a child and, like, you know, like, consummated his marriage with a child. And that's, like, pretty horrifying. And that's, like, a cr critique that you'll see pretty often. Can I get married now, or are we just, like, screwed? You know, I can get married. That's good. Guys, we saved the run, by the way. Not, no longer game over. We saved the run. Get married to this genius, that sounds good. Lost quite a bit of legitimacy, but it's okay. Um, so you got good stewardship? Yeah, it's... Okay. I really didn't want to get game over, so I'm glad that worked out. Um, what was I saying, though? I mean, I'm kind of rambling, and I'm sorry about that. I, I wanted to keep on a certain point, but I think I sort of lost where I was going. I think I lost my train of thought. It's, it's long sailed now. Take my vassal back. Thank you very much that you revoked from me. Oh, I see. He just, like, stole Atlanta. Oh, because that's the capital. Oh, I see. That's why he stole this. Oh, Atlanta's, like, actually a good good, good place. Okay, I should have kept it. It is what it is. What were we even... We were talking about, like, a person choosing to abandon their, their culture or their religion for the sake of their of their life or whatever before, right? Jeez, that was a whole last conversation. I don't know, dude, my relationship with Islam is pretty complicated, to be honest. Uh, I grew up in a pretty, like, fundamentalist religious household, um, so I ended up growing, funnily enough, uh, he'd think it would make me more religious, but it grew, it, it ended up pushing me really far away from religion as a kid. Uh, I was very religious when I was little, and then as I got to my pre-teens and teens, I was like, dude, I don't want to be religious anymore. And mostly it was due to interacting with people that weren't my faith. Muslims, there are people who Muslims in Sweden. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened. That's what's going to happen whenever you have, like, uh, an influx of people who are foreign to your country kind of coming in, and people will find something to blame, right? That's how it always is. People always find something to blame, right? They, they, they'll they always find something, and often it's easy to blame, like, a minority or, you know, whoever. Even in Canada, we have the same thing. I mean, people in Canada... Right? The big thing to blame in Canada is, like, Syrian migrants. For a while it was. Not really anymore, but for a while it was. Syrian immigrants were... Oh, oh, well, actually, okay, here's a funny thing. There, there can be realities where, like, large influxes of foreign people can be really bad for your country. And in Canada, we are experiencing that to some extent, and that's in the form of, um, like... Like students from overseas that take up a lot of housing um that's one thing that i'll say in canada we actually have a problem with it. this is not like a racist thing it doesn't matter what the race of the immigrant is but we have a lot of immigrants that come to uh, surrey and vancouver like these two cities basically and they will um they will like you know they will take up like 
you know, housing to get an education and then just leave. And that can be uh, really bad for the country. But I don't think that's what's happening in Sweden. I think people in Sweden are just blaming people because they want someone to blame. You can have genuine grievances with immigrant communities if they are, you know, actually causing problems. But I get the feeling that in Sweden's case, it's mostly like a racist thing. Fortunate, but it is what it is. What was the Syrian migrants thing you were going to say? Well, basically, when there was the Syrian civil war was happening, a lot of Syrian migrants came to Canada looking for, you know, looking for, you know, uh, like asylum or whatever. And a lot of, a lot of, you know, there were some parts of Canadian society that were like, dude, these Syrian immigrants, like, they're going to do a lot of, you know, rape. <laughs> I hate that. I don't, you know, like to say it. It feels weird to say the word, even though it's just another word. But, you know, to do a lot of R word, whatever. They're going to do, they, there was a lot of, uh, assertions that Syrians were going to cause a lot of destruction in the country and ultimately just like what always happens with these like you know with these sort of accusations of like a whole group is going to cause mass chaos a couple people did it as would have happened with any group there's going to be a couple of fringe cases where like yeah there's going to be bad people in any group so a couple of times there was an example of like a Syrian migrant did some bad stuff and uh that's you know that's always going to happen doesn't matter if it's it could have been uh, American immigrants. I mean, if it was American people seeking asylum, it would have been some Americans that would have done something. It's all whatever. And then for the most part, they just lived their own lives and that was fine. Like, it, that's literally how it is. You know, it's it, it's it, it's just like, it's totally, um, that's how it is to any group that's going to move to a new country is there's going to be a couple bad, bad eggs, right? Um, so yeah, that was, that was something. Racist, it is racist grievers, but it's also people feeling like it's encroaching on culture. For example, people expecting school meals to be halal or mad the hijabs are banned in schools. Yeah, so Quebec was famous for this. Quebec banned, um, basically, like, you're not allowed to wear, um, like, any sort of hijab or anything in public schools in, in Quebec. And that was a really big deal, uh, when that, when that was, when that was passed. That's, like, a provincial law, not a federal law. Happening here, prison mayor moon. Sure, I whatever. Um, like, like that—that that was the whole thing with like the province, where it's like now, um, basically, public servants aren't allowed to wear hijabs in Quebec. So students, like, it, it, like teachers and stuff, aren't allowed to. I don't remember if it applied to the actual students. I should actually retract that a bit. I don't remember if it was that students in schools couldn't wear hijabs, but it was that teachers couldn't. So public servants weren't allowed to. Um, so, you know. That was like a big controversy and all that. Once the presidency's back in Gotham. Ooh, a genius. And, um, you know, I, I, Quebec is kind of its own thing. Quebec has, Quebec feels like they are very much uh, encro encroached upon, right? They're very much encroached upon by the foreign immigrants, not just the Muslim ones, but all the immigrants, right? So. Okay, Belgian Belgium is not a democracy. Okay, I kind of want to just ban, but also like I don't know. Do you care to do you care to expand? Like, you poor almost from Europe. Like, okay, uh, if that's if that's what you want, I mean, if I feel like I don't know. See, that's interesting. It's interesting, like, because there are a lot of Muslims in uh, in Europe, right? And it's like, is that necessarily, you know, many Muslims? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm a deviant. What the fuck? But, oh, their evil agenda. Okay, dude. What's the evil agenda? Go ahead. I'm curious. I'm going to feed it. I'm going to feed the troll. They don't know it's evil. Okay. They don't know. Okay. I'll, f I'll feed the troll for a bit and we'll ban later, but but go ahead. What What is the agenda? Make Europe Muslim. Okay. How? What's the... Is it like... Like, is it, like, is it by, like, a fucking troll? Okay, buddy. Is it, like, um, what do you call it? Is it through, like, outbreeding the, the, the Europeans? Is that, is that, hey, if you're offended, you can just leave, by the way, but it, are, is it, like, uh, are they gonna outbreed them or something? Is that the idea? I'm, I'm sort of, I'm waiting for the talking points that, that everyone already knows. Is, is it, is the idea to, to simply outbreed the Europeans? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, see, look at that. I, 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 of course, it's all, it's always this accusation. I mean, I don't know, then, 
if if a I, I feel like if a group decides to have a shit ton of children, right? And if there is a uh it's not talking about its reality, if there is a um what do you call it? If it is the case that a lot of immigrants come to a country and then have a shit ton of kids and become like a, a, a new block of, of culture, like should they not have a say in that country? Like like what if you know, uh, why would it, why would you not, like, if you, I guess, well, I'll say this about Europe. Europe is an interesting case. I'm a Canadian, right? So Canada is, um, Canada is, like, interesting in that, um, we're not an ethno state, right? Like, obviously, we're not, we're obviously not some kind of uh, ethno state, right? Um, we're, we're, we're not, we're not an ethno state. But I will say this, okay, in, like, uh, in, like, let's say, France. Uh, we'll use France as an example. Like you can make the argument that France is a country that is for French people, right? And therefore, France should only cater to the French people. You could argue that France is some kind of uh, ethno state, right? You could do that. Um, I don't know if France would argue that. Are we winning? We are winning. But uh, I don't know if France would argue that argument. But but you could make that argument. And the question then is like, okay. Is French culture c c contingent on being Christian? What, what 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 creates French culture? I would say based on like the laïcité and like the secular the secularism. Laïcité is secularism in French. The the, the the very strong emphasis on secularism in French that like like you don't have to be like a, a non-Muslim or like a Christian to be a French citizen, right? French French people are whoever speaks French and whoever lives in the country of France. That's what I would probably say is French. So. I don't see anything wrong with people coming to France if they're learning French, they're living French lifestyles, they're they're working in France, right? I could see it being a problem if, if you'd have like people coming to France and then just like trying to destroy it, but I don't see that. When you see when you look at a lot of countries that have these massive like immigrations, they they tend to end up like assimilating into those countries, I would argue. There are going to be exceptions where there are people who are going to very strongly stick to their culture, but Canada is a really good example of this. Uh you know, I I, uh, I know many people of many different ethnicities, many different religions, who are way more Canadian than they ever were before. So you're an empire now. Well, actually, we're still just we're still just the king of the queen of Georgia, but we briefly controlled the empire. Oh, news from Detroit. I didn't read that. Oops. But um, I'd say in general, the 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 immigrant communities tend towards assimilation. You know, it's that's been the case in all in the vast majority of of these countries, if not all of them, to be honest with you. I don't really think that there may be ethnic demographic shifts, but unless you're a racist, why does it matter? I respect their culture and traditions to hide it because the Quran says they should lie to infidels to further their agenda. The Quran definitely doesn't say that. The Quran, so the Quran says, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if it's in the Quran or if it's in the Hadith, but somewhere in, in an Islamic scripture, it mentions about like if your life is threatened, you definitely need to uh, you, you need to lie to keep yourself alive, right? Takia, that's the term everyone throws around, right? And takia can be interpreted to mean a lot of different things. So, in theory, it's not like for the propagation of Islam. It's not It's not for the propagation. It's not, it's uh, like, it's, what do you call it? It's it's lying to, for protection of yourself, right? But the question is, is the propagation of Islam a form of self-protection? That's where, um, that's where you have, uh, that's where you have the problem. And I would say that no, Muslims generally, you may have some more extremist types, who may use taqiyya as a way to like lie to the infidel in order to create like better situation for Islam? That probably does happen, but I don't necessarily know if that's something that happens like a lot or in mainstream is a better way to put it. Also, hey Saiza, you came in. We're talking about France actually, so this this is great. Saiza, French for hell. We're, we're talking about some controversial stuff. So I just want to say quickly, uh, if you're not interested in like more controversial politics type stuff, the Raiders. You, you might want to, uh, you might want, this might be your moment to, to not stick around. But, um, what's up, what's up, boys? What's up? Um, Muslims in Indonesia, I'm saying, well, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not, I'm not saying that, like, Muslims are a race. Someone mentioned, like, Muslims are, are not a race. They're not. But, like, if I showed you, like, a, a Frenchman who was Muslim, would you care very much that they're, they're Muslim? Like, it's 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 intrinsic. It's very much intrinsic that like when we talk about particularly in Europe, but I'll keep using France as an example because I ha I just know a little bit about France, right? That like the Muslims of France are all racially North African or Arab or I don't know how many Turks there are, but you know North African and Arab, right? That's like the vast majority of them. Um, 
and I don't want any Frenchmen to become Muslim. I mean, okay, but like, so you just like you just hate Islam, but Islam doesn't really do anything. Like Islam lying to propagate its faith. You could, let's say that that does happen, because I'm sure it does happen. You know, I'm sure I'm not going to act like that never happens, but let's say that it does. I'm sure that there are lots of Christians who will lie to propagate their faith. There, there are everyone will lie to propagate their faith if they want to. We should do everything we can to make it not happen. Damn, holy giga Chad. And what, so what would you? So you would? What would you want? Like, would you want concentration camps, or would you want like mass deportations, or? Yeah, French people equals French citizens or permanent residents or genetics. I'm not banning him yet because I'm, I'm enjoying feeding the troll. It can be important sometimes. It can be very important sometimes to to talk about this stuff. Just deport them to to where, right? So I want you to take the guy, the, the guy who is the son of... So uh, let's take a third generation immigrant, okay? Third generation immigrant, he speaks only French. He's lived in France, his whole, he's born and lived in France his whole life, okay? He doesn't know any other culture. He only knows French, but he prays to Allah instead of God. So send him to, to Turkey, or send him to Syria, or let's say he's ethnically Moroccan, send him to Morocco. Motherfucker, he doesn't belong in Morocco. Why, why would Morocco doesn't want him? This guy's French. You know what I mean? Like, because Morocco, I don't know if they want him. Maybe they do. If he's a doctor, they probably want him. But, like, you know, I, I, uh, I, I to me, it's like, you, um, if you deport these people, some of them may be first generation immigrants and they may be dual citizens or something, right? So, uh, that would be like maybe more justifiable, but even then I wouldn't find justifiable. But you could argue that like, okay, so recent Syrian immigrants, we don't want them anymore, so we're going to deport them. Okay, but what about the, the the ethnic Arabs who are still Muslims who, you know, don't have a connection to their home country anymore? For example, I'm Turkish, ethnically. I don't have a connection to Turkey though. I, ha I have a citizenship, so technically I am a citizen, but I have not lived in Turkey in any meaningful capacity. So if you deported me, let's say I was living in France and I was, I've been, I'm the child of two immigrants or whatever, right? Then, you know, like, I'm not, uh, you know, that then it's like, I can't go back to Turkey. I wouldn't be Turkish. I'm not really Turkish. I don't even speak the language. There's a non-issue. The issue is Muslims coming here. They should have never been allowed in the first place. Well, now that they're here. So we can, we can talk about retrospectively, should we have allowed or should we not have allowed or whatever. But now that they're here, okay, now that, now that they're here, like, are they not French, you know? Is a, is, a, is a man who speaks French, was raised in French culture, you know, he lives in Paris and works there and has an education and has, you know, children and, like, at what point does, can people not become French, you know? What is the dividing line? Is it just that Muslims can't be French? Is that all it is? It's how you were raised, not where your parents are born? Exactly, exactly. It, where, how you were raised, where you were raised, like, the circumstances of how you were raised define more your identity than, like, you know, the ethnicity of your parents or anything like that, I would say. And or the religion or your religion even like you can you can be a Muslim Frenchman That's your real name clearly made the account during the conversation. Yeah, I mean, you know It makes sense to use a burner though. The guy probably wants to keep stay in chat It's probably Tara Katsune for all Muslims that came in the last 50 years along with their children Let them sell their belongings and pay for their plane tickets help and set up a life in another country But just help them a bit. Okay, so you want to like pay them to leave right? But what if they don't want to? Like, will you will you will you take the step to commit like, to commit like tyranny against these people? Like, you know, in your supposedly like free countries, right? Like, or or what about these people are doctors? What? Yeah, true. It's probably Saiza. True. Uh, what about like doctors, right? Like, some of these people might be valuable to the country. So why why should we get rid of them? Like, imagine if my family doctor is a first generation, uh, not even necessarily Muslim, but a a first generation like Nigerian immigrant or something, and. Uh, you know, and he gets deported because he's Nigerian. I'd be pissed. That's my doctor. And he took away my doctor from me. That'd be very upsetting. It's not a free country? Hold, okay, well, based. I mean, you admitted it then. I mean, you want you want to be like, you effectively are like a fascist then. Is what, you know, you want to, I mean, I don't want to ascribe to you your beliefs, but it sounds fascistic to me is what I would say, because only you can know your true beliefs, but that's the, that's the mask off moment, right? I live in Canada. I do live in Canada. Yeah, I do live in Canada. First generation Shia doctor. Yeah, exactly. I want to, you know, every time you live in a free country, I, dude, Canada's pretty free. Okay, Can Canada is not perfect. Okay, I didn't like when Trudeau froze the bank accounts on the truckers. I don't like Trudeau in general, but Canada's pretty damn free. You know, 
Yeah, and also, what rules are they not following? Exactly. Yeah, what rules are they not following? That's that's an even better point. I, I'm just pointing out the mask off moment of oh, so you're you're a fascist essentially. That's that's essentially. Yeah, Canada's not free. Well, you tell me how it's not free. Go ahead. I, I live here. I feel pretty free. Okay, but you tell me, right? A fair chance for citizenship if you're a native-born French person, you commit crimes, no integrated France, get deported back to your ancestral homeland. But like, why would? But your ancestral homeland would have to agree to take you, right? No country on earth is free. Okay, I mean, what what makes a country free then? How to make space for new citizens? Well, I think that so assuming that your parents are citizens, right? Um, that's not free to me. I mean, that's true. Moving to Canada costs a lot of money, but like, um, what do you call it? If um, if if a, a child, I think, who is the who is born to a citizen of a country. The government owes to that citizen to take care of their children to some extent by, for example, I would say, offering them citizenship. Um, what is this? You're evoking my... Oh, another... a new. Okay, you can take a vassal. Wait, I declined it. Oops. Okay, I guess we're fighting. Um, that's fine. You are owned by a big daddy, big daddy government. Everybody wish it wasn't like this. Well, what, what in your idea would be like a free society? Like, try to describe it to me. What is what is a free society? Is it an ancestral homeland? Well, you, I mean, you can have an ethnic... You can have an Urheimat, you know, if you want to use, like, the Nazi terms or whatever. You can have, like, for example, I'm ethnically Turkish. So that would mean that technically, like, you could say my ethnic homeland is, like, Turkey, right? But my ethnic homeland doesn't really mean much to me. Like, yeah, okay, ethnically I come from a different country, but that doesn't really matter to me, like, at all. Big mommy government? That'd be great. That'd be amazing. Soviet Union time. Godwin's law. I don't even know what God. Isn't that like the argument that all all talks become Nazi or whatever? Isn't that what Godwin's law is? I, I'm not trying to say like it's definitely Nazi like to believe in an Orheim. It, it's just a linguistics term. I'm applying it here because it does apply. But you know, like the point is that uh, the point is that like just because you have an ethnic tie to a nation, it doesn't mean you actually have a tie to that nation. You know, it doesn't actually mean that. A free society is a classic libertarian society with small government that decides their own core principles without mass media brainwashing the population. Okay, so he's one of those classical libertarians that, that like, basic. Well, the thing is, in that in a classical libertarian society, though, like, is there not basically like relatively free immigration? Like, as long as they follow the rule of law, which seems to be the case for most of these immigrants that we could that people are complaining about. Like, like, obviously, classical libertarian society is kind of an outdated model. I would say nowadays, so I wouldn't necessarily want that, but. Are not the the tenets of freedom which the which the which that society follows, are those not like literally, like you know are those not like literally something that we already kind of have. Which kind of people lets in. Yeah, it. I I would say all countries do that. I I can't think of a country that has a true open border. I I you know I, every country decides who who lets it in, so the people onto the government. The people decide through their elected representatives, right? So we decided a long time ago that direct democracy was not really a very efficient way to do things because then you have to vote on everything, right? They don't vote for who gets in. Who do they? Wh what is the vote then? Like I, I, I vote. Do you vote? Like, you know, when I vote, my MP gets picked. Big Daddy and big media. Okay, I see. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a democracy believer. You know, I don't believe in fascistic undermining of institutions. So you know, I, I do, I do enjoy direct democracy is much more efficient long term. I disagree. I disagree, dude. If, what you're what you're suggesting, okay? If I were to have it so that every time an immigrant was coming to the country, there should be a countrywide vote on if that individual comes in. That's hilarious to me. That would be, you know, I I would just not vote because fuck that, dude. Am I gonna have to go to a poll station or maybe it's a future we vote on our phones? It's gonna be like, here's the guy's profile. Um, it's a country of like. You know, 25 million, uh, speaking in Canada, 40 million or so in Canada. And we're going to bring in, here, here's a list of 10,000 immigrants for this year. Please review them and vote on every single individual. Fuck that, I'm going to vote for an MP who's going to decide for me. I'm not wasting my time on that shit. Okay? Like, no, I'm good. We live in a, th this what you're talking about could work for a very small country. Like, e like I'm talking not, I'm talking like a city state, okay? Like maybe in Monaco, okay, you could do some shit like that where like every single person is vetted by each individual citizen. What the fuck did I just die to? Did I, did I just... Heart failure? Okay. I mean, believe in immigration. Well, then you're not very libertarian then, are you? Like, I hate to tell you this, but libertarians are, are pretty freedom-loving, right? So, um, like, 
if you're a libertarian, then in general, you're, you're going to seek for there to be like freedom, you know, and in a free world, in a free society, I should say, you're allowed to move between places, right? Does that sort of make sense? Like you're allowed to, you're allowed to travel, you know, that's part of a free society. And uh, if you don't want that, then you're not really advocating for a libertarian society. In the ultimate libertarian society, there would be no borders. There would literally just be like, like in a truly ultimate libertarian, like like anarcho-capitalist, I mean, there would be movement based on economics. That's all it would be. Ask about PayPal from the CIA. I don't know anything about Dalai Lama. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, would, I would comment, but I don't know anything about I, this. I don't know anything about it. Having no immigration, immigration really bad for society because they do with accepting other cultures into your land. Um, it kind of does, though. It, it kind of does, though. Freedom has to do with the idea that, to me anyway, what, what freedom is, right, as a Canadian. Freedom is like the idea that everybody is given a fair shake. Everybody, regardless of, of defining characteristics like your culture and your freedom, or so your culture and your religion and stuff, based on the idea that everyone follows a set of rules established by the government. So if the government creates a set of rules, if you follow those rules, you'll be given uh, rights. And those rules are as unrestrictive as possible, but restrictive enough that society can function. So things like the maintenance of contracts, things like the, um, things like, uh, uh, you know, uh, enforcement of laws through police, things like the, the upkeep of institutions that are important. So for example, uh, the government should pay for things like roads, things like courts, things like, you know, institutions that are necessary. And then beyond that, uh, democracy is basically just choosing who implements and who maintains those things. Right? No one has a right to the land my ancestors killed for. They don't own my land. I own my land. If you killed someone to get your land, that's not very libertarian of you. Equality of opportunity, institution of property ownership. You own land, you pay taxes or jail time, brother. Yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, you gotta pay your taxes, otherwise you go to prison. In that sense, you could argue that no society is truly free because of taxes, but I mean, that's a pretty, like... I, it's, I am a willing to pay taxes for the services provided to by the government. For example, my internet is provided for... By I'm pretty sure about a semantics game. This shit matters though. We're talking about very important things. My internet, for example, is paid for by a company which is subsidized by the government. So I'm happy to pay my taxes to create this infrastructure. I think that you have an idea of 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 freedom being like, you know, a freedom being something which it's not, in my opinion. To me, freedom Freedom is to me not just like a lack of control it's the right kinds of controls and that's a very important distinction because i don't think it's freedom to have chaos i think that's chaos i think freedom is to have like security in things freedom for every country well i don't know like <laughs> each country decides their own fate they do decide their own fate well i say that Obviously, every country is to some extent beholden to like the global situation in the sense that no country can decide anything it wants because it's beholden to the fact that like the world is united in some way, you know? Not the world that can. Oh, I see you're one of those types of computers. Okay, so tell me more about the the Davos the Davos meeting and more about like the the Illuminati. I guess well the Illuminati by different names, but about the uh, I'm not caught up in a semantics game. These are very important things to understand. It's important to understand what freedom is. What is freedom to every person is different. And I think that freedom, I think because you're, you're saying that Canada doesn't have freedom. I think that Canada does have freedom because what we both believe to be freedom is different. I don't necessarily agree completely with the government. Like there are things, I, I'm not like some shill. I don't really like Trudeau, to be clear with you. I don't I don't like Trudeau, Trudeau much at all, to be honest. And I'm hoping that Pierre Polyev wins the next election, uh, even though I don't like him that much. Uh, but... You know, I definitely, I definitely am still free though, even if I don't like my government. Cult leaders say first that you can't win in the U.S. Yeah, true. I remember I watched the Wendigoon videos about those standoffs with those cults in Texas. Those were hilarious. The paradox of freedom. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, the, the paradox of freedom is pretty, pretty fun, but. I don't know, to me it's not semantics to talk about like the the importance of like the, the the fact that freedom is not about chaos, freedom is about like security. Where would you deport a Muslim Frenchman? I guess well I'm pretty sure his answer would be to their ancestral home, which would be whatever their ethnicity is. Wendigun mentioned love Wendigun. I've been using him as audio to listen to 
bit while while doing my work. That's been fun. He's been he's a really good speaker. I talked about coworker breakfast with issues of Yemen, U.S. Saudi Arabia. We both agree that the Ottomans were better colonizers than U.K. and France. Well, the Ottomans probably were in general better in terms of like the, the long term consequences. Ooh, hold on, what's this? Chicago, probably. Oh, we got, we got Chicago got like capitalism coming. Where's Chicago again? Can someone help me? I don't know where Chicago is. Oh, arsonists. Where is uh? I don't know where Chicago is. It's around here, isn't it? Isn't this around where Chicago is? Like it's. What if he's ethnically French? Send him to France, bro. Send him to, uh, yeah, well, that's a really interesting question. What do you do about it con converts who are ethnically French or whatever, right? Only makes the world worse. Immigration was banned. All cowards would, that flee would be forced to fix their motherlands. Buddhists know this for a long time. Um, I don't know about that. I'll tell you this. Okay, here in Canada, okay? Uh, if there weren't, if there weren't immigrants, Canada would be fucked. Okay, in terms of, because Canada, although I would agree, that Canada takes on, right now, I think Canada takes on the wrong kinds of immigrants. Like, I think that we kind of, it would be nice to have, here's Detroit, right? And then Chicago, but um, Canada, I think, needs to change immigration policies, but not get rid of immigrants. Just that I think that there's some problems with, like, the uh, choices of immigrants. Like, I think we take on a lot of students who take the education and leave. And that's not good. They take up a lot of housing. They take up a lot of housing and then they leave. And that's really annoying, right? We don't, we don't, we don't want that. Um, but point is like, I'd say that there are wrong ways to do immigrants. You can be fucked. That is the lie. I, I look. I live here. Okay. Most of our doctors are immigrants. Okay. Most of them are immigrants. All right. And uh, if we didn't have the, we already have a doctor shortage. To be clear, our agent pharmacists and programmers. Well, the problem is that Canada is, I would consider, I would say, relatively free. So if you get an education here, you can leave. You're not, you're not forced to stay in the country. But basically, a lot of immigrants come here, and they come specifically Vancouver. This is one place, you know, speaking local, local pill issue. They come to Vancouver and to Surrey and stuff, and they will get an education of some kind and leave to somewhere else, uh, whether it's a new country or a different part of the country. It doesn't matter. They get an education, and while they're here, they're taking up housing, and housing in Canada is hugely expensive. So they take up a rental space, and that means the price of rent goes up. They get an education, and they go away. That is really unhealthy for the country. I don't know what exactly should be done differently. I don't have like a policy answer in mind, but it should not be the case that like we're taking in all these immigrants who get degrees and then leave. There should be some kind of incentive to keep them to stay. I have ever seen doctors in Edmonton or immigrants? Exactly. Exactly, dude. But we need those people are really important to the functioning of the country. And, uh, you know, I, I think that bringing more in is good. Start with the consumerists and Baha'i are on the map. Sorry, I'm so... Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Here it is. Sorry, I'm so, I'm so bad, dude. Okay, this is what I was looking for. This is the, uh, they got consumerist has popped up. It's new faith. The Chief Chicago land. Ain't no way. Oh my god. Ain't no way. Oh, right, in the West Coast, we have a lot of successful immigrants. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I've been American born to exist in New York City. Oh, I, I, I don't know why it's the case that there are so few local doctors, but for whatever reason, I'm not here to figure out like why there's a lack of doctors. I want there to be doctors. So that means that, um, so that means that like, you know, I, uh, I'm happy to see more doctor immigrants. I just sometimes don't like how the immigrants don't contribute to the country very much. That's the problem. It's not with the immigrants. It's with our policies that don't incentivize them to stay. You know, it's... It happens very often and it's really annoying or they get or they or you get a lot of people that get degrees that aren't very useful to the country so there's a lot of people and no hate on the arts okay but i don't really care for an immigrant who will come to the country to get an english degree i'll just be honest with you look at the head of faith in the viking religion oh he's got a football helmet nice That's hilarious oh he's a footballer um, I don't, I don't really care much for like the immigrants that will come here to get an English degree. I I'll just be honest with you. This is not very useful to my country. Um, sorry. You know, <laughs> that's the next person, foreign doctors, doctors from Eastern Europe, raised in America. The, the lead doctor is Thai, Korean, Indian. Yeah, of course. Minnesota mentioned. Yeah, here, yeah, it's the, it's the football league. 
But yeah, you, you take my point though, right? I think it's a reasonable thing to say, is like, you know, if we're gonna have an immigrant that comes to be educated, cheap an education that is then useful to the country. Because um, it would be okay if the education system was privatized, but here in Canada anyway, if a student chooses to come to um, UBC, for example, UBC or uh, SFU or any of the accredited like colleges, also is that another Black Death? Wait, is it? There's just it's just okay. It's just a bubonic plague. Um, if if that happens, then those schools are funded by taxpayer dollars, right? So it's uh, it's to me it's kind of strange that they would get these relatively pointless degrees in terms of helping the country, and I can see that as a, as a valid critique. The Americans are just dumb. Holy giga chat. I probably should educate myself, shouldn't I? That's a good idea. You don't need to, you need to fix your own. The problem is inflation. Inflation comes mainly from the private bank system breaking the ground law of only the state bank being allowed to print money, aka create money. Private banks create money, which they don't have every time someone takes a loan on credit. They have money out of thin air. The problem is the stock market. I mean, sure. I mean, I can agree about like economic reform or something, but. Um, I, I can tell you that if Canada didn't have the immigrants, um, we'd be in a much worse place than we are right now. But we'd be like, I mean, we'd be fucked. I mean, I, maybe I was hyperbolic by saying we're fucked. Sure, maybe not, but I can tell you this, just from like my own personal experiences, um, I can't I can't get a doctor. You know, I, I've, um, my, my partner has wanted to have like a family doctor for a long time. Can't get one. It's just not, uh, there's none. There, there are no doctors to, to, to get, so. I would like to there to be more some more doctor immigrants, you know what I mean, or some more students, more even more Canadians that want to become doctors. Sure, but they don't, and that's their freedom. That's their choice. I'm not. I'm not here trying to. <laughs> if strong men like me were a country, then it would be fixed very fast. Okay, <laughs> now it's the banning time. <laughs> there we go. That's hilarious. That's a great note to end on. <laughs> that was fun. That that's that's where that's where it ends. <laughs> strong men like me will your country. Yeah, I mean then I'd be deported. That's true, Tarek. Yeah, that's very true. That then the um, that they need international because they pay a lot of money. That's true. They they big they pay big money. Give wage wages to U.S., Canada, U.K. We make a lot more money. They do. They do. In Canada, anyway, like we do have a housing crisis. Something to say for sure. Um, and it's probably something to do with having immigrants that are not the that, that are taking up a lot of space and not contributing to the economy enough. What country topics should we discuss now? I don't even know, dude. We should then see that too, yeah. Obviously, um, it's it's happening in California and stuff too. It's not just a Canada thing, but a, a big, a, a genuine target of why housing is so expensive here in, in Vancouver, unironically, is uh, is something to be said for the immigrant students. These guys, the earth flat or not? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the big daddy government will want you to think that it's not actually hollow, true? America into greater Canada? I could try something like that. Uh, first, you gotta become America, and I keep on dying, so it's a bit difficult to do so. But uh, this character seems to be living. She's a genius, so that's pretty nice. We seem to have a relatively stable rule under this character, so that's good. I'm still laughing about about the the strong men like me ruled. It's hilarious, dude. I'm so I'm, I'm just it's really funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. That was fun though. You see, I don't get I don't get bothered by trolls. I don't think I have to see he's not a troll. And you know what's funny? Maybe he does believe those things, but to be to have those beliefs makes you a troll. So I made for students to attract our students. They burn rate is now higher. That's true. That broke. We make it a copy pasta. I kind of want to. Hold on. Let me let me let me post it. Someone 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 post it. Hold on. Someone 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 put this on a notepad somewhere, and we'll spam this somewhere. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's a really good one. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you won't get the context though? Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> just throw it, just spam it in chat. Hilarious. Oh wait, oh wait, what happened? I don't. What did I even click? I think he converted my faith. No, I, I didn't. Oh yeah, he became stray. Okay, that's why. Another unfollower account to pop in. That'd be really funny. 
That code is so cool for this stream, giving your CK3 runs? Oh yeah, dude. True. If strong men like me ruled the country, oh boy. Everyone would be a CK3 speedrunner then. I tell you what, brother. <laughs> Yo, so true, Hypnotic Frog. See, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a unicameralist. I've, I've always been a big fan of just having one seat of government that says everything. I'm a unicameralist anti-democrat. Total totalitarianism. That way I can do what the people want because I know what the people want perfectly and nothing can get in the way. Make a mod that when you ever do a CB it pops up. That'd be so funny. How do you feel about people not pursuing 7 degrees and taking actually proven degrees with bad return on investment? So I'll tell you this about like... The, the the prevalence of the, the degrees don't get you a job if you're like you're like, if you're just like paying for school and it's like chill and whatever like you're, you're paying out of your pocket or whatever it's okay we, we crashed again it's totally fine to get whatever uses degree that you want in the sense that it's your choice and it's your money okay that's totally like like it's it's entirely up to you if you make the poor decision of linking your career to a degree that won't get you a career that's like on you right where i have a problem is if like is if the the people that are doing that after the end is so laggy yeah it's pretty bad but if the people that are doing that are like heavily dependent on like taxpayer money and stuff so one thing i would hate to see and this is unfortunately kind of the case in canada but i'm willing to let it go because i don't know it's like it's not that the schools are mostly private here but effectively what i'm saying is i wouldn't want someone getting a degree off the back of like a taxpayer's dollars that they don't end up contributing to the economy with at the same time though it's also important. Um, uh, it's it's also important that we don't neglect arts, right? So one thing is the people who are like hyper pro STEM. I, I I can sometimes like I can give an inch sometimes and be like, you're right. Some people get these like pointless degrees, right? And that's like totally whatever. Um, but uh, you know, like at the same time. Um, what are they even saying? At the same time, I, I would I, I think Stu would go too far with it, where they they end up wanting to um, they end up wanting to like get rid of the arts, and it's like okay, bro, stop. You know we need the the arts are important, okay? The arts are important. Work in engineering, but my hobbies are cooking and vendoring magic cards. I expect to make zero dollars in cooking, but I'm learning logistics, small business networking for my vendoring business. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Uh, it's it's like me, so I'll, I'll speak on myself as an example because I'm a I'm a linguistics uh, student, right? So linguistics is one of those theoretically pretty pointless degrees until you get a master's. Um, then you can become a speech language pathologist, or you can get into audiology, and you can work with like hearing aids, or you can work in tech with it. A lot of different potential options, but a bachelor's degree in linguistics is not enough to really get you anywhere. And I can accept that, like, okay, this degree, if I was like an immigrant or something. And I was coming to Canada to get an education and then to live in the country and contribute to it. I would want it to be the case that um, that I would like, in theory, uh, not necessarily, I mean, obviously I wouldn't want this, but in theory, if I was like a taxpayer, I would want it to be the case that I'd come in, get a linguistics degree that I can't use for anything in the economy and then just like live here and like do nothing with it, right? I'd want it to be the case that I would have to get some kind of job with that and that would probably require like getting work in uh, speech language pathology or whatever and that's what I mean about like if you have some immigrant who's like coming here and then taking up housing taking up amenities and stuff um, then and they're getting like some English degree and then not using it for anything then it's like bro what the fuck my parents are reporting that degree my parents did not like that choice of degree they did not like that choice of degree at all I I've told you before chat this is why I'm living like with my partner on my own okay I'm the black sheep uh, I'm the black sheep of my family. In a way, I kind of, well, you could say in a way, I kind of was deported for that degree choice because I, I, ch I didn't, I wasn't deported, but I chose to leave my, my parents' home. Uh, you know, I'm the black sheep of my family. My brother's a pharmacist. You know, my, my mom has like a, uh, she has an English degree, but she got married. You know, then my dad is like a, he's a laborer. He's, he works in carpets or whatever. You know, so I'm like the weird one for being the artsy, artsy fartsy, throwing away life piece of shit type of guy, right? But no one in my family is particularly proud of my, my choices, you could say, but regardless, you know, regardless, like, uh, 
what was I even saying now? Fuck, I, I, I'm Ramadaning right now, dude. My brain is starting to break down. But, like, it, it's it's one thing to talk about the lack of, um, the lack of, uh, you know, STEM jobs. It's another thing to try to ignore the arts. The arts are important. You, you should be pursuing, people should be just pursuing art-based degrees. Those, like, those things matter. Academia matters. But, you know, yeah, some people choose to get art degrees and then wonder why they don't have a job. It's like, well, bro, if you got a degree in gender studies, you don't, what, what are you, what, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, if you want to do that because you have an academic interest, then go become a professor and that could be your real thing. But I don't know what people expect when they get these kind of, people go to school because they're supposed to go to school. And that's a problem, right? You should go to school because you have a particular thing that you're trying to pursue. At that point, there aren't an immigrant. It's more the path of international students to immigrant, and whether or not the degree should matter. Then, yeah, I mean, I got my own beliefs about it, right? Um, like, I I would like it if international students probably were less were lessened, and instead they were turned into immigrants, and then their immigration was based on their intention for their education, with the genuine re restriction that if they fail to follow through on their immigration being based on their education, like if they fail their education. When they got into the country on the back of that idea of that education they probably should be deported you know not necessarily like immediately like not like oh bro get them fuck out of the country but like yeah okay you have this number of years to acquire this education that you promised to get and then if you don't get it then you can't live here anymore right that's how i would look at it um you know international students i i think that if you're just an international student not an immigrant then fine come get your degree and do whatever you want with it but I don't really like having a lot of international students then. It doesn't. It feels very unproductive and damaging to the country because they affect the local lives of people living in the area that they come to. Uh, that's that's what I would say about it. Your jobs never had a degree requirement to have one now. Well, yeah, there's that. The academic inflation is a term that you hear get tossed around a lot, right? So, academic inflation is like uh, what do you call it? Like a problem for sure. Like, most jobs today require a bachelor's degree, even if they really shouldn't. And that's kind of unfortunate. But I will say that I feel like that's kind of going away. Um, I've been noticing more and more that people are more and more willing to hire people that don't have degrees uh, as we go further in time. That's at least been my my perception, anyway. Also, damn, this character's really good. This is kind of crazy. This character's, like, super good. Oh, measles, I'm gonna die. It was nice knowing you, chat. This character was good, but then she caught measles. We tried. we tried. If I turn 16, I'll probably live. When do I turn 16? March? We can make it to March. Because measles particularly affects children. Yeah, okay, wow, it didn't die. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, okay, we actually survived the measles as a child. Measles is very deadly to children. That's why it was gonna kill. You missed the troll? Seems you weren't strong enough? I guess so. Remember, we did it though, we're good. Oh! Yo! Crusader Kings? I missed the troll. Yeah, I mean, you know. It's an interesting conversation, but it's a boring conversation, though, because... I, I think that, uh... Like, it is important to not... Like, if someone says something to you, it's important not just to shut them up, right? But to me, it's like, these aren't really substantive arguments that are worth engaging with a lot of the times. Where it's like, oh yeah, immigrants are bad. It's like, well, all the data disagrees and all of the, like, you can talk about, like, the theoretical, the theoretical idea of, like, the society being weakened by the, by the, uh, you know, the, redu the reduction in the, in the purity of the bloodline or some shit, you know, like some, you can get real crazy or whatever, but just the data itself shows that, yeah, the immigrants are good for the country. There are some times when they're not, and in those cases, I'd be like, yeah, sure, let's, let's change the policy, whatever. But, I mean, you know, it's not like... That doesn't mean like oh bro just get rid of all of them it's like no no they're still good they just doesn't mean all of them are good doesn't mean every doesn't mean sh i don't believe in like a totally perfect border or a totally perfectly open border or anything like that I believe in some vetting but yeah immigrants can be a very good thing let's get this guy because he's got good trait is he a lowborn no that's good like a reddit troll yeah gives me that vibe like there's lived like there, there's something to be said for like the lived experience of an individual that's like you know living in the country that's being discussed right like my life has been improved by the presence of the immigrants that provide services like doctors and all this kind of stuff that quite frankly just don't exist uh, if there weren't those immigrants there. I can find data points on immigrants being good. I can show them data on average income compare the senior immigrants born. People are dead last. Yeah, I mean, you know, and he still would say that you're just that you're just wrong. Uh, you know, 
it's a it's fake data that's the first thing that gets said then it's that the data is misrepresented then it's that uh, it doesn't matter because there's long there's different there's different consequences that the data isn't showing then you just keep going over and over again you know yeah the global society makes it less likely that immigrants will assimilate to their new country so they easily maintain strong connection to their mother country well um so it depends on what what it depends on what assimilation exactly means because there's kind of like between america and canada there's kind of like two different types of assimilation right there's sort of the melting pot also he actually got blinded by his uh, measles nice there's like the melting pot of america where every immigrant is meant to become like an american and that's what they become then there's more the canadian style where every canadian is meant to become a hyphen canadian what i mean by that is like you have indian canadians you have asian canadians you have whatever you know laotian can i knew a couple laotians in high school so laotian canadians and they're meant to keep a, a, a sort of a shard or maybe more maybe more than a, shard, a chunk let's say not necessarily a shard but a piece you know, whatever size it is a piece of their old culture with them and if you're if when you say assimilation is the goal to like melting pot it so that everyone is the same that is very difficult in a globalized society but is it just to have it so that particular pieces of that person become canadianized that happens in canada all the time i know lots of immigrant people even first generation immigrants let alone, um, also another thing from Detroit, even uh, let, let alone like uh, second or third generation immigrants who very much go through this, where like they end up very much so um, adapting to their new lives in Canada very, very strongly, like in the sense that they, they become um, basically Canadian, but then they keep like, oh, but I like to cook, uh, I like to cook, uh, you know, butter chicken for my family because I'm Indian. And it's like, yeah, it's pretty hard to eradicate like butter chicken from a globalized society. You know what I'm saying? But the values that stay, it's, it, I think that people end up assimilating to their society, mostly through uh, schools is how you do it, right? So this is why first generation immigrants tend to be so, or not so, but tend to not integrate as much as second and third. Put a kid in public school, okay? Amongst like, you know, students who all are mutually engaging in a, in a, an education that is in English or in French in Canada, um, or is, uh, you know, teaching Canadian values, they're all going to become Canadianized because public school is a powerful force. It's a very powerful force. Never forget where you came from. My parents taught us our mother language, cuisines, history, English values, being able to switch accents pretty well. Yeah. And to me, that's, there's nothing about that that is incongruous with like assimilation, right? Unless you mean the more American melting pot style of assimilation, where it's like, oh yeah, okay, you've got to be like completely, uh, you've got to be completely Americanized, right? This is not even a, this is a thing more from like older America than even like today's America, but American assimilation tends to be much more strongly in the sense of like losing your old culture to embrace the new one. Canadianism, Canadian in integration is more like adding to your previous identity with the new Canadian pieces, but keeping a pretty large portion of your old identity. And that, you know, to me, those are still very much, like there's nothing uh, incompatible about that. I, I wouldn't say that there's anything uh, going on there that makes it not work. So that's why I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty chill. Like, I think that yes, uh, globalization makes it harder to do that more American style, but that's okay. You, you don't need that. That's a very outdated form of assimilation, I would say. Bro is a Mayflower Americanist. Ain't no way. Wait, so what's the- what are the Mayflower- I wanna read this. What are they all about? I don't wanna read it, I'm too lazy. Okay, so I can shoot guns, vote, eat barbecue, use a tandoori oven, walk station, drink chai, and cook Thai food. This is all acceptable. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing about Canadianness that requires you to give up on eating butter chicken or give up on using walks. Like, these are all things which- you can you're still very much a canadian if you as long as you like i think that a large part of what defines being a canadian is like li is mostly just kind of living in canada you know what i mean like it, it's it's canada has certain values of like tolerance and acceptance of others and you know these these values are what makes canadians not necessarily like the food you eat or something you know i don't really i think that those aren't really that important to canadian identity at least not anymore there may have been a time when it was more important because I don't really know what, like, Canadian cuisine even is, but I guess maple syrup. But even then, the immigrant groups here love maple syrup, man. Like, it's not even like there's a failure to integrate maple syrup into the diets of the new immigrants. Motherfucker, everyone needs... Well, I don't like maple syrup, but that's me. I'm a weirdo. But everyone loves fucking maple syrup, man, in Canada. Whether you're Indian or, or, or Asian or what, dude. 
Also, I know British people say use the word Asian to mean Indians. I mean East Asians. Moroccan says, yeah, I love all good food too. I agree. Totally agree. Good food is great. What is Allegheny? What is this even? What was this Pennsylvania? Yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, this is Pennsylvania. I was like, what the hell is this place? Yo, consumerism is spreading, boys. Ain't no way. Thai food is delicious, yeah. The main point overall of that whole rant is that uh, identity, like assimilation, is not necessarily an all or nothing situation, right? You can become a Canadian by assimilating in a, in the sense of like, okay, I I have Canadian values now, but I still very much engage in my culture, right? There's no reason why you can't have both. To me, they're not at all mutually exclusive. I'm gonna grab the uh, Golden Sovereign level five education. Good. But I do enjoy these two of educations. That's expensive, but I'll do it. Should probably keep converting people, shouldn't I? Do that. But yeah, I'll probably, I don't know, we'll, we'll I'll stop talking about it too much now at this point, because I kind of talked about that for like a long time. So what the fuck is Fog Song? Sea Sprayer Faith. Dude, what all these religions? The Cycle de Mer Vivant. The Cycle of the Living Sea. That, what that That's what that means, I believe. Living water. Mm. <laughs> without without immigration, we don't have donair kebab, and that's what I don't want to live in. Honestly, true. The Caliphatist Reformation. Okay, that's so far away that I really don't care. <laughs> There, there, there may actually be too many faiths and too many cultures, but it's a weird thing where um, it's only the case that it's too many because, like, they don't seem, not all of them seem to have a lot of flavor. But I'll tell you this um, make a patch that's, like, all about, like, do, like, each empire region or something. Uh, well, I'm gonna say each empire, maybe, like, each geographical region. Give me, like, a patch that, that just, like, gives a shit ton of content for the whole East Coast, and then give all the religions that are in this area more content, and then it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, um, that'd be fine. Because right now, obviously, it's very overwhelming. But I think over time, if they keep patching in, like, new um, stuff to make it so that these, like, uh, different religions actually have flavor, then it'd be fine. Also, New Jersey just broke free, and I think that's... I think that would be a good opportunity to conquer Jersey. Oh, I don't have a CV because I'm actually bordering. Okay, well, I guess we can attack Gotham, then. We can take down Gotham. Might as well start doing this. Let's take whole land. Because they have a lot of coal here, would be the idea that it works out. As a person who enjoys hybrid cultures in CK3, I love when people come to my country and then give their new stuff to me. Like, yes, give me your food, give me your techniques. I want to eat better food. I love good food. Also, I've been streaming for what, like, how long have I been streaming? Almost oh, five and a half hours? Damn. What is happening with this? Stop glitching. Oh, I see there's like a little graphical error happening in that little building. Philly. Dang old Philly. These constitutionalists ain't got shit.
You know, there's a there's a good video I watched. Do you guys anyone here know Noah Caldwell Gervais? That 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 guy that makes videos, that extremely long videos about um about video games. Anyone, anyone know that stuff? That channel, because he also does like travel logs, and I watched uh, his travel log where he did like the Lincoln Highway from like starting in California and going all the way to uh, New York, and like dude, that. Uh, I learned so much about like American history from that video. It's crazy, and I sometimes I forget like, although it's a good meme to be like, "Yo, Americans have no history." They actually kind of do, though. I ain't gonna lie. They do actually kind of have a history, just that it's not as long, but it's still very interesting to look at. It's well documented, at least I can tell you that. Oh, I should have been doing whale hunts. Oh. I wasn't whale hunting at all. I thought I saw a spider. We're good. Longer than yours, Canada boy. That's true. It is. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that, my point is that I'm I'm putting an olive branch out to you people. Okay. I'm saying that uh, although it's a good meme that America has no history, it actually does have history. That's that's what I'm saying. Canada does too, by the way. Canada also has history. But the point is that, like, you know, I I, I was. I enjoyed listening to a, a guy talk about like Americana, you know, about like the about American history and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot that y'all actually do kind of have a history. And if pick the sunset, you still Gula? I still, I am, yes. Gullah. Sorry, Gullah. I am still a Gullah. And we've even been Washington Gullah. Because, you know, why not, right? Evangelical Gullah. We run for election? Yeah, so, okay. So, let me explain to you guys what, what ended up going down, okay? So, I was I was getting interested in mayoral politics. Okay, like, a couple years ago, okay? And I was, I told, I made a bet with my friends, okay? I made a bet with my, with my boys. I said, I'm going to either be the mayor, or I'm going to be on the mayoral council sometime in the, uh, in the next five years, because there's another election, uh, there was an election coming up. And I considered running, and then it was like, like I, I looked into like how to and stuff, and then I uncovered, okay, and I talked about this briefly one time on stream, I, I don't talk about it too much because like, you know, it's super local, local politics stuff, but we actually have like way too much uh, corruption in Surrey for me to get elected. I'm so sorry, Suri, but I was looking into who the councillors are. Every councillor, one of them, well, this is the previous administration, so I don't know if they've been changed up in the most recent election, but the, when I was looking into it, one of the councillors was the owner of a very popular local, like, meat meat selling chain. It was like, a, like a, not a butcher, but it, it's called Fraser View Meats. They just sell meat. The owner of a business, basically, was a councillor. The other one was a homeopathic doctor, so basically not a. What that means is not a doctor, okay? Homeopathic medicine doctor, and then the other. Then there was one person who seemed like they actually belonged on the council, and they were like a former RCMP officer or something like that. But even then, like who the fuck knows? And then there was like a land surveyor who worked for the federal government or something like that. And the mayor was this dude who everyone already knew was corrupt, who, who got unelected the next year. But then like. I looked at it. I was like, "Dude, okay, you have to be rich. To, you have to be rich to run for mayor. Just how it is. Like that's what. Because I saw the other people that were running. Because when I looked at the debates, there were other people who were running who weren't necessarily like rich people. And I was like, okay, like yeah, these people are all just like rich people that that can run. Like, <laughs> hate to see it. You know, it just I I I considered it, but I was, this is like a waste of my time. I'm I'm not rich enough. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Ain't no way." So I didn't bother. But yeah, I, I I did look into the process and everything. And then I saw that another channel, a guy, a, a channel uh, also from Canada named Greg, but I, but he has like a, with a J in the name. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a, I'll put it, I'll pull it up real quick, but it's like Ref Gugu or something like that. I think it just has an F in it. Yeah, G-R-E-F-G. -G -E Is that what I'm thinking? No, it's not this. No, 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 not this. No, no. Dre no, it's Dreg with a J. I remember now. Right here, I'll show you. This channel, okay, hold on, I'll put it, I'll pull it up on screen here. Oh God, come on. Or else you even got them to like you enough to groom you for office? I mean, yeah, that could be, or in theory, that could work. Dude, this channel, this guy did what I was thinking of doing. Okay, hold on, Ottawa, uh, he ran for mayor in Ottawa as a meme. 
And it's hilarious, because he did it as a meme, but, you know. I watched it, because I was like, yo, hold up. Let's just watch this briefly. This is really funny. Good evening, we begin with one of the final debates featuring the two front runners vying to be Ottawa's next mayor. The face-off, mostly respectful, but there were some surprises. <laughs> so these guys are all plants that he put right, in. You read the title. Let's just talk yeah. about it, huh? Yesterday, I organized my team to deliver three blows against the so-called front of the, the debate? Ottawa mayoral debate. Now, despite 80 to 90 percent of the people I talked to saying they're going to vote for me, I was not invited, mm. presumably because they were afraid of my big girthy wall. We started off by organizing my top cult members in a park near the event. We're doing a three punch plan. Uh, first punch is 30 minutes in. I get up. I yell, 30 minutes and no talk of the wall? And I By the way, okay. So basically what happened to the video, just to summarize, I don't want to sit here and just watch the guy's video. He, he, or he got a bunch of his friends to go in during the debate and like, you know, like say a bunch of stuff to try and get himself more like, to try to say stuff to get him like more popularity and all that. But his experience, if, if you actually watch like the, you know, the, um, the video where he talks more about, I think maybe it's this one, but he talks more about like the actual process of trying to become mayor. And it's, it's all just like total... Total like like bullshit. Like it's all just like crazy stuff you have to do. Here it's I don't know which one it would be though. I don't know which one it would which video it would be. I watched it, so it should be one that I watched, but the point is that um it, this guy had the same experience that I did when he when he uh went to go for Ottawa's mayorship where it was like he un just uncovered like corruption is basically what ended up happening. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. I guess I probably shouldn't bother running. <laughs> also, I like how we're just there's like a chat about like, uh, like like debt and credit happening that I'm just not paying attention to because I just like I don't want to confront it because I also have student loans, and I'm like, you know what? I ain't trying to look at that shit right now. So I need to have, yeah, a son. Okay, great. We have a son now. So now I can, once this kid plays, once he plays this kid, we can actually get elected to the throne. Greg is based. You should watch his podcast. He says if you haven't seen it, he's sincerity pilled and hope maxed. I, I've only seen Dreg in the form of that, that video of like him doing the, the debates and all that. I have not actually watched his other content, but I bet it would be good. He seems like a good content creator. Sunshine or Gullah? What's that? Where's that? Oh shit, look at that. There it is. New culture just dropped. They kept the heritage. They took the deep southern language. Barbecues, whaling, life is a joke, chivalry, seafarers, xenophilic wetlanders. Okay, cool. Based. Let's go do some whale hunting. Look what that is important. What the- oh man, look at this. What's this event, eh? Best friends, why not? Nice. A good whale hunt. I should probably host a barbecue so we can lose some stress here. I, I do enjoy hosting me some barbecues. So I get very American when the idea of barbecues comes up. It just, it just is what it is. How's our tech doing, by the way? How, long, how many years? I've played 115 years. That's actually not bad. We've actually been playing quite a bit. I'm uh, I'm glad to be given this mod a chance. I, I can be pretty un uncharitable to mods sometimes, despite being a mod maker myself. So I'm uh, I'm glad to be given it a chance. We're going for windmills right now, so we can get those those the, the uh, windmills and watermills and all that. But definitely getting uh, unions as well would be good. Oh, I want to try to get a legend. We, we could actually go for, like a, like, a good legend. Like, a legitimizing one to get a claim or something. That'd be nice. Oh, shit. Because right now, I'm pretty sure I could just beat... I mean, he's got quite a few troops, so I'm pretty sure we could just beat him. He's one of the things an expert now. True. Play the original AT or ATE FF in CK2? No, I didn't. I knew that they existed, but I didn't play them. They just... I, I wasn't as interested in uh, mods at all. Like, back then, I wasn't interested in mods at all, and now I'm only a little bit interested in them, but... Yeah, I didn't play the originals. I played the original uh, Elder Kings mod though. That one, because I like Elder Scrolls. Did play that. That was all. If 
We could try to get Florida back, um, but I'm honestly okay with my family ruling in Florida. They can go do their thing. We could also just claim it, you know, with war, which is not a bad idea. Like, we could just do this. Good. What are you streaming for? I don't know, I mean, probably... I, I start streaming at 10, so I actually have energy, unlike when I was streaming later, so... I'm starting to get pretty hungry from fasting, so maybe another hour at most? Another hour and a half at most, maybe? I don't know. Didn't, didn't you finish only one mod? Well, yeah, but I'm still... I'm still... I'm not done making mods. I, I've, I've completed one mod, and I'm making more patches, but... I'm not done making mods yet. When's the next 40-hour stream? I don't know. That's probably not gonna come for a long time. 40 hours is a long time to stream, little bro. Is my liege not evangelical? He is, okay, good. He better be. How's uh, consumerism doing? Yo. Yo. The corporate vanguard. I love that. Chief executive man. Chief executive merger. Wait, is his name merger? Is that the is that a like a holy name? That's so funny. This guy. I want to become a, uh... Have you linked to your mod Twitch? Yeah, exclamation point mod. Yeah, there you go. That's... There it is. <laughs> yes. I, I want to... I, I want to... Now I... I almost now want to, like, implement something like this in the base game as a good meme, but nah. He's a Rockefeller. Yeah, literally. Fundamentalist. I love that. Um... Do I have an interest in alternate history? Like... Sometimes. Depends on how extreme we're talking when it comes to alternate history. Some alternate history is, like, way too crazy for me. Yeah, that- so my mod was on the uh, front page of, um, of the Steam Workshop for a bit. Now it's off the front page, uh, which makes sense. It's been a while now, and all mods eventually die. But I'm gonna keep patching it so that I can get better at making mods, and I wanna make more mods. I wanna make some really good ones. This patch I'm gonna make, the 1.1 patch, is probably going to be, like, the last patch for a little while. Because then I want to make another mod. I want to make new ones. I don't want to just keep patching the same one. I don't know uh, when it'll be done. Probably within a week, though. I don't imagine it's like more than a week. With how I've been working. So, good. But I'm very excited to get it done. I really want to keep making more stuff. I'll do another Legend mod. I'll keep making more Legends. I think Legends will do very well. I'll become known as the guy that makes Legends. Just some of the steps. Over I think steps would be really good. I kind of want to do a government type in the steps. Because I've always been asking for it. I should make it, right? That's what I was thinking to do for next. Uh, that's my current number one choice. Is a new government type for the steps. And then some legends along with it, because fuck it. But, you know. That way we could actually get some interesting step content, you know? Alligator child seed. Hey, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> Raised by an alligator. I ain't raised by no gator. Ever man born in Louisiana... Be raided by a gator. I'm so sorry to subject you to this. Ain't nobody wasn't raised by a gator if they're from New Orleans. Hell, I used to make gumbo out of alligator. My favorite meal. <laughs> sorry, chat. Sorry, forgive me. Always been a fan of Gumbo. <laughs> Actually, not bad. I'm glad you like it. It's my Louisiana accent. You like it? That was incredible. We're so from the southern US. <laughs> Do for the remainder of the stream? <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose I could keep it up for a little while, but I wouldn't want to be. Hmm. How would I say it? I'm kind of disrespectful towards my my Bayou brothers. What that? <laughs> I love doing that accent. It's hilarious. But um, I don't know if I can keep it up though. It's gonna it's gonna degrade the more I do it. <laughs> I do I do these graphical errors. You hate to see it. Hopefully they'll fix that. Just riz up to people would be chaos. True. I sure wouldn't want to attract too many hussies in this area. Towards me. I mean, I'm a taken man. 
character from Knives Out? I haven't even seen Knives Out, couldn't tell you. I don't know. I should see Knives Out, though. It's apparently a super good movie. I'm just a weirdo. Okay, is it time to take New York? Yeah, let's take New York. We're taking New York, boys. Oh, no, I'm gonna get destroyed. Okay, rip. <laughs> rip, rip that arm. No, my defeat tarnished my rule. Gula, gula, gula culture in New York City? You know it. Absolutely. 100%. We're gonna, we did, we made Washington Gullah, we're gonna make New York Gullah. It's going, it's going well, I, I'm having fun. Daniel Craig? I sounded like Daniel Craig? Isn't he British? Isn't he British? Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Money, please. Oh, I'm out of money. No, I need money. Okay, I'm actually gonna just back off of New York for a second. And we're gonna disband and then re-raise. It was a Kentucky accent. Oh, I see. I was trying to sound like I was from the bayou. Think of, like, Gumbo Joe living in New Orleans. You know what I mean? He's got Boku Bucks. Sorry, I just, I'm just throwing everything I know about New Orleans now. Take the money. Absolutely. Now that I got money, we'll go back on the offensive. I don't actually- is there such a person named Gumbo Joe? It, it just feels like that would be- I just feel like there must exist someone called Gumbo Joe somewhere out in the bayou. But I don't know where it would be. It must exist, though. You know what I mean? Now there is. <laughs> yeah, there is now. Milton Patriotas. Add him as a legend, yeah. Uh, make a legend, a legend uh, mod for this mod, and add Gumbo Joe. I'll be your Gumbo Joe. Thank you, thank you, sir. I'll be your Gumbo Joe. We're not even gonna occupy York, New York, because or, or Manhattan, I should say, because it'll take way too long. Compared to if I were to just, um, um, compared to if I were to just occupy stuff around it. You gotta throw in random French words like share. Oh yeah, true, but I gotta say them like, I gotta say them like not French at all though. You know, be like, like, okay. How do I, gotta, gotta, gotta get into character here. Well, hello there, little missy, my dear Cher. I've been, I've been thinking a little bit about I got all these Boku bucks that I gotta spend, and you're looking mighty fine, little mister. Wouldn't it be nice if, well, mayhaps, you know, Putetra, I don't know if they say that in Louisiana French, uh, Putetra, that we spend a, a night or two together, if it be so inclined. Keep in mind that if you say no, I'll just force myself on you. Sorry, I'm just getting getting a little too Southern. I'm joking, I don't mean that. That's actually, that's pretty insulting for Southern people. I don't mean that. I'm sorry. That was that was bad. All right, all the Gumbo jo Gumbo Joe fans out there. Which point Gumbo Joe? No, 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 no. The stream got steamy. It's starting to fade. It is. I'm sorry. I can't keep it up. Okay, I can't keep it up. For also, screw that. We're just gonna focus on making Manhattan Gullah. I can't. I can't keep up the accent. This happens to all my accents. Is they slowly fade. Because I can only keep it up for so long, and then like I I lose the focus for it. Can't see you on Twitter. Oh no. This is a travesty. <laughs> it's all fine and dandy, so Gumbo Joe becomes Combo Joe. True. Huge beast child. That's just... 
That's just bullying. That's all I'm gonna say. That's just bullying. You can't call me a huge beast child. So if I were to become the emperor right now, obviously we can't. Oh, well, actually, do I still have a claim? Oh, I don't have a claim, but I could get one pretty easily by describing meritocracy. Um, if I could become the emperor, I wonder if I could form America, if I have enough land right now. I will not stop promoting my current legend. Sorry. Have you seen the cow with 1920s gangster accent? That sounds hilarious, but no, I haven't seen it. I have not seen it, but it sounds pretty sick. We got prisoners, hold on, that's right. That is true, tea time. I don't worry, but yeah, I don't take that as political. Ohio, you know. Very cursed state. I do wish I knew more about, like, American culture, though. I'll tell you this, like, most of my understanding of, like, of, like, American people and culture is, unfortunately, I, I wish it wasn't like this, but is unfortunately based on, like, memes and stereotypes. It would be nice to actually know more about, like, the way people live in America. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, about different, different areas. Because, like, sure, I can make fun of, like, Gumbo Joe and shit, but, like, I, I don't think anyone... Well, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think anyone actually talks like that in in New Orleans, do they? Like, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. There, wait, there's two very interesting legends here. Yeah, there's two very interesting legends here, okay? We've got, we've got Huge Beast Child over here on the East Coast. And we've got Huge Beast Slayer over here. Did this guy kill my mom? Did this Mormon Utah motherfucker kill my my parents? <laughs> Send all non gullah degenerates in your arms straight to Skibbity, Ohio. True. True, dude. It's on. Yeah, let's go, dude. And they're also Mormon, so it's like perfect. Like, I'm a Christian and they're a Mormon. Get him, Gumbo Joe. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Also, I'll take a look at the video of the Tarek set. I, it feels so weird having someone in chat that has the same first name as me. Also, yeah, I doxed myself, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright. That was yeah. worth it. You can find a McDonald's anywhere in the main US within about 10 miles at any time. Damn. That's pretty cool. I don't really like McDonald's much. I hate to say it. I don't know if Americans will hate me for this one, but I don't actually like McDonald's very much. <laughs> they have they have good uh, hash browns. That's that's about all I can say. All right, let's go. I guess we're traveling to Mexico. The Genu? I don't know. What is this? Okay, I was gonna say this better be a fucking custom culture. It is. Yeah. Okay. Oaxaca Queens. Oh, that's cool. Damn. As a fellow American, I don't feel like an average American you see memes about. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure that there are Americans who aren't just like memes, but it's... This probably happens to many cultures around the world, where it's like, you know all you know about them is like memes and they actually have a much more diverse like set of characteristics are you playing Ted Cruz? no the power didn't go out so I just got him we still have power so no need to go to Mexico what's the bad one want you move it so bad are you probably talking about Ohio or something I'm so American I don't shoot guns learn foreign languages cook my own food go to the gym and have left the nation damn Sigma also, these are probably a lot more accurate. The rest of a lot of countries. Well, probably because there's like, oh, what's this legendary journey? Foreign soil. I shall just take that. That may actually be somewhat true, if only because there's so much more American culture out there that it's easier to get an idea of what American culture is like, because there's met more examples of it out there. But I don't know. I'm kind of just thinking that maybe that's true. I won. Parto Esquen.
I know Southerners don't like us West Coast, eh? Or East Coasters, or aka Yankees. Yeah, true. That's true, yeah. Also, the people that are actually in this chat probably aren't stereotypical Americans because they play Paradox games, so... No offense to you? Oh, yeah. No, that's no offense taken. I don't want normies. Okay, no normies allowed. Like, one thing I'll tell you about Canada is that there's actually a lot more to, like, what Canada is like than the memes. And in fact, when it comes to Canada memes, like, a lot of them actually aren't really that true. Uh, you know, I, I'm not, um, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, like, a contrarian, but, like, in Canada, like, lots of people play hockey and lots of people, like, love maple syrup and stuff, but, like, there's a lot more going on and Canada, Canadians can actually be very rude. You know, we have, you know, we have lots of rude city slickers around Canada. Lots of, lots of, lots of, um, although I'm biased by being a, I'm, I'm biased by being a West Coaster, but West Coast can be diff very different from the rest of Canada, so maybe I'm just wrong, and actually it is all true. Yo, the cat, the corporate just Vanguard just keeps going. Chief executive merger with his baseball helmet. <laughs> oh my god. And he's got the, he's got the, ba he's got the, the, not baseball, what the fuck am I saying, he's got the football helmet. We gotta get Manhattan to be con not constitutionalist. I'm um, hiccuping again. God damn it. That is true. Urban centers do be causing hatred for your fellow man. Big true. Next perk, I'm gonna grab meritocracy. Actually, well, architect is good. Oh, I'll grab meritocracy, and then I'm gonna go for taking over the empire and see if I can make America great again. Got him. Go down there, Gumbo. Gumbo Joe came up for a second. Norm chat. Did do, do, do Louisianians do they say cowpoke? Make America Gullah for the first time. Let's go. I don't think. I don't think that. Louisianiites would say would say cowpoke. They're making America. There is yeah. There's just making America. If you become an empire, you can. So we'll form America soon. Before we end my regency. Oh no, damn Sag. You mean they don't say cowpoke in in Louisiana? That's a damn shame. There's no cowboys in Louisiana. I beg to differ. When I was in Louisiana, I raised all my boys to be good cowboys because, well, I just think it's a good thing to be in this modern world. Fuck, guy, dude. Boris, Caitlin, Dorida, Chief Executive Merger Rockefeller. Gator boys. Well, we don't ride cows around here. We prefer to corral our gators into the bayou so we can extract their leather and make Gucci bags, which we sell to the stupid and ignorant East Coasters. Yeah? <laughs> I, had to, I had to stop. I was, I, was, I was struggling to hold back laughter to myself. I tell you, these, these East Coasters will pay Boku bucks for one of our gator bags. Little do they know that gators is as common as trees in the East Coast. Well, I should say gators in Louisiana is as common as trees in the East Coast. I to hold back the laughter as well as the racism is demonetization. True. True. Thank the French for kicking out the cage to America. Oh yeah. Thank thank God the French created Gumbo Joe. That's all I gotta say. Thank God that Gumbo Joe came about thanks to the 
you know, thanks to that. I'm gonna stop being steward now, so I can go and be, um, I can go and be, what? What happened to my council rides? Bumbo Joe's got council ride done. Go and be the spy master. Sorry, type is true, absolutely true. Where would it be without Gumbo Joe? I know I wouldn't be around. Why is my rival so willing to help out? I, I don't know. What the fuck? I was like, yeah, I'll help you claim the throne. Fuck it. Cool. I missed Gumbo Joe already. Yeah, he'll be missed. He was a beautiful soul. Little Gumbo Joe. Hey, Alaska's here. Kind of cool. I put a glass tea now. Let's go. Tea time. Bro's name is Tea Time, so I guess it is Tea Time. What's going on? I'm gonna look around the map and we'll just see what's going on. You know, what's what do we got? I mean, I don't really know how the map is usually... This is my first playthrough, right? So I don't really know how the map is, like, supposed to look in theory. So it's hard for me to judge, like, if this is, like, a weird world or not. But I don't know. Got a pretty big Utah. Got a pretty big Willamette. I don't know what this is, though. What is Willamette? It's Oregon, I guess. Um... Good architect, nice. For Amish. Yeah, well, where are the Amish around? Where, where would they, where would they even be? They're not fire cross. That's peyote. That's peyote stuff. I don't know. Gator Slayer Gumbo Joe is open though. You gotta, you someone's gotta get that name. Someone's gotta get Gator Slayer Gumbo Joe. Way too good of a name not to take. Northeast. The word Old Order, is that Amish? Yeah, they okay, these are the Amish. Yeah, okay, cool. Give me my claim. Yeah, let's go. It's not is it realistic? Not at all. Is it fun? Yes. I mean yeah, that's what matters to be honest with you. Right, let's claim this. Uh, let's claim this place. Me, the Holy Columbian Commonwealth. We have pretty good power on our own. I think we can probably handle it. Yeah. The capital is right there too, so we can just like bomb rush the capital pretty easily. Um, we just have fourteen thousand troops, but those are not really good units, so I'm not too worried. We have like very strong units. Let's okay, upgrade all these guys. Can I put them somewhere that would make them stronger? Like, where would, they, would they be better in New York? No, not really. Okay. Cool. So Old Order is the Amish and stuff. Okay. We're just evangelicals. Battleborn sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. So what I kind of want to do for the memes, okay, this would be really funny. Let's make America great again. And then I should do a great adventure to California. <laughs> I can reach them. Dude, you know how funny it would be if I make, if I do the America button and then just leave to go to California? Because <laughs> they got a big country there, so we could just go into like SoCal or something and just take like San Francisco. Or sorry, Los Angeles, fuck. I don't know my American geography. This fucks with the thing pretty bad, eh? Or we could go to Andreas, I don't know, or the Valley. The Valley might be a good option, but point is that we can. We probably should go to like this. Probably this is better. We just go to Andreas, and we just we just leave, <laughs> go somewhere else. Does Legends be like that though? Okay, so of this war, I think I am willing to just go for it. Um, yes, bit of, we're gonna wait till I have more money, I think, before we go for it. Okay, if we kill him though, hold on. What if we just mer merc him before we go? 
Because then we could have an even easier time, probably. Oh, you're so expensive, though. Do you guys have Newfoundland? Newfoundland's doing fine. They got their own kingdom, man. I really know Geraldine of Newfoundland. Sorry, I sounded like an Irish traveler, not like a Newfoundlander. I don't know how to sound like a Newfoundlander. They they sound crazy. They're not human. Sorry. Sorry, Newfies. Oh, sorry, Newfies, eh? If you form America, go to Baja California and make Mexico. Hmm. Hmm. What if we just completely pivot and just go to, like, South America? Go, go to, uh, I don't know. We could just go to, like, Panama. Is there, like, a Panama Canal-type building? It's the Panama Walls. Okay. Okay, no province better than American states? Giga Chad based To be fair, there's a lot fewer Canadian provinces than our American states. It's easier to know all of them. BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia. Did I say New Brunswick already? I forgot. Um, did I miss any? Is this Saskatchewan? I don't know if it's Saskatchewan, but... Something like that. Yo, it's Gator Slayer Gumbo Joe! <laughs> Everyone say hi to Gator Slayer Gumbo Joe. Wobby, it's my cousin, Gator Slayer Gumbo Joe. One thing I always respected about my friend the Gator Slayer is that he always chose to use every part of the animal whenever he was working. I always found that to be very respectable. I think I lost it there. Sorry. I tried. This is just a Thanos snapped out of existence. Based. Mm, give me money. Thank you. Mm, give me shots lost. Thank you. So the account name I have now? Great, enjoy it. It's yours. Yours to enjoy forever. Till the end of time. Gumbo Joe, my favorite gator. Alright, let's um can I become the spy master real quick so we can kill this guy? Can I just inherit I mean maybe I can just inherit the uh the land. Let's see. Maybe I can inherit it. Yeah, it looks maybe we can pull off it just an inherit instead of fighting for it. That'd be really nice. You should have put the capital in New Orleans. No, I, New Orleans is... I mean, we, we could go and grab it real quick, but... I don't know. It, it's it's not really part of the... It, they, in this game, America is like the East Coast or whatever. I don't know if we'll get like some ability to reconquer old America, which would be crazy. That's a lot of land to take, but... We'll have to find out. This guy is much weaker than the previous guy, so I think... Um, they're probably not like to be some a woman, right? That's probably like the big... The big reservation they have, eh? Man, I'm in second place. It's not bad. This guy is only two away. How about I send you some money? If we can get this guy to change his tune. We'd be good. Or to be fair, if I can just get more, if I can just become more famous, they also might vote for me. Let's, let's do a let's do a feast or something. Actually, nah. Yeah, that might be something they might integrate later in the game or something, because uh, I imagine this is pretty devoid of most of that kind of flavor. But, you know, who knows what could be out there. Let's do a whale hunt real quick. Damn, the whale set off. You hate to see it. We failed. Guess we're not going to be putting any, any whale fat in our gumbo today. What a tragedy. <laughs> oh god. Yo, Ryan. <laughs> What's up, my dude? <laughs> you put the copy pasta. Hell yeah. This is for Augusta. I mean, the power of the guilds is good, so... Like that. Sounds good.
Good old Gumbo Joe. Can't go wrong with Gumbo Joe. Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm, I just keep doing it. I can't stop. I think. I mean, can we just take him right now? I mean, to be honest with you, probably can. Yeah, let's just do it. Press it. Oh, did he get, no, he didn't give it to me. That person did. Where is his capital now? Say where? Where in the world is his capital? Oh, okay, it's like right there in Lancaster. I think we got this. <laughs> Let's go. If strong men like me rule your country, then it would be fixed very fast. Based. What about if a strong woman ruled the country? What about that? <laughs> kind of based. Very based. Down with the gators. <laughs> I'm glad that Gumbo Joe is now a permanent fixture on the stream. He really, he really deserves a place here. Oh, we captured him easy, clap, dude. Okay. My commonwealth now, little bro. Can I form America? I need to probably get Living Legend, but I have enough land too. We found the Empire State. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, they actually have... Okay, I'm impressed. Chat. I'm very impressed. There's actually a pretty good number of buttons to click. This is good. This mod is, is earning my respect very quickly with how much stuff it's got. That's very good to see. So Hudsonia, is that... That's a kingdom here. Okay, so we can try to... Conquer all this. Stop Gator Immigration. Oh no. The Belgian guy talked to him. The Empire State is in New York? Yeah, I know. I know. That I did know. What is the Twin Crowns? What does that refer to? Go attach a language model. If someone get dies in here, would make a language model for Gumbo Joe. Oh, that would be beautiful. Okay, let's take New Haven. We'll leave Long Island for later. I'll nominate my heir. Did we convert Manhattan to... Yeah, we're getting there. Almost there. Need to hook it up. Let's go. Google Towers that went down. I wish we could recreate the Twin Towers. That'd be great. This do be a whole ass Gullah America. Pretty awesome. Alright. Oh, I think I'll split in half and we'll send the siege equipment to keep sieging. Should still be good. That's fine. At this point, we, we just need to get to Living Legend and we can, um, like we're, we're basically already there for how much land we need. We just need to get Living Legend and then we can form America. Yeah, we just need, we just need to get Living Legend or Legendary Fate, whatever, and then we're good to go. Because that should be enough land right there. I guess to give away Lexington here. Build the university, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, we can form America at this point. Do you know who the Gullah are? They're, they're like a very, um, 
they're like a what do you call it like a very sort of insular i guess you could say like group of black people that have a, at least in modern day what i know them for is they have a very like particular sort of dialect of english that's really really like hard it's like it's basically its own language that's what i know about them beyond that i don't know much about them though i know about them from linguistics that's why i picked them i was like yo gullah i want to play as those guys sounds fun i remember reading about them in my linguistics books Yeah, it's hard to get to Living Legend, but it's not that tough, because you just do Grand Weddings is how you get it. So, any of my daughter here is 16, we're gonna get a Grand Wedding, and we should get a lot of... a lot of, um... prestige this way. Let's get her married to this Cheesehead. It sounds like an insult, but it's the name of their culture, okay? Cheesehead sounds insulting. I don't... it just does, but nonetheless, it just works. Oh, no, no, cheese head does sound insulting to me, okay? I'm sorry. But I'll keep saying it, because it's the name of the culture. Like, oh yeah, buddy, a cheese head, eh? Sounds like a very Canadian uh, insult, you know? Like, imagine I'm, I'm I'm going down to the SkyTrain station. That sounds too Irish. I gotta stop. Go down to the SkyTrain station, and there's this guy, he's blocking the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The, um, the compass ticket uh, uh, d dispenser thing, you know? And I'm trying to get a ticket so I can go on the SkyTrain. I keep going Irish. Stop it. Stop it on the sky train and uh this guy's just blocking the way you know so of course uh i've got i've got no choice but uh but to, you know kick his ass a little bit you know he's a hoser so gotta do what you gotta do you know we play a little field hockey you know but with his with his with his ass you know yeah you know term for dutch people that just sounds insulting it just sounds insulting i'm sorry Butter nutter. Can't, dude. It is. Okay, damn. Okay, rip. Oh, it is insulting them. Fucking cheese hat, eh? Always getting in my way. You know? You guys like my crown? Go, pregnant. Poggers. This guy's actually such a good character, holy shit. Can't wait till he's an adult. I'm gonna kill it. You gotta conquer the Yinzers. Oh yeah, eh? Again, it just sounds kind of vaguely like vaguely like a derogatory term. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I think I'll grab like are we just like large levies? Because that's just good to have for stopping rebellions, because levies make the people not want to fight. Nice, that's good. Okay. That way I can get firm hand. Homeschooled. No, 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 no. Bro, homeschooling. Real Rotor Reformation. Poet? Did I get it? I did, nice. Poet is good. Alright, that was pretty good. That got us a lot of prestige. About a quarter of the way there now. For a legacy, um, I don't know. Get me this cheaper weddings. That'd be actually really nice because we're going to spam them. The 50% cheaper weddings actually is like super good. We'll do one for my son. Did I just like remove this law? It cost 10,000. We could actually get rid of the elections. That'd be kind of cool. How old? How many turns? Oh, yeah, November? Okay, gotta wait till November. Nice. Yo, these kids are so good.
I should hybridize with like some New Yorker culture or something that'd be kind of funny. Hudsonian. Upstater. Upstater Tomater. Anyone here ever watch, uh, you know, the Lightning McQueen movie? What was it called? Cars? Is that what it was called? Vehicles? Nice. Probably learned Deep South. Do I know Deep South already? Oi Toidish? Do I know? Yeah, I should learn Deep Southern. Cars one in fear good, two is a shame. Which one is two? Is that the one that has the green car? Or is that the one is that the first one that has the green car? Chief Executive Merger. Wait, it's still the same guy, eh? I think so. Boris, Caitlin, Juliana, Alberta, Ralph. Nice. Good names. Consumerists seem to be doing well. Corporate Vanguard is, is, is they got a big country here. The religious icon, and he's got a big army and he's using it. He do be using it, although only for very small amounts of land. Who is the spy cars? Oh, okay, fuck that, dude. That shit was pretty cringe. My, is, he should be an adult now, right? Yeah, he should be curious. Okay, let's get him married. Grand wedding. Princess of Illinois. Yo, dude, let's go. That sounds pretty good, actually. I unironically would love to marry a princess of Illinois, because then we can just go and claim it later. He is a Catholic, though, so... You know. This is a little bit sus, but it is what it is. Four grand weddings. Go. Anyone here ever watch Planes? If we learn to speak the Louisiana language next. True. Okay, well, we can get that going after. Oh, they speak Deep South. Dude, they're, they're speaking Deep South over here. They're speaking cow spoke. Or cow, cow spoke language. Those bastards. They can't do that. Boot heel claim on the Kingdom of Illinois. But they'll be fine. You know why everybody's wearing headlights? Because the track is always lit. It's kind of based. I mean, that makes that checks out. Alright, did we just. I think we just immediately end this. It's good. Cool. Let's clear grounds. To the hunting lodge. Westchester. Sure. Put it there. Put it there, folks. Okay. Pretty nice stuff. So what would be interesting, I think, would be to once we form America to demand local submission, and we just we just we can just sweep through like everything. The only empire that I can see is California. Every all of the rest of these are all kingdoms, so we can just like conquer so much shit. It's gonna be crazy. They canceled trains. Damn, Sag. Was Planet a short or a full movie? I think it was a full movie, wasn't it? My understanding. I think it was. Why is the game paused? Sorry. Right. Seven. Cool. Give me prestige. That's all I want. I do really enjoy the idea of once of getting the legendary adventure and going to California for the memes. I think that'd be really funny. Nice. What's my so my culture is communal, so what are the also we have a shit ton of artifacts I just realized before we can get rid of. Just get rid of all the non non blue ones. Works. 
Anything else? Like maybe more books? Yeah, there's more books. Sure. Herbalarium is good. Get rid of this. This. Get rid of this. Good. Good money. Red is good. No Gullah? We could bring Gullahs with us. It's all good. We can bring some of our gumbo to California. I like how I'm doing the Gumbo Joe voice, but Gullah is not Louisiana. It's like its own thing, but still. Everything in the South is just it's just gumbo to me. It always has been. Bro, what is this monster doing at my wedding? Sorry, bro, but... Damn. And she's a deviant. My best friend is dead. No! Here we go. Another wedding bites the dust. Gullah Gumbo just sounds right. It kind of does, doesn't it? It just works. I guess we can do a grand tour. I mean, these probably aren't as efficient, but um, it'd be nice to tour around the realm a little bit, get some acceptance. We'll probably just do cultural festivals for all of these. That's expensive, Jesus. That's fine, though. If we can cut off a couple of these. That works, yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's also adjust the road a bit. Let's go and visit a bunch of places. Oh, that's gonna be really annoying though to set up. Uh, I'm good, never mind. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Let's go. This is where we can get a bunch of acceptance, and that's good because we don't actually have very much acceptance with like anyone. Well, okay, Tuskegeeans and Dixies we kind of do, but. We're missing a lot of acceptance with most of the realms, so it'll be good to get that built up. Take his friendship, even though he already likes me. Yeah, we're friends now. Awesome. Remember our Pixar movie tier list? Sorry, guys, but... <laughs> Toy Story's at the top. No need for a tier list when the answer's obvious. We're about halfway to legendary figure, and I'm still pretty young, so I think we're gonna be all good. Like, see, I'm only 39. I think we're gonna be just fine. That's pretty bussin' on God, for real, for real. But even here, they're probably going to be able to hit with the icon as well, but legendary figure is real good to get. Everyone likes me so much, dude. It's crazy. 
I guess all my, yeah, all the, all the virtues, dude, being able to stack up all those virtues is so good. Actually so good. Free money. Wheeler. Like Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh? Hello? Thanks, Yug. Now that I've got my blue eyes white dragon, I can't lose. Anyone here ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh, the anime? Okay, just me? Got it. Understood, sir. Get him, Yug. It's like only for a penny with a bit of clergy. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Um, that's all it is, but that's also why it's easier to get than the uh, legendary figure. Yeah, sure, just take it. I don't care. Yu-Gi-Oh abridged, yeah. That's a classic. You guys remember, like, Dragon Ball Z abridged? Like, those first episodes with Nappa and Vegeta and Raditz? Legendary era. I remember when I was a child, watching things I shouldn't have been watching. So good, it was very good. Rip a Kira, yeah, Kira Toriyama did pass away. Very sad. Well, you know, he left a good legacy. Had those on VCR. Okay, bro. Jesus. Mods, you know what to do. We got a boomer in chat. Like a dog. So you got your PC? Damn. Need to see it, but also that's kind of fun. Alright, anyone else with marriageable age that I can do grand weddings with? Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's grand tournament now, I guess. We're just enjoying the fruits of our labor right now, boys. I guess horse race is another one that women can do, so we do all those. We'll wait. We'll wait for the money. I don't see why not. Or like in the Americas, they're pretty. It's pretty fun. Uh, I, at least for this region, I'm playing in Eastern America as the like is evangelical. Empire, whatever the hell it's called. It's pretty fun. Um, got lots of flavor around here, lots of stuff to do, lots of like goals to reach for, so that's really good. I don't know how the rest of the world is. I'll take a look at other parts of the world, but definitely like, yeah, this is nice. It's fun. Two years? So it begins. Bit of a long time. So we'll wait, I guess. I guess people are coming to, to there is why. Berger the Brave, Rockefeller of the corporate vanguard. Someone taking the mobility scooter to get there. It is America, so. Oh, and the game, the game is starting to run real slow. So this is one thing, the, the performance was quite good. We're now uh, 135 years in. The game is chugging. The game is chugging. Now, to be fair, I'm streaming, so that's probably affecting speed a little bit. 
but I imagine that part of it also is the immense number of characters that exist in the world. 55,586 characters. That's a lot of people to be managing, so, you know. I imagine it's a bit of both. A very long, very, very slow game now. There's a black plague. We actually had a black plague a, a while ago. We already had one. So rip. This guy is, dude. This guy from Yucatan is coming. From Yucatan. Oh, he's about to just arrived. Oh shit. Who's taken like a thousand years to get here? Wait. Is this like anyone on the map is coming? Dude, are we? Oh, he died. Okay, nice. Where was he? Okay, that's not that far. Like, are we getting guests from like the ends of the earth? I could start by who has arrived. Quebecois, that's fine. The user. This guy's probably from California, isn't he? Yeah, it's just coming all from California. Okay, damn. Even Gumbo Joe is coming riding on his gator. Isn't that exciting? I gotta say, this 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 Gullah guy is not looking particularly Gullah right about now. Oh, I'm Israel. That's a funny name. That's not controversial. Gumbo Gulligator. My favorite new meal. How's my home in New Orleans looking? Nah, I think I lost I think I lost Gumbo Joe. He's gone for now. He may come back later, but I think for now Gumbo Joe is a uh, is is gone. Dude, this is like nine months. Oh my god, the longest grand tournament wait I've ever seen. Maybe they are coming from very far away. Maybe they're coming from like South America or something. Coming from like Uruguay. Well, do fair. I think it's like a four-year trip down here, because I, I checked when I was doing universities, like, it was like a four-year trip to go here. So maybe there's, like, someone coming from Panama, and it's just taking forever. Let's see, the next guy that arrives, I'm going to check where he's from. The next, like, Duke or King or whatever that arrives. And I, what if I just said, sorry guys, canceling? That'd be hilarious. Three months. Okay, we're about to open up. Now we can start this. Let's go. I'm going to destroy this recital chat. Just you wait. Last you left me, no. Damn, I didn't win. Oh well. I'm just looking for prestige. That's all this gate is looking for. Yeah, 
Yo, Halinet. Classic. Swedish lesson. OG chatter in chat. Alright, see you later, Bengal Beef. Peace out, little brother. Yes, Coleman, that's my champion. Bro, how did I lose? How did I lose, dude? Nah, he cheated. This guy cheated. Qualified. There we go. That's how you get the W. Easy clap. Now the horse rides. Well, I never said the horse races because you don't actually ride the horse. You have someone else ride the horse for you. And it's like, okay. I guess. He'll do. One more push. I think I'm gonna win. No, I should do it yourself. That'd be cool, yeah. I think a horse cocked. Yeah, it's pretty sad. I did win. Nice. Go. Not quite legendary figure yet. We're getting there. Getting there. We're getting there. They get any good stuff? These are all trash. Prize bowl. Okay. We take those. Um, I think one more, one more uh, grand wedding, and we're good to go. And traveling. Okay. Let's get like a super high prowess person, I guess, just so we can have a. Oh, Joe, we found him. We found Joe. Where there it is. Where is it? I think this will be the last thing we have to do to get enough prestige to form America. How exciting. I can't wait to become America. Joe Byron. Go. Oh. That actually his name? No, he's a lowborn. Okay, I was gonna say, well, he's just Joe. That's all he is. And he's also a Catholic. Ew. Average Joe. He is, in fact, the most average Joe. King Come of Ontario. All right. Just works. Yeah, yeah. Good name. Yeah, this will definitely be enough prestige to get us there. Let's go, dude. Still need, I'm only in my mid-40s, yeah. This is good. 
We're not even going to be that old by the time we become America. There it is. Okay, I'm going to wait till the event's done. I'm going to wait till the wedding's done before we click it, but yeah, there it is. It's time to become America. In a second. Okay. Wedding night, even though it's three days long. Well. Although I get why it's like that, you know, it makes sense actually, but still. Fun to call it anyway. Here it comes. Okay, good. Now we're traveling and let's do this. Restore America. We're gonna become commander in chief. Oh yes. Let's go. So there it is. We're now America. That's its flag. I guess is I don't know if that has to do with um that has to do with um like us being evangelical or whatever, but yeah, that's that's our that's our flag. And we get basically just it just puts all these empires together. So that's cool. Uh, I don't see any new events, but I'm not gonna act like that's you know, it's already it's already pretty pretty good, I got some stuff to do. So I guess we can reunite the Carolinas. Uh oh, this this guy has it. My vassal. Want to just give that to me? Yeah, thank you. I'll take that. Cool. Can I reunite the Carolinas? Okay, cool. Let's do that. I don't know why not. Now it's just one big Carolina. Cool. Why? It ha why is it like Islamic? I don't. <laughs> okay. Cool. What else? We found the Empire State, yeah. So this requires to conquer all of New York and also all of Hudsonia. Reform Grand Virginia. The Old Dominion and Kanawha. This and this to make Big Virginia. These just these just seem to like these just give this just makes you make a big the jury empire or it could be Tahoma and Colombia. Wait, Tahoma, where is this? Wait, why is that? Oh, it probably. Wait, why does this require? Did they mix these up by accident? At least one of these, any of your vassals have to hold- I think that they they accidentally merged these events together. This was probably was to make Washington, right? And then they actually made it so that those requirements are on the Virginia decision. That's what that seems to be. That's- that's a- I'll report that as a bug. But, yeah, that, that's, um... That's interesting. That it requires Tahoma to form. I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll take a picture of that. I'll take a little Steam screenshot. F9? Yeah, that's F12. Okay, cool. I'll take a screenshot of that and, you know, that way we can take a look at that. I don't see anything else uh, interesting. Did I get any legends? Did I get any legend seeds? No, no legend seeds. They probably haven't invented that yet, which is totally fair again. I'm gonna do a legendary adventure now. Okay. <laughs> and let's go to California. I gotta be at peace. Okay, hold on. We gotta go finish up this war. Or is it just that it, well, I can, still, can I still declare it? Hold on. No, I can't. Yeah, we'll, go. we'll go over to California just for the memes. I'll go off by Allegheny over here. Boys, I've always kind of wanted to make videos kind of inspired by your videos. Forgive my swine mistakes. You know, no swine mistakes. Well, you're good. You're good. So, if you had to give someone a suggestion who wanted to make something similar, what would it be? It would be to uh, not worry about the story too much when you're playing. Just play the game and have fun. And then as you play, uh, w once you finish, then think about the story as you're writing up a script or something. So don't worry too much about like crafting a cool story while you're playing. It's hard to do both. Just play the game, have fun, make a story afterwards that corresponds to whatever whatever happened in the in the game. That'd be my advice.
Did we turn Manhattan Gullah yet? We did. Manhattan is Gullah. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's maybe a good way to put it, Terragatsune, is like that, that the, the video is the history and then your script afterwards is like the historian's perspective. I mean, that's probably an, that's an interesting way to look at it, but yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. More or less what's going on. Secretary Abraham. Did my government change? No, I'm still feudal. That's cool. That's cool. Greenberg Chronicon. Okay. All right, little bro. I'm excited to go to California and just like abandon this whole place. Like, yep, that's it. We're leaving. Off to California. That should be the end of the war. Have you ready, Illinois? Excellent day. To California. Oh my god, wait, Astor Imperial Province. Yo, so do you do I get Astor Imperial Province on just like every on every part of America? And it's a kingdom each time? Yo, that's crazy. So that's like your reward for reforming America, is you can just go and reform America. I, I am curious now, maybe we don't want a legendary adventure, but also I should keep I don't know if I'll keep a claim, but it should be pretty easy. To get it back if I ever want to, so not gonna worry about it. But let's go, let's go to California for the memes. And we were going to do, um, was it the Valley or Andreas? Which I think I wanted to do. Do, do we want to basically get San Francisco or do we want to get Sacramento? I think San Francisco looks yeah. San Francisco seems to be way better, so we'll grab that. We can have it as the Bay Folk or something. Dark Grey America. Yeah, it's pretty spooky. It's cool, though. I wonder, does that, this Florida count as an Imperial Province? Yeah, it does. Cool. We'll go to San Francisco. So we'll go to... Jefferson. Andreas. Alright. We're going to California, boys. Been a long day. the whole army. We're gonna send the whole thing over. Alright. Um, it's gonna take a long time to get here, isn't it? If I just click... How long will this take? Okay, how do I check how long it'll take? Is there, like, is there even a way to do that? Oh, it only takes 10 months, really. Okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, we'll be there soon. I'm coming. Subjects one last time. I got 2,000 men. The fuck? Oh, he has crossbows, though, eh? Cool. I think I would like hoardings. That's yeah, gonna be a little bit until we get there. We're already in, we're already passing through Mexico, nice. Yeah, the FPS gets killed. Yeah, I can see that happening, having FPS problems from all the all the units. Also, this is Empire of Yucatan, damn, the Federal Republic of Yucatan. Damn. Hmm. Cool. I gotta check out the Inca sometime. This mod actually feels... Obviously I haven't played much, but so far just playing on... It's obvious that like the East Coast would have, you know, flavor, and that makes sense and all. 
But I'm impressed that like even the Incas seem to have some cool stuff going on. We'll definitely look at the Incas another time. We'll take a look at California kind of through this playthrough in a way. I mean, I'm invading, but she was kind of choppy. Uh, bitrate looks to be a little bit sus right now, but I think we're okay. Everything okay, Streamlabs? No drop frames, so everything should be okay. Planted in San Francisco here. Most pious life. Okay. Do I want to just assault here? I probably just want to assault through all this. Ooh, never mind. That's like way too many losses. Okay. How about this? Let's just... What's, what's fort level here is 8 compared to, what, 25? Yeah, we're just gonna take this real quick. I don't need San Francisco, okay? Occupy everything else. Man to starvation, so let's just assault. Then we'll split up and reinforce. Oh god, but we don't have. Alright, well. Let's go and take this, I guess. I can send you there. They send it an army. Okay, let's get together. This is getting kind of touch and go. Good. Uh, let me check if that's the case, Lord Eric. Doesn't look like it, no. I think that we don't get to keep whatever we occupy. Thanks for the sub. Much appreciated, sir. Much appreciated, pimp scale. Doesn't look like we keep it. He's... Um, he's got... That's... I mean, the thing is, his troops aren't very high quality, but I'm still monk good right now. Interesting, are we actually gonna like somehow lose? There ain't no way. Yeah, I can reinforce here at least, that's good. Ain't no way, dude. Retreat. We're going far. If I can occupy like Eel River or something, I can start reinforcing and they'll be okay, but there's like no supply limit here, Jesus, okay. But there's enough slots, I think. Well, there's only a couple county slots here. Let's try to get to... This has got some okay supply. Let's go to Mendocino and see if we can just occupy this. He's going to be... Well, it's going pretty fast. He has trebuchets, doesn't he? No, never mind. Just a bad fort. If we lose, we lose. Oh, well, I guess we stay in America then, but... Burgers for dinner. Yo, that sounds pretty tasty. Korean spicy barbecue with Spanish peppers. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds really, really good. I would buy that. Also, yeah, I think we're we're gonna we're gonna lose this war, chat. I got overzealous trying to trying to destroy San Francisco, and now we got Chesapeake to jury war. Okay, well, let's just surrender this then. Oh, but this is so bad because now these troops are gonna be stuck here. Uh, uh. I'd actually like for this army to get stack wiped. I need this army to get stack wiped really badly. I was gonna say, where are they going? Honestly, true goblin guy. Honestly, true. Is stream still, still choppy, by the way? Or are things looking a little better? Please tell me how it tastes. Yeah, it sounds delicious. I ain't gonna lie. If I can get to Eel River, okay, and I can occupy it really quickly, then we'll be okay. First gentleman, Lamberto of the United States. I love that. That's great. First gentleman. Instead of first instead of first lady. That's really funny. Okay. Give me this. Three months. Can I occupy it before they get here? Who else seems to notice? Just saying, um I don't know what to tell you, bro. 
Oh my god, they made it back. Hey, stack wipe me, please. Kill kill my entire army so I don't have to don't have to retreat. Okay, I only got a thousand men left. We're almost we're almost stack wiped. Two thousand men left, I should say. Once he stack wipes me, we can go and fight. We can we can actually we can probably just come back, to be honest, but we'll still have time. We just I don't wanna have to send the army all the way back home is all. Kids, good, or grandkids, I should say. Get the castle. Building buildings, because why not? They're trying to occupy Manhattan. Look at them go. Damn. Onto nothing? Oh yeah, no, it definitely. It's because we can't get any reinforcements, right? So, very painful. But I think that Rose gonna get stack wiped. That she of little Egypt. Okay. Isn't the It's fine. If he dies, he dies. I mean, we got other sons. Oh, well, we have grandsons. I should say we have grandsons. We can pass the the realm on to. I'm actually gonna assault with the hopes that we kill more men, and then get stack wiped. Yeah, come, come stack wipe me, please. We actually got the occupation, ain't no way. Stack wipe. Or crash the game. Okay, no, stack wipe. Okay, good. Now we can. Uh, let's not surrender it, because we could come back for it. Let's wait. We gotta go fight the, the chest of peekers. Give him a bit to reinforce. Six months. It's only 9,000 men. We'll be okay. In fact, I probably can get some mercenaries to help out. Let's let's do this. He's probably gonna siege Manhattan, and that's okay, but what kind of mercs do we have available? Something good. The Omega Guard. That sounds bussin'. Or the Suwanese boys. They're cheaper, I like them. Oh, Gator Slayers? Oh. I would have loved to have some myself some Gator Slayers. Okay, they did. They did siege Manhattan. Fortunate battle of the Bronx. I thought the boys would come up a little faster than that. I'm not gonna lie to you. We can just occupy his capital, I guess, for the memes. Get another... I mean, I'm spending all my money, but it's fine. The money's four, right? Does that let me siege? It does. That's good. Very slow siege. Six year siege, lol. It's okay. We're probably gonna lose to California, if I had to guess. That is a lot of men. Got all the alliances. Here come the guys, they're actually gonna raise up the army now, let's go. Gonna get down there.
10 months. That's not too bad. Okay, walk by his capital and maybe we can make it over to California, but if not, I'm probably going to end the stream after the war with California ends just because, like, I'm getting really tired and hungry. But we've got a good time playing this mod. I think we'll keep playing it. I I'm, imp I'm very impressed, actually, with how, like, how much depth there seems to be with it. Um, we'll keep playing other nations and see how it goes, but, yeah, it's it's... It's been pretty deep. I like all the different like big cities that have like the big fort levels and all that. That's a really cool way to create these like interesting centers of power and stuff. That only gave us back to zero percent. Damn. Gonna let the boys reinforce for a minute. Go in. Going in, boys. Uh, please come on. Uh, want a white piece? No. Okay. I think for now, actually, I'm just I'm I'm making a lot of mistakes because I'm like really tired. I think actually we're gonna stop the stream now. Stream for seven hours. It's been a long stream, but it's been a good stream. Had a good time, boys. We, we are gonna we are gonna end it for now. I think. Um. Not not you know I'm not embarrassed about losing or anything. Definitely not. Not not embarrassed for losing or anything like that. I just I just I'm just tired, chat. Come on, that's nothing nothing to nothing to misunderstand there. B and Gumbo Joe was here, true. Good old Gumbo Joe. Come on, we're gonna probably raid uh, Croix because I've just been raiding him a lot lately because I really like watching his stream. Slash raid Croix. He's playing uh, Sekiro. So obviously pivoting towards not map game, but I like to watch non map game stuff. So we're gonna watch um, we're gonna watch Croix do some. Some uh, Sekiro. I don't know what run he's doing right now. I'm not sure like what the run is, but it'll be nonetheless fun to watch anyway. For those that are on YouTube, uh, sorry, can't join the raid unless you come to Twitch. So go into the description and check out the uh, check out Twitch. Uh, for those of you that are in that are in both chats, exclamation point mod. Although for YouTube, go, go to the description. For Twitch, exclamation point mod. Check out the secret theme mod that I made. It's not this one. Obviously, I did not make uh, I did not make the um, after the end mod. But check out the mod that I did make. It's for the Akemnid Legends. It's a pretty cool mod. I'm updating it pretty soon. I think it's going to be pretty nice. Um, I hope that you enjoy it if you do check it out. I really uh, really appreciate all of you that are here. hope that you all have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. And I'll see you all next time, okay? Thanks for being here. Solid seven-hour stream. Really had a good time. Peace out, boys. I'm really tired. So, check out the mod or else I'm going to ban you. Thank you.